PKA 572 with our guest, Harley Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by Lucy and Feels CBD. Also, these wonderful sweaters we're wearing. Mm, Pretty dude. high quality. I, I was excited. Like Anytime we've done merch ever, when it arrives, I'm always anxious. Because like if I grab it and I'm like, this is going to get destroyed in the wash and I'm going to look like an asshole for telling people to buy this. I was so relieved when I opened this and it's like, it's really stitched. It's really knit. This is going to last a long time. I can look like an idiot for years to come. I bought a Christmas sweater a year or two ago, and it looked good on the internet. It looked pretty cool. I forget what the print was. I wore it on one of the shows. In real life, it sucked. It fucking sucked. It wasn't even knit. It was like printed. It wasn't even a sweater. It's like it's not sugar. It's Splenda. Mm-hmm. It was it was Splenda, it was a, a rip-off shitty version. This stuff, like, mine showed up smelling like pussy. <laughs> I, I am proud to sell it. I, I I I didn't have anything to do with putting it together, but I'm proud to put to stamp PKA. And you guys so. didn't even get a hat. I got no, a hat. I, I don't know where my hat so, is. Did you get the scarf? Yes, but and I did. I'm gonna be I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. Like the hat is all I wanted. <laughs> I didn't get a fucking hat. Like because I, I, I was like I was like sometimes like when I'm on my way to the gym at like two three in the morning, it's fucking cold. It's like thirty two degrees, and I'm sure it's only getting colder. Bro, are you still like, going like, to the gym at two, three in the morning? Yeah, I got to. You did it already, bro. Why we, are you we, so we, mad? He's got to double it down. <laughs> you did I, it already. We're, 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 we're reached maximum. We're That's achieving higher there. levels. I promise you. We're 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 blasting off this year. Oh, I'm uh, scared. See, see, see we're, it, it, it's it's ugly sweaters this year, but next year it's the PKA uh, naked calendar, where where like our cocks are are like strategically hidden by uh by by by. Kyle, by I gotta tell you. <laughs> I'm not scared, man. Not, I, I, yeah, my yeah. diet is on fucking point right now. My 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 lifting schedule is never miss a day. Or if I do, it's like, oh, I'm not doing legs today, but I'm riding <laughs> motocross for 14 fucking hours Let, today. Let's do themes. I, I, I'm going to give you your first theme for, for like one of your photos. Like one of your photos is in the fall. Lumberjack. Uh-huh. Lumberjack. You picture this. Picture this, right? Carhartt, like that, the khaki style Carhartts, tight. Tight mm-hmm. belt, Very no tight. shirt, no shirt, no axe pants either. There's no the, shirts in this calendar, Kyle. The, the axe is kind of like loosely thrown over your shoulder, and maybe you got a <laughs> towel like wiping some sweat away, and you're just glistening in the forest. I, that's, I want that's, you. That's what? fucking October. You, got, you gotta do. You gotta buck. do. <laughs> so I was excited. Me buck <laughs> naked with a motorcycle in front of me. Yes. Oh. Yeah, uh, but oh. I gotta be honest. You gotta go with the theme. Like I, I think I, I found out what a tribute was on this podcast. Yeah. You, have you, to have you learned that from us. We've all been tributed. You have to have <laughs> nut, you have to have your own nut on your own belly in every single picture. <laughs> it's gonna be a stinky. <laughs> I look like a fucking blaze promotion. <laughs> but yeah, a lock and load promotion. First of all, you guys are all wearing PKA sweaters. I don't know why I didn't get one. I guess you don't make them in triple XL Jewish, maybe. Uh, even if you did one with, with dreidels on it, I was is that a huge really sweater honored. at an enormous <laughs> discount? Look at that. <laughs> and also, uh, you also sold that on your cum pills. I can't believe I didn't get a sample. Uh, don't worry, there's more. Comments. I would have nutted all over an epic meal, 100, percent bro. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get you. Uh, we gotta get you some cum pills and a sweater. Yeah, yeah I, I would like pills. that. Let we me would... start. Let me give myself a goal. Let me get sneaky September, September six pack on that calendar. I'll put my own nut in my own <laughs> in my own belly button. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I want to okay. be on Woody's motorcycle though. Covered in cum. <laughs> oh, I want to be like on a gamer chair with a banquet meal and not on I want belly. to <laughs> use the motorcycle after Harley's photo shoot and risk pregnancy. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's extra risky. You get pregnant days. in your ass. That's how, <laughs> that's how Jews are born. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm, I'm a man in my personal position is a bit concerned today because, from what I understand, Roe versus Wade is on the verge of being overturned as we speak. Yeah, yeah. So there, I guess the background is Mississippi has a law that they mm. passed, and now they're get, the way that America works is if a state law violates a federal law or precedent, then that state law can't stand. So they took it to court, and it appears that. Those conservative judges that got in in the last four years, all anti-abortion, they're going to rule against it. And and this is kind of tea leaf reading type stuff. You know, you kind of mm-hmm. listen to the questions they ask both sides and infer the way that they might come down. And, and that's where it stands right now. So who are the um, ones that would do they have enough the, to, to win against Roe v. Wade? That's yes. Yeah, they're they're. If you were to guess, predict, they would win six to three. So not only do they have enough, they oh, have six a to three. To it ain't close. So yeah. so I went out today and I bought 
eighty thousand dollars worth of abortion pills. So don't Smart. worry, guys. I've got enough to get me at least to the summer. You better hope those don't expire. <laughs> to the summer, they last. He owns all the cum and all the abortion. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he that, is the that, creator and the destroyer. There, there is a I little more to know. Omega. <laughs> Beginning <laughs> and the end. <laughs> the end, end. end. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. The topic is funny, but I, I, if I were listening, I'd want to know this. The law that they're talking about is 15 weeks. So that's a lot longer than the Texas law. The Texas law, if I recall correctly, was six weeks. And six weeks is not as long as it sounds. First yeah. of all, it starts from the woman's period. So the first two weeks, she hasn't even been fucked yet. How is that pregnant? But okay. So at six weeks, she's really only had like, what would that be? She, at two weeks, she might guess that she's not pregnant because she's late. And then she has two weeks to do something about it. Yeah. And oftentimes the the wait times to get the procedure done are two weeks and you're just fucked. Like it, yeah. it, it kind of became impossible. Well, So this one's 15 weeks, which isn't just two and a half times longer. But when you consider that it was really like four versus 13, it's like triple the length. And so I've never needed more than two weeks personally to get my abortions handled. I'm wondering the, if they, if, or if this thing goes the, the way that we're thinking it might, would that completely overturn Roe versus Wade? Or does it just, and forgive me, I'm very ignorant about this. I, I remember that cartoon about how a bill is made and that's, the extent <laughs> yes. of, uh, um, but, but, um, uh, would it go, would the two week thing apply or the, or the what would you say 15 weeks week, six week or whatever the fuck i like, think what I, I think i understand the question right like yeah. how is this really going like to no more life? abortion or now what, it's no what would happen is at the federal level abortion would be legal and then state by state they would make their decisions one might guess a state well actually georgia's hard to predict because it's a little purple now but uh, a state like you know, alabama or mississippi which is really red <laughs> You would probably expect to have really restrictive abortion laws. Yeah. And uh, in the blue states, you would probably expect it to continue to be legal. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't give a shit then. They cool. should do that. They should make it so that the state law is they, this is what we should do for the country. I thought of this just now. So it's flawless. Yes. All the up, states guys? are up, allowed. States can have any laws they want, but you can still, but all the travel unrestricted you can go to any other state and so you just get a bunch of wild micro nations all over the country <laughs> and you could just decide where you wanted to go like if florida had a bunch of dope laws you'd move there if it was fucking illinois you'd go that well probably not illinois because they're not pretty they're not chill with guns and i'd i'd like to i i don't i'm not a big gun guy but if i ever get a wild hair up my ass like getting into archery i want to know i can go buy a huge gun and have fun with it we need like a local senegal you know yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> or like a no uh, Somalia, like an anarchy state. Somalia would work. Yeah, yeah. I would like we're, somewhere we're, where we're, right. I would like somewhere where they were like real big fans of us inexplicably, and that gave us <laughs> an ungodly amount of power. I want a badge. I want I a badge. Love, I would love the power. I would love if a, you had a badge. A I would like a badge, or at least at, all right. Stick with me here. In lieu of a badge. Maybe one of those six sashes like Worf had in Star Trek. Like, like, no, uh, like, that's too much. Now you're getting crazy. Now I want like a North <laughs> Korean war hero jacket with all the medals that they're like, they have to add another like panel to their yeah. suit. So that, that sounds like, at least like a calendar shoot picture right there. It jingles. The yeah. North Korean war uniform. Have you ever seen it? Do you know what he's, not on your belly. <laughs> do you know he's referencing? Have you seen it? Like, like the North Korean generals who, who literally have never fought a war because they haven't fought since the Korean conflict. Mm -hmm. um there's they're they're fucking spackled with medals like like i mean more than you've ever seen <laughs> like so many amount. like so many medals it looks like a leslie nielsen movie like they're making a joke out of how many medals and, they and you're talking about who designed the those medals who designed them and who got them who they, brought they them and to, put in them they, they or is it like bring your own medals to work forever <laughs> yeah it's like office space <laughs> oh shit look at it that's like dude that's like when the... you're browsing your halo medals after a game well <laughs> that, that dude these guys are it, all 10th prestige they're all 10th prestige is every cod every cod <laughs> like, you know, remember, not one guys. of them has seen battle all not one of them guys, has ever been engaged in, in any yeah. kind of warfare no. all these guys not, were, were not born or absolute babies the last time there was a war in <laughs> can Korea. i tell you the korean it also like looks the like these it, it looks like there's a wardrobe of jackets and they all just go to work and grab the jackets there and leave <laughs> the jackets there like it's not their uniform <laughs> and it looks like it's even, all one size fits all every not, yeah, no okay. <laughs> that second to the back one the jacket does not fit at all look at that third from the back look at his hand look at his right hand and how much it's getting swallowed 
third yeah. from the back. <laughs> I got, you know who has better outfits than that? <laughs> PK merch. It's yeah, yeah. Than, than, you, you know when you, you go to a fancy a, restaurant? You should make an ugly <laughs> Christmas sweater with these exact medals on one side. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make... This is gonna, this is coming out in our extremist line. There's going to be a big hammer and sickle with a bunch of snowflakes. We're going to... We've got another one that's a little edgy. I don't know if they're going to make it for us. Uh, this is so funny. <laughs> that would be good. Have you guys ever gone to a fancy restaurant where they make you wear a jacket and you forget to bring a jacket? Um, no, no I, but I've seen Seinfeld. That's I, I, I literally thought that was a Seinfeld <laughs> bit until like years ago when it happened to me. But those, where were that's you? what those jackets look like. It was a steakhouse here. No, where, where, where? in St. Louis? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I noticed because I noticed it's a that very classy you, city. I don't the, know if, you're if aware. you have a high, if you have a high <laughs> douchebag rate in your town, then they won't enforce something like that. Like L.A. would never do that. Because they're not going to be like, oh, we can't say no to this guy. He could be a fucking some shithead on a reality <laughs> show with like yeah. three million followers. So he could wear whatever the fuck he wants, his baseball cap inside. But I feel like St. Louis are like, nah, bro, you heard the fucking rules. Where's your jacket? Yeah, <laughs> It's a bulletproof jacket. <laughs> Keep you safe during dinner. But that's what those jackets look like. Totally untailed. There's not a single tailor in all of North Korea. All those medals <laughs> and no one, no one to him. That's what's crazy, too. Seriously, like no one got theirs fit. Yeah, they look, no, like, you know, they look like children. Here's another thing you notice if you if you pay attention. If you look at like a well decorated like American serviceman or whatever, he's got different kinds of fucking medals, right? Because he did different shit in different places. These mm -hmm. guys all have like thirty of the same fucking thing. <laughs> it's just double kills. It's, it's the they all look like double kills. It's the equivalent of a kid with like thirty smiley faces on his report card. There was a thirty like, for one sale at the metal store. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loaded up. That, yeah. I also I, I would imagine there's no tailor because the last thing you want is to show up to work looking better than your boss. Have if you your seen boss him? Is a dictator. Have yeah, you seen you him? Yeah, I, I did see he looks much better, but He's you, been don't want, down. you don't want to look better than him now, even especially. Well, Kim like slimmed down it, you know? so much that he's what? unrecognizable, borderline. Kim yeah. saw my diet and, and, and body Kim transformation. Kim he got, Kim he see this? It's yeah. been for, it's been he's for a little bit. He's a been... huge amount of weight. Dude, I think yeah. someone got shit for being like, he looks good. Shit, man. That's oh, a yeah. guy. That guy. That's a man with another 50 years of dictatorship under him. Literally, what he we're looking at right here, straight up, these two pictures, this is a guy that cut soda out of his life. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he went from, like, you know, really fat to just fat. Yeah, he, like, drinks water now. But oh, everything's the same. By comparison, right. he looks a million times better. He That's is the thing. I, I, people who are you know, over the edge, like that guy on the left, dude, you have easy gains in front of you. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to get from 15 to 11% body fat where the real suffering happens. You have easy gains to get from 30 to 25. Yeah, I, it, it was that what you said is... 100% correct. It was we take it down now please Zach. The um <laughs> like like going from like 19 or 20 or no 24 where I started to like 20 was like what it really was was like Derek, can I eat a little less so we can just magically lose this weight because it would just melt mm -hmm. off if I cut any calories out off at all because I was my metabolism was going so crazy. But then going from like like those last 3 pounds were a goddamn nightmare. They were a oh, fucking yeah. not the nightmare. water pounds. No. Oh, I Water was water is the last easy. three water pounds are probably hard too because not the first three water pounds but the last three. Um, there were a the lot end. of things that I did that were difficult. The water cut for me in particular seemed super duper easy. It was like like like, like that YouTuber that does the, the the movie things. It was barely an inconvenience. It was barely <laughs> I, it, like, I like, like that guy. I was I was I, I didn't feel uncomfortable to say I was thirsty. I was about as thirsty thirsty as I am right now. Because I'm 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 high off delta really? or whatever, and I have like ma dry mouth. Like I wasn't thirsty at all. I didn't have dry mouth. How many um, water it, pounds did you cut? Uh, eleven, I believe. I I could I could look it up. I've got like the photos. I think it was le um, eleven in like um from the time I woke up until the time I photographed. But I cut like another like couple of pounds. I think the night before by just stopping drinking you know, earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. The most I ever cut was seven or eight, something like that. Yeah. But I'm told 11 is like, I know the math is weird, but like 11 is three times as much. Like it, it gets much harder towards the yeah. end there. 
I found, oh, I mean, it definitely slows down. Like at first, it's like, whoa, whoa three pounds gone. Like, like you get three nothing. just by sleeping overnight. Like not yeah. even trying. You really yeah. do. That last what, picture you did, Kyle, like if I were to like hold my thumb over where your face was, it was like, that's the most shredded, insane va- <laughs> that he's vascular. It, it was like Kyle's like final cut. He put it in our our chat. I don't know if that one ever went public, but it was like you had visible veins like in your Adonis belt or whatever that's called, like to be that and then like move the thumb away from your face. The most sallow, sunken eyes, like begging for water. Yeah, it's awesome. He looked upset and sick. <laughs> I, I, but I felt awesome. amazing. I felt them. I was. I was like. I was. I was like. You looked amazing. I was like. I feel good. I, I was to- proud. Not a. It's not a personal accomplishment, but I was proud of you. Like, like you, you did a thing that required dedication and discipline and hard work. Day after day after day, there were some mm-hmm. days when likely you didn't feel like doing it and you did it anyway. It was, just, it was a fucking tremendous accomplishment. I, 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 I like when friends really accomplish. I, I like that like uh, transitive like feeling you get when like a friend accomplishes something really hard. Uh, you, you, are, you don't gain anything from it, but it's still cool. Yeah. So, Can you full screen Kyle, Zach? I think whenever people uh, come into my stream and talk of like, you see Kyle, or at least they mm-hmm. like they were doing it. I was always like, I'm so proud of this guy. You have no idea. <laughs> He's like, just that's cropping like, just his dick out of the picture. Person, <laughs> to know a person that's part of that small percentage that does that crazy shit to get that shit done. Oh, it's not showing very well. It will. It will. Okay. If I have to like turn off a light, I will. I'm trying to like. You look like an angel. Oh, okay. Send me that directly. Hang on, I'm gonna send, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn off a light. Send me that directly. I want to full screen it, Kyle. I can put it on Imager and. Never oh mind. yeah, that's you know that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> than, <laughs> than... <laughs> I'll, I'll make the same offer when he comes back if it doesn't turn out really well. Yeah, because it, I couldn't even tell that was the same picture I was talking about based on that. Looks like he's laying down. <laughs> Okay, all right. That, yeah. Oh, nice. Bro, is that on your Tinder? <laughs> look at that. Look at how perfectly hairless he is. Yeah, just just like a, like a fucking... Damn. Well, not perfectly hairless. Like a shaved cat or something. Is it inappropriate to touch myself? No. I mean, It'd we're be friends. inappropriate not to. <laughs> all right. You have to take that sweater off first, though. What, where's the mm-hmm. one where you're standing? You're not the boss. Like you're standing there during the photo shoot, and you're at your absolute most... Look at that. Whoa. There's a lot of peck there, Whoa. too. Whoa. Look at that. Look at the obliques. Whoa. It's like a maze. You, you, yeah, I feel like you should compete cool in your area. Yeah, I feel like I mean, you're like top talent in your can area. Can you hold it again, Kyle? Yeah. Can you not like do like a, a, a competition of sorts or something? I feel like so you for people that bring that home don't a medal. Know, if you look at his nipple there, just to the lower left, that, that's an oblique. It's those, the armpits where the muscles we're talking about. That Those you only get when you're really strong and thin. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to flex your armpits real hard for that one. Yeah. That's a weird yeah. place to flex. You have, yeah, to be drawn. you have to be drawn in a comic book. I'm just so dehydrated. Bro, that's a lock and load picture if I've ever seen <laughs> like angry yeah. there. Like I'm all red. Um, can we Photoshop yeah. an unusually large cum shot on the stomach? We don't have and, to. Just and like you can bust. see, like, what, like, like, I always wondered. I was like, how fucking lean do you have to be so that when you sit, you don't have a belly at all? And we, you have the answer for us. This, this is this is me like cutting weight that last day. Like like whoa! Like, Wait, hold on, hold on. It was, okay. it was just hold it, hold it, little stiller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll push it whoa. in. Whoa, that's a good angle. Wish it was. Yeah, it is hard to have no. Your belly. arm is like as big as your body. Yeah, look at <laughs> there's a little better. angles there. His arm's not actually bigger than his. Like no, it is. Back. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> it, it is. It's just oh, that it's it's sprightening, right? <laughs> Only the left arm too. <laughs> Not a lot of symmetry. Um, yeah, Kyle, would you ever consider competing in like an amateur bodybuilding ooh. thing, or do you have no interest in that whatsoever? No, that that doesn't seem like um like like you literally did all. the hardest here. Th- this picture is like right before you're raped. <laughs> I, I had to you show it go, again. You Kyle. would go and get a medal for so, for hundred percent. You picked the wrong house. So what you can tell is that I'm laying down under him, and I took that picture. <laughs> have you ever have you ever seen that? Like what she sees and what you see. Like, <laughs> oh, exactly Why do girls <laughs> like boys? It's a terrible. Oh, I, I remember like when I was a kid before like I understood sexuality at all. Like maybe kindergarten, first grades, like six years old, and being like, man life is so tough for women. Like they have to be with men, (laughs) even though everyone's attracted to women. Like I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't put those pieces together. And yeah, I, I I saw on Reddit 
this woman said this thing, but the same thing I had, I had a shared experience when they talked about like gay marriage being illegal. This is me as a young guy. It was like, yeah, of course it would, because otherwise everyone would just marry women. Yeah, <laughs> like, and a, a girl said that in my class, and now I look back and I'm like, "She gay, <laughs> she gay." <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna show one more of myself serving gross pictures, and I promise I'll I'll never do it again. I at and this I point, like this actually. At this like point, this I'm so lean. At this point, I'm so lean that 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 the three of us had a conversation about what are those things under your skin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, um, Zach. Oh, look how so vascular. The what is vascularity? What is the fuck? It's that goddamn light again because I turned it. Hang on. I'm going to try to light. What send it to the send brightness it to, on your phone. Lower the brightness on your phone, maybe. Send it to Woody and he'll put it on Imager. Okay. If you put it on WhatsApp, I can do that. Or yeah. you can turn your light off. <laughs> or we can just see I the, lower the brightness of the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah your, your vascularity was getting insane. And you've... you've and that blue chin. And the veins were so you even large. More. They're larger than I imagined my veins to be. Like, I feel like if I went through that same process, they wouldn't be that big. I was looking at, like, you know, those I take a lot of guys things who for have those, uh, those veins that, like, almost double back, like, up, down, up, down, up, down. And they look, like, gross, almost like a worm is under their skin. They might be varicose veins. They are Ooh. varicose veins. Oh, and, like, okay. I, I was watching, like, or I was reading, I think, on Reddit or somewhere about, like, this on this bodybuilding forum or powerlifting or something. There was some guy yoked out of his mind, and he had a bunch of those in his bicep. Nick Blessings, maybe? It may have been him. It, it, there's a, a number of those guys. And in the comments, I expected those guys to be like, oh, he's so jacked. He's so great. And, like, some guy who, like, had a flair for being knowledgeable was like, yep, take a look, boys. This guy's on his last three years of life. The <laughs> th that vein is indicative of an unbelievably high blood pressure and rate on his heart for years on end. Ar veins in the arm don't deconstruct and decompose like that That's unless fun. there's a huge problem. And it's like, that makes sense. Like all those guys who are jacked out of their mind, they start getting those. And then a few years later, they're dead. That happened to Mountain Dog. Yep. He had those and then he died. I um I really like the vascularity, like when I am working out. Um, so like I, I took so many supplements that are for that. Number one being like Derek's pre-workout, because it's it's amazing at that. But then like I was eating like a quarter of a watermelon every day. <laughs> like 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 just silly things because I read that it's got um it's either citrulline or lysine. It's something in there that helps with a pump. I don't recall what it was. But then the blue chew and everything else. Whoa. That looks good. Like a road map. I, and it looks like you were shot by a, someone with a pellet gun. Yeah, with a pellet gun. <laughs> you see there's three little dots in my arm? Like, like, like when I would press on those, they felt like veins. That's bizarre. Especially yeah, the are. one near I your elbow. Like they, they are, aren't they? Those three little dots like around my elbow, sort of in a triangle. I think they're like blood vessels or veins or something. I don't know why they look like dots. Um, but uh, they they weren't hard or anything like like an like something actually in my skin. They're just veins that look like that. I you think you got a needle and punctured them. I did. I drained them and then um, <laughs> you lanced your own veins. Yeah. Yes, I I I I, I started blood letting um on uh month number four, and I found that that gave me a a lot of extra power in the gym. The blood letting. The the amount. I just went to his channel again to try and see an example of mountain dogs fucked up arm veins it is getting disrespectful how many uploads they've done <laughs> it's out something they uploaded in my three favorite rows for a big back nine hours ago. <laughs> charlie doesn't know about this so there's this youtuber that we all enjoyed because of his bodybuilding content named mountain dog he's been dead for like nine months and he's <laughs> uploaded like 150 videos <laughs> <laughs> while yeah. being dead while, while being dead, dead. yeah from like the grave he's they're the scheduled? two pot of He's the Tupac of YouTube fitness. <laughs> if they're, this is all like scheduled, scheduled uploads, then this guy was the most prepared YouTuber there has ever been. Dude, he keeps dropping new hits. I, I, I'm not sure he's dead. <laughs> this guy's dude. dead? Yeah, he's, he's dead. He died. I, honestly, we said 150, but it really might be like 50 videos since he died. I, think, I think it was like around the time that I was like finishing my fitness shit. Like, 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 cause Derek was on like a, a couple weeks before. Like, like, I think he died in like late May or mm -hmm. some shit. Like, like, it's been a, it hasn't been nine months, like I said, but it's been a while. He's been dead for a while.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, certainly. Bro, like, this is crazy. Having this guy teach you how to work out is like it's like the closest you could get to having like Obi Wan Ghost Obi Wan is your man. <laughs> <laughs> they should add he's like effect. he's like a Force Ghost. This is crazy. I <laughs> they can't should edit it. it, turn him into a Force Ghost. I would fucking love that. Man, I like this channel. He's uh, like R.I.P. Was R. one R. of the <sighs> nicest guys in body. Like a lot of guys in bodybuilding, that it's a drama community, and you know these guys they snipe at that guy. And um, just by nature of it, everything's so personal because it's about mm -hmm. you, what your chest looks like, how your biceps are small or whatever. So they get snippy. Everybody loved this guy. This guy yeah. was. This is a killer. Guy. This is a killer arm workout. You're not going to survive this leg day. I wish there were puns like that in every one of his videos. <laughs> <laughs> After this push down workout, I'm you're going to knock out today, but We're going to knock out this workout anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How did this guy die? He just he just uh, dropped dead. Too, too jacked. <laughs> That's it, been happening a lot. People have been dropping dead lately. Heart, he, uh, a lot of these guys these, get heart attacks. They, it's, they it's do it. Like or they cruise decades. their whole life, like their entire life of doing a drug nonstop, like forever. But Harley, mm -hmm. here's the question. Do you want to be lame and live to 78 or fucking awesome to 55? <sighs> I'm pretty sure this guy was younger than you, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dog was 27. <laughs> Can we split the difference of those two? <laughs> I feel like you could find a medium between them. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I, I think, I think yeah, so. Some people blast. Like I look at some people, and I know. And like you just know. And they've been blasting their whole life. Their whole life. And then maybe their thing is on YouTube. And that's what they do. So they could never stop. Like, I remember I used to watch Rich Piano videos, Holy and like, shit. he yeah. was like, he would look like 65 in a video. And then, like, a month and a half later, he would look like 35. And mm -hmm. he would update you what he was doing and how crazy it was. And it was crazy. You saw it all. But then, some people you look at and you're like, yo, you look great all <laughs> the time. And you're always like 300 pounds. <laughs> like, at some point, there's got to be a chill. I mean, to that, you know, when's the last time you saw Vitaly in person? Yeah uh ages i spoke to him not too long ago i watched the video of him getting arrested on mushrooms yeah, yeah same uh, i saw him i saw him four years ago um and did a little thing with him and he was so fucking jacked and mm -hmm. it, like, like like it was me and him and fucking logan paul are standing there and i'm like man i gotta work out like fuck <laughs> who, who is who is vitaly um uh, he's the do you lift bro he yeah, did like he's, uh, he's pranks that, he's the russian oh, okay. prankster guy um who he ran up and beat that woman up that was uh jogging <laughs> he assaulted that woman but yeah. it was a social experiment it was not it was an assault i did think it was for a long time and then apparently it just seems like he was on some shit yeah um, i don't know if you did you watch that police video they like put him in oh, like a van he was and on i guess something. it's like one of those like 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 those vans where you can't find a vein light like it had that red blue red blue flashing yeah and like there's like pink too it looked like a, like just an rgb setup like a computer <laughs> and they grabbed him and he was like i'm tripping on mushrooms and they put him in this like neon prison van with like, fucking crazy <laughs> like and i was like are they pranking him <laughs> it was just crazy it was really crazy as they um, drive away you just are, oom, oom, oom. <laughs> yeah but he got he got he got thick and uh fit but it's not it wasn't the same as you though that's like when someone goes and they they take a product and they go and they work out every day and they get their I'm protein sure every day that. But they didn't do those extra crazy things that you did that take it to a whole other level of existence. That's why he looks like that's like, whoa, he's jacked. But I no one looks at him and there. No one looks at him and goes, Oh, look, he's got that like comic book muscle over. I don't know, here man. I think, I think he looks I, I, what's I've his seen, name? I want to Google it. Vitaly. Vitaly. Uh, uh, I think he looks better than me. I think he's much bigger. Um and he's well, got better. what do you mean better than you? Because like um, yeah, I think he's, he's not bigger. he wasn't more ripped than you. I think he was, and I think he's I think he was bigger. And uh, I, I don't think know. he was a he not. Was all right, bigger, all right. I can't spell his name. I have well, no not idea. not there. All right, Maybe. so here. I, I okay, got that. thank you. People need to know what he looks like. He looks good. Yeah, no, he looks great. I th he looks great, and he was always working out. When I met him, he was working out. We had worked out a whole bunch together, like back in the days. Um, but I never thought that he was ripped to the level that you were. But then again, also like in terms of mm. taste, like you were showing your progression. And I saw a picture of you at a certain point, and I was like, that's where I would stop. 
That's where I would have a hard time mentally continuing because I'd be like, bro, I look fucking good now. I can keep going, which to to a thing is like to me the ultimate commendable thing that you did was go that extra level because then you get to the place where it's like, well, now you're a creature, Kyle. <laughs> I'm a super ripped creature. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be a creature. And like me and Derek would talk about this at like he's got the same <laughs> the same sleep schedule I do. So like he and I would be talking about this shit at four a.m. And uh, and and he's like, you know, you could you could stop now. We could get you to like. Um, you know, you're you're at like twelve percent body fat or whatever. You're ripped as fuck. You're huge. You look great. Or we could, you know, treat this thing like it's a bodybuilding preparation contest, like for reals. And I'm like, well, that's what we set out to do. You know, when we very first started, it was let's not just get fit. Let's do something silly. Let let's go to uh, single digit body fat was a goal from the very beginning. Yeah, that's and, wild. And um and 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 just being like like. I think jacked and tan. Well, like, like one of my reps uh, at Derek's company, he's, he's like, "Are you jacked and tan yet?" And I sent him, a, <laughs> and like, because like eight months had passed since I'd spoken to him, I sent him a picture, and he's like, "Holy fuck, mm-hmm. fuck!" Kyle was, and I say this in the best way possible, a yes man, right? Hey, Kyle, I have an idea, but you need to do more cardio. Yes. Kyle, I, I have an idea. We should do a thing. You're going to have to cut calories. Fucking yes. Kyle, you know, let's add more sets. Do you know what drop sets are? That's when you keep going until you can't lift the fives anymore. <laughs> yes. It's like me in bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's, it, it's, it's, it's hyper motivating when you're seeing uh, progress and stuff. It, it is, is, uh, is the only thing that I can um, like, like, like say that really was, was, a, was a driving force. And, and not wanting to let Derek, da- let Derek down because he had invested so much time. And uh, and at the beginning, money like like I don't know if we ever talked about it, but Derek paid for um, a, a good percentage of my medication uh, when we first started out. Um, and uh, at, at, there was just a point where I was like, I, then the advice. I should be paying for my own meds. I think like that you learned a lot about diet from Derek. Oh yeah, you learned a lot about. I was going to say nutrition. That's a sort of overlap, but you know, like even how to work out. You know that the program he gave you and uh, you were. Uh, I don't know the. the video game character he was controlling yeah yeah absolutely for sure you were and like yeah. cj in san andreas and he's sending and, you to the gym and, I, and running you yeah pretty ribs. much yeah and i just did what he said because I, I believed it would work i like, like ha- being able to like believe that what he was saying was true and believe in the plan is super motivating because i think a lot of times like whatever diet or workout plan you're on you're like well the the idea is that i do this stuff for six months and i look good but but it's like no, we have a plan. In six months, I will look like this. There is there's no there's no way around it. Like like it's 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 physically impossible for it not to happen. And so just being able to trust in that and just keep doing it every day and just keep grinding away at it because knowing what was coming, especially those last weeks. Like we talked about cutting those last few pounds. I think that's how we got on the topic. It's it's dreadful because you're you're just you're just you're just scratching and clawing to to burn an extra calorie or two here and there to 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 be at a deficit because your body's just doesn't need a lot of calories. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You got to do that while you already look very good. You got to oh, do that yeah. part when you're already happy with where you're at. So you're doing that like extra hard work. Like I think it was like in a Malcolm Gladwell book. They said you could learn like a language in, in like four years, but it's the next six years that you'll have to learn that last 2% of the language to sound like you're part of, like you, so that you can communicate with people without them constantly being like, you're doing great. I love that <laughs> but you can fully understand everything. Read a book, talk to people, understand them. But if you really want to communicate like as a person, then it's that extra six years. And it's like kind of like that. Like you're already looking good and you have to go and put in that extra work to get that little change, just that tiny change. But then that tiny change is like what I'm saying. That's what separates you from like, like I, I never saw Vitaly with that. I never, I, I thought he always looked great. I thought he looked, was really, I'd look at him, like, bro, he's jacked. But it didn't look like what you did where I look at you. I was like, man, I hope, like I looked at your pictures and you look so good that I was like, I hope he's doing good mentally. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, it helps a lot mentally being like. For sure. I don't know, looking like that. I'm trying not to sound like too much of a douchebag, but like, um, I don't know. I'd go to the gas station wearing like my, my gym clothes and people would just be like, fuck. 
Isn't that <laughs> cool? You, you So you're like Mac. I do you, that. You, you, you I, like bro, to scare people a little bit. Bro, <laughs> if I see a guy come into the gas station like with fucking guns out like you, like looking like boner skin and a tank top, I'm going to be like, yeah. Like I'm a fan right away. You, you know like, what I would? Yeah, you know let what me I would, slap your shoulders, stranger. It, like you're so fit and jacked. If I saw you in public, I would immediately. I was gonna say, think I would know you were gay. <laughs> yeah, honestly, but it's not even that bad. You're like, that's the guy that takes care of himself. Yeah. He, take, like, he must kill it on Grinder. Only another I, man could appreciate that physique. <laughs> what you mix up on Grinder? See how many matches you get. Just as oh, an experiment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a billion. I'm gonna murder it. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna murder it. As, <laughs> as well as I um. No, like, 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 plenty of women, I guess, like, say things or flirt or whatever. But so many dudes at the gym, like, every dude, like, wants to talk. It's that, that's one of the reasons I like working out so much at like two or three a.m. because nobody's fucking there and I don't have to talk to people. I hate so talking to people. Home gym master race, man. You gotta Harley talked about. Uh, I hope he's doing okay mentally. I'm not in his head. I just watch from the outside. You know when a guy beats cancer. Right. He's beaten cancer, <laughs> but he is ruined. Right. He's pale. He's fluffy. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's the worst version of him. Like, even though he just beat cancer and rang the bell, that guy is not doing well. Mm -hmm. He needs some time to sort of. It, Kyle left prison as a cancer survivor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then a something he, survivor and then things didn't get better you know like like he left prison and kind of you know entered a fluffy stage mm. and then as he exited that and started recomposing and reforming what he looks like on the outside he got better and better on the inside too he, he was a better friend a better podcast host a better business partner like this is this is pete kyle we're looking at right here very All good right. Very good, Kyle. And, and I invented lock and load all at the same time. I love my, this part. With the help of my associates here, we, we've, we've given all of you out there <laughs> frothier, more turgid loads, loads that look like cottage cheese. You have to wring out that last couple of centimeters of it, and it looks like those string cheese things you peel apart. It's so thick and viscous. It I, is. I need the fans to run with this line of thing. Dude, Kyle was the only driving force, the lead <laughs> sled dog, while Taylor and I were sleeping, attached to his harness, getting dragged along. No, this is propaganda. This is, <laughs> this is propaganda. I was taking into my own load stack. That That's like what... I don't remember that, and the fans don't either. They're going to write a comment about it. <laughs> I, I remember I remember texting Kyle like after the bit on the show in our group chat and being like, Kyle, I'm taking this, 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 this. And Kyle's like, very similar stacks. Very yeah, similar very stacks. Similar. I, I think you should up your zinc a little bit, Taylor. <laughs> and I was like, you got to add some more. Because at the time, I was taking like an insane amount of Sunflower of the Sith, and I'm like, you got to double down on that with Sith. And I did, we, too. We built our, our loads stronger together, you know. And that's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, 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 I, I, I was, I was it, just so many pills when we were in experimental page, stages. <laughs> like, like I'm taking a ton now. I, I, I take a ton every mm -hmm. fucking day. Um, but that was that was silly. That was a lot of pills. It yeah. got expensive after a, you, while, uh, a lot of bottles. Do you still take that thorn multivitamin? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would give that a go. It's just so fucking expensive. 50 bucks a month. Yeah. And that adds up. That's like more than all my streams I'm are well aware. probably close to it. I'm well aware that it adds up uh, because I'm also taking, you know, like fucking my magnesium glycinate and my fucking, um, God, there's a fucking pile of shit. Um, the, the, the fish oil and um, I don't know. Everything's in a big pile. Now. Have you ever uh, taken it. a break from the thorn stuff to see if you could like feel a difference? I just seriously doubt I could feel the difference, um, but but I just don't take a break from much of anything really because I I don't know what the spaghetti effect uh, against the wall effect uh, uh, is, mm -hmm. is actually you know manifesting itself. I don't know what works and what doesn't in my whole cocktail of nonsense that I take from the fucking cranberry juice that I drink in the morning to the needle I stick in my yeah. ass at night. So it's a lot like advertising. So many companies out there are like sales are going up, and it's like why. We don't know because there's no way to tie digital marketing yeah. to in-store sales without like. I saw Chael Sonnen advertising this uh, this company that sends you these bags of grilled chicken bites. Like, like they just take grilled chicken, they season it, cook it, grill it, and then they fucking put it in a bag and send it to you for eleven dollars a pound. Are they good? I have no idea. I'm not spending eleven dollars a pound for for cooked chicken when That's I can. That's a very I can, rich person thing I can, to do. I can eat elk for that, and I am. I with three percent beef. With three percent beef, I think that's so it doesn't just fall apart and crumble because there's no fucking fat in elk. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've been eating that for a while. It's pretty fucking good. I um, instead of bison or uh, la- lean beef, I found this place that has elk, and I do. I've been doing elk and venison a lot. Um, I'm about to start on a whole new program. I, honestly, like I meant to have started on it already, but. And I'm not, I'm sure Derek is just busy, but I haven't heard from Derek and I'm waiting to hear mm-hmm. back from Derek on like several, several things for the, for, for it's nagging time. Are you going to do the same workout regimen? Uh, I think, It'd be um, tragic if everyone left a comment to say, get back to Kyle. Oh, uh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I, I didn't, don't do that. Don't do that. Dude, he'll love it for the algorithm. This is like his thing. <laughs> okay. Get, for the algorithm. Go, go, go and write. Kyle loves your out. Al- Kyle wants your algorithm strong. Don't, don't, don't bother Derek on my account though. Um, he's scary. <laughs> he's a scary. He's guy. scary. <laughs> You're huge and he's significantly larger. <laughs> yeah. There's always, there's always a bigger fucking fish. Uh, I, I promise you. That, that's a scary. He's to it. He's delta to inspire me. I do um deltoids are one of the few things I do drop sets on. I feel like I can work them really hard. I don't get too sore and I don't get injured. And all the time I'm like, this is how he did it. This is how he did it. And that video where he's just uh, I don't know the video you're thinking of, but I I know is dude, the video I think of, dude, I've shown it to you. There's this giddy giddy girl. I think she's Asian. That's not important though. And she's like, guys, you know, guys, when they have that that line right here between their their arm, oh fuck me. And I'm like, ah, oh, chicks like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Not that it that. matters, but yeah. yeah. I like um. I, I like that too. I like the back of the tricep, like like when you when you like lock your elbow out. Um, you get that horseshoe tricep. looking thing. Yeah, I've got a really defined like horseshoe thing going on in the back that I think looks cool. Um, the, and that's something that you just don't have unless you're like, you know, you work out. Um, I, I don't have a horseshoe like you do, but I saw my tricep muscle in the mirror today and it was leg day. I, but I was just like, oh, gains. <laughs> <laughs> Harley, you're such a, a big guy. If you got jacked out of your mind, you'd be terrifying, oh. and that's a great goal. Be become like terrifying character. I feel become like, uh, become yeah, a golem. I did. I did think. I did think that like at one point, you guys remember when I was working out a lot, and I was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was probably like forty pounds less than I am now, but just composed differently. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I was never been able to go to where Kyle went because I was like, oh, I'm good, Who and has? I like this, and like to be honest, like. I was doing it because I wanted to like uh, like look good in videos. I wanted to look better. I wanted to look healthy. And I wanted to fuck women. Uh, <laughs> and I think people, when you're like on Kyle's level, I think people get like insecure around that kind of. Like you can make, Kyle can make like a fit person look kind of sloppy. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so like if you're just a regular person, you're going to feel really sloppy. Um, plus I was lazy and very happy with my results, but I never pushed it to that extent. And I don't even know if I have what it is mentally that, that Kyle has to get there. You know what I mean? You gotta be like, uh, you gotta be like, uh, like angry or retarded. And, and he's put into that. I yeah, was going to say that. Yeah. I wasn't sure. If it was for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm I feel halfway like there. Maybe, maybe I, have, I, have, I have like a, a dab of autism, not enough anger. You know what I mean? I'm too like, like happy, like in a video game or something. You've got shit. a dab like, of autism. Yeah. We've all got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was no. dipped in it. I was Gobble. dipped in it. And I was, I, I just like, I never thought about like going there, but I did think like when I would look at it, like, you know, some, some videos or pictures I was like man if i did that it'd be crazy but then i'm also like that's like a lot of food and a lot it, of it, the, the amount of effort he put into it because every day we were getting text updates and like pictures of meals and then like some of the most bland looking just meals that would make me sad and i like as it was like you talking about like almost getting discouraged by someone else's wild success i remember like throughout kyle's transformation We'd be texting he and I, and Kyle would be like, "What are you? What are you incline benching right now?" And I'm like, three by twelve, one eighty five." And he's like, "I'm coming for you." <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I was like, initially, I was like, "He'll he'll maybe peter off on this." And then after a few months, it was like, "No, he's coming for all your lifts." And then like as soon as he would, <laughs> you'd text me and be like, "What are you? Uh, what what's your tricep push down thing? That's my strongest." And I'm like, I, I I couldn't even tell you right now. I don't even know. And Kyle said it's just something outrageous. And I'm like, I know it's not that. Like, <laughs> I can't tell my you exactly, goals. My goals for all that. Whenever I had the goals were like, like I was in such bad shape that I was like, they were personal goals. Mm-hmm. Like 
I was never like, I'll like look at like my stronger friend or whatever and be like, I'm coming to get you. My goal was like, I looked at my my ass in the mirror and I was like, I'm going to lift you up. <laughs> I'm going to lift you. And like my only goal, like when I first started working, I was like, I need to do wide grip pull ups and pull myself up. Like if I was dangling like in a fucking game, like Uncharted or something, like I'm yeah. not, I can't get up. And yeah. no one can help me up either. Like that's just big, big, big. Like no one. Many pull ups coming you down. You're just dead. Pull ups are my my game. How did you do? I got to like twelve pull ups, and you know what it was that that helped me. Like sets of twelve. Like I could do twelve. Like I could keep going and going, but like to do twelve in a row, like two hundred and sixty pounds was just very hard for that's me. That's really good. That's yeah. incredibly hard. What yeah. helped me do it was there's this thing. It's like you know they have so many assisted machines, but the the one that helped me the most was like this like. It's it's a flat thing that you lie on on your tummy, and it can it's like a mechanism that could slide up and down, and it has the grips at the top of it. So you're lying on your stomach like at 45 <laughs> degrees and what sliding the- on this like sled thing up and down, pulling yourself up, and then you can go up like a bit more degrees, whatever. And then when you feel good, you could probably go do like two pull ups. So like mm-hmm. I would go do two pull ups and then I would go hit this thing and I would go do two pull ups and I, when I got to that level and then I kept doing it until I was just doing the pull ups but I never gave up that like assisted machine I would just do more of it it was I was able to go slow and do better for myself yeah I still um, use the uh, the assisted machine um, for for are for, those the ones you put your knees on yeah the, uh, mine is his is the is is a full body sled it's like an um, incline but yeah um, I use I use those ones too they were I've never seen hard, the those sled. are harder though than what I was describing yeah mine you put your knees on a thing and you're able to control the counterweight so it's able to essentially but it's like you... it's not there supporting you it's kind of like tapping you up like it's like you could you still have you to do slow. it yourself mm-hmm. you've got to go yeah, slow you, for, yeah for you got to do it you got to yeah, be you ready slow. yourself you're and, doing uh, a lot more in, in that one but yeah when i first started out i couldn't do three sets of 12 pull-ups for sure but and but like over time mm-hmm. like like you slowly like remove the um resistance or the counterbalance on that machine until you're doing them and then it's after a while it's time to strap weights on to you the same way with dips it's it's the same machine mm-hmm. for dips as well. And I started out with assisted dips, and now I'm strapping quite a bit of weight on. For, for- Nothing makes me feel like better than doing a bunch of dips. Like I feel, you lean yeah. forward, you feel like you're activating your I lower like chest, them. you're getting your dips triceps are Taylor's going. Thing. I, I like love it, They're dips. one of his favorite exercises. They, they are my favorite exercise. Um, I don't think anybody like notices me <laughs> working out at the gym at all, really. Until I do dips and I start slapping on giant weights on a belt, <laughs> and they're just like, "Oh, he's gonna do dips too." And it's just like, "Cuck clunk!" <laughs> Wait, how, how are you dips? putting weight on a belt yeah, if I you're did... doing it in that machine with your knees on it? So no, that was pull ups. So oh, I, I thought, thought he said, said it was uh, the same machine. It's the same machine. So I take a uh, 25 pound weight and I put it on the assist pad and zero it out. I put it all the way to the floor. So I get, so I get uh, to use the fancy grips and the whole like. Oh, really smart. Machine. I understand. That's that makes a good sense. strategy. Yeah. So then you're not I, using that rusty, weird standing one that might tip. in the I started weak on dips. When these guys were strapping weights to themselves, I was putting a resistance band across the two handles. So it like pulled my knees up mm-hmm. and, uh, then I got to the point, in my mind, I do between 8 and 12 on a set. That's my target. If I can't do 8, the weight is too heavy or I need more assistance mm-hmm. or whatever. That, that's how I roll. And uh, when I could finally do three sets of 8, you know, with no assistance at all, it was like, oh, I'm, a, I'm a gamer too, right? Like, I'm a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm currently at 312s, I think. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm I do dips. I always great. did dips. I always did dips. And even now, like when I go to the gym, I do dips on chest day. And I use it as like a, like for like uh, my 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 decline, like the middle the middle part of my titties mm-hmm. right here, and I just lean forward really far. Um, but I never did them on tricep day because it's a uh, it's hard to isolate that lower pec. Um, mm-hmm. but the two the two good exercises for that that I found one is unique to that machine that we I've just been describing the the assisted dip and pull up machine because it does have that cushioned knee pad that's about clavicle level on a grown man that you mm. can assist the the resistance on you can put your hands in kind of this diamond thing and stand straight to it and push down and if you do that right now in your chair you can feel mm. like the bottom of your pecs flex like you can see where you're kind of yeah. activating yeah, and so yeah. you're able to really slowly mm-hmm. go go up and down like this with as much weight as you can go to failure you can go you can mm-hmm. go above your your, your strength level and then obviously decline um presses of any kind yeah. whether you're using dumbbells or uh, barbells i should try dips 
just to see what I can. Is one thing about my dips is that my the, the very last thing I do on push day, mm. and that impacts your performance a lot, big time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like we're talking about it now. Like, oh, I couldn't even tie weights to myself. Like, like most people can't do a dip and a pull up. Like they're two very basic exercises, but it takes a tremendous amount of strength to pull yourself up or to controlled lower yourself and dip. One yeah. of my favorite things about those exercises is that like if, mm -hmm. if you tell someone you overhead press 135 on a barbell, no one knows what that is. Like, no, like, oh, is that even good? Is yeah. that good? In my head, by the way, that's the start of good. Uh, one plate on an overhead press, two plates on a bench, three on a squat, four on a deadlift. Those are like my benchmarks. But uh, so if you're doing one plate on an overhead press, you're doing pretty good, but no one gets it. If you do 12 pull-ups and then you do 12 again and then you do 12 again, most people know they can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't like – I have one of those cheapo like belts with a chain on it that you can put through the the weight plate to do it. I fucking hate that thing. And so like what I do is I have an old backpack and I wear that like on my front mm -hmm. and then I like put plates into the old backpack. And it's just – if like, it, it helps like it, – it helps you get in that position like where you're like almost – you're almost like parallel, like I have a like belt that, that yeah. I really when you're like. leaned all the yeah, way. Yeah, you're, you're leaned forward, forward and it feels good. I, I tried to like mine. I, I, I yeah. don't know what's appropriate. I would that's one of those things where I almost wish I had like someone sitting next to me, like, ah, uh, no, no, keep your back straight. Cause I don't know. Cause sometimes I lean all the way forward and almost end up in like a gymnastic pose doing like a push up. Um, and then sometimes I just really keep my keep yeah. my back straight and sort of like point my chin to the sky and, and like really make sure I'm activating back there. And I had my wife video me and I sent it to subject matter experts because I had that same thing about yeah. dips. I was worried. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's also an exercise where you can hurt yourself uh, really easily. You know, like, like it's, you it, can it, fuck it's your shoulder. hard. I'd never done a dip before. I remembered like in high school, like seeing people do dips and trying them and immediately failing. You, you ever try to like lift something you see and, and immediately fail and be like, oh, that's so far beyond yeah. me. It's, <laughs> it's not like when you try to do like a cartwheel and like it's a little wonky, but you may you rotated. It would be like if you tried to do a cartwheel and your wrist snapped. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> was, but but um, oh, aren't so, my favorite speak, now. Speaking of like the just you saying the wrist snap thing, have you guys ever seen the video of Tom Segura going oh for a God. dunk? Yes, and he like he like crumples up like a dead spider, like <laughs> like broken arm, broken knee. Like he's all did all his fucked knee up. bend the wrong way in that? If I remember right, it was one of those hard to look at it. His, his yeah. it is his his arm bent the wrong way. Like okay. he's laying on the ground with like the knee was one of those injuries you couldn't like see out on the outside, but his arm was like laying flat across his back the wrong way. It's and, and he's just going like uh, uh, yeah, dude. And it was scary for me because as a fellow not 19 year old like all he was doing was like a layup with maybe like a little cut under the basket yeah. right like he's going under the basket dribbling and he <laughs> so attempted standard. to turn 45 degrees and he ruined himself he <laughs> yeah, in other words he didn't even make he's it playing pickup basketball <laughs> he's like warming up for pickup basketball i think yeah. i'm not even sure there was I, i'm, I'm wasn't not in tremendous end. shape no. but i guarantee <laughs> that i don't crumble and collapse trying to do a you layup think you can like turn that. 45 degrees without injury taylor I, I, i'm gonna <laughs> well, that's the myself jewish, here yeah that's, that's <laughs> like, i have i have so many jewish friends that injured themselves playing basketball uh i swear it is like ultimate ultimate like when you're 27 years old and up and jewish you stop you have to stop i have like eight friends with a torn acl I'm not oh, even joking, all, and all it's Jewish. all basketball, all Jews, <laughs> yeah. always. So, Jews like, love basketball so much, like that. disproportionately. I and I remember, like, I had you watch like, Adam Sandler friends. hitting jumpers like today. He like you see him like he plays <laughs> ball and he's good at it. I remember like a couple of my my Jewish friends growing up, like they were super into basketball, and every time I'd go over to their house, they'd want to play basketball. And like even at 11 years old, I'm like, these guys are terrible. <laughs> these, these guys are not good they need to they need to start blowing up on finance and stuff because this is not gonna you're not I'm, ben i'm so sorry you're not going to the nba we're 11 and you're four foot six so i don't think you're gonna yeah take that's that's what it comes down to a lot has anybody seen the uh you mentioned jews has anybody seen the new south park uh like i haven't yet but i want to and i know all about it Jameer, I, I don't know about really it. anything about it. is it a it's good episode? pretty good they did a new special it's on hbo it's i think or paramount or wherever i fuck i want i don't know i just click play and it played 
because I've got a bunch of shit. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty fucking good. No spoilers here, but it's like in the future when the when the boys, as we know them, are like forty or like late or like thirty five mm-hmm. or something like that. They're adults now, and they're talking about like things that happened that we as the audience didn't get to see, and so and then they start filling in the gaps, and so you get to see what everybody grew up to be. And and also you get like this fun little thing where they're making fun of like what technology will be like mm-hmm. in twenty five years or twenty years or whatever it is. Uh, if I liked it a lot, um, and I don't want to spoil what they do with Cartman, but yeah, uh, it, I it, heard it's so it, funny. It, it fucking had me rolling. <laughs> yeah. like, like, like I, I that's the best part to me is what they what, do. With so Cartman. it was actually good. You a lot of times when they do like time shift and like aging of characters, mm. I'm not all in because I'm so probably just because I'm like so stuck in the rut of like no, they're supposed to be eight year olds. It's actually mm. funny. I liked it. Um, Did you like the last two COVID specials there? I thought they were really good. I I, I like those specials. Two. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like that they're making like stupid go fuck yourself money making these specials mm-hmm. as, as well. Um, like like it, it's outrageous. I I love that those weird fucking dudes are gonna become billionaires off of this. I, I only Christmas saw that card. uh that first special they did since the COVID thing. I haven't seen the second one, so I guess it's yeah. the third one. I I am so bored of this Tegrity, Tegrity Farms Farm. shit. I I'm over it. I it it was it wasn't even a funny premise in the beginning at all. It, you're gonna love the special. I'm, I'm over then. it. I hope. That, okay, well then, hopefully, Integrity Farms is a thing of the past, and they can go back to. You're normal. gonna love the special. Okay. Well, <laughs> I hope so. Do, you're do gonna you feel love the special. Do, am I, I alone on this, this so, island? Do you guys two-parter. agree? Two-parter. It's a two-parter. Ends on a cliffhanger. Oh, okay. but, yeah. but as far as the Integrity Farms thing, like, are you kind of on the same page, you guys? Like, Look, it's, I'll it's be so fucking I don't played. Need, I don't. I, when you brought it up, I was like, yeah, I didn't think about it then, but like, you bring it up, I'm like, yeah, I don't need that anymore. Yeah, it's just I, not. It's it, I just don't, the kids I don't are funnier it. with each other. I, I don't. I don't mind it. Um, I think I. I like. Well, you don't like. You don't like uh, Stan's dad episode. I I do. I I like. I Stan's, love those. Episodes. I, I do like Stan's dad episodes, but I like the ones where he's at home and he's a geologist, and you know the kids have their B storyline. That was, I mean, it's just better. I yeah. Prefer um. That. I don't know. I I like that they do different things. I guess it, 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 it's it's what I really like. And this is this is different. Um. Like going forward in the future, and and the way they explain it, and like some of the stuff that's, I can't talk about without spoiling. I just want to say I I liked a lot of what they did. Uh. I I laughed a good bit. I didn't think it was amazing or anything. Like Imagination Land mm-hmm. to me is like the best like special event type thing they've ever fucking done. I love I, Imagination Land. Imagination Land is their peak. Like like mm-hmm. like all those references like it's just it's perfect for me i love i love pop the, the imagination what? song makes me laugh so it's yeah. so stupid and it makes me laugh so hard every time and you What's know they ripped it take on covid up. i want to know you mentioned it they, they, they did covid specials what what was their takeaway they usually have like a moral or a, a the story. current one is still on covid oh i thought it was called how would you describe what south park feels about covid um they uh they are more left-leaning like like um, and and sort of like realizing that there's just a component of us that are just assholes, and because of them, the here's your spoiler. Here's your one spoiler. The pandemic is still a thing in the in, in the, in the special. <laughs> That's it's what funny. they said it in, in in the earlier one. They said it's they're like COVID's going to be around for forty years. Yeah, and so it's like, like it's later. another forty years in the future. <laughs> and, 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 like Alexa, here's one more tiny little thing. Alexa is a fucking hologram. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 who's like his bitchy wife? <laughs> and he's like, Alexa, change the channel. Excuse me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> like, 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 like <laughs> it's just, Alexa's now like a bitchy housewife hologram who begrudgingly does things for him occasionally. But, uh, I, but, but yeah, COVID is still a thing. And people literally wear face diapers now, uh, chin diapers. Yeah. All the employees at every place wears a chin diaper and it's this full like diaper they wear around their head. Um, I liked it. I don't know. Maybe I'm, uh, still kind of juvenile with my sense of humor, but I, I thought it was pretty fucking funny. Yeah, I bet it is funny. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. I watched Dune for a second time uh, last night as well. Um, God damn, that's a good fucking movie. Any better the second time? Any yeah, worse? it was you, yeah. know, you notice more? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking great. It's fucking killer. Yeah, I, watched it, I watched it like four times. I love that movie. It, I, I, I just I like Denis Villeneuve. Just like, he's just, he's just really good at he's it. He's really fucking good. Um, but that's the ultimate movie. The ultimate. If someone's like, bro, I put on, like, I have a buddy who's like, I put on Dune, bro, and I heard this fucking woman and her stupid kid complaining about life in the fucking desert for, like, an hour, bro, 
and it's the ultimate, like, it's not for everyone. Yeah. And I tell people all the time, it's not for everyone. People are like, yo, should I see Dune? And I'm like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I'm going to go see it a third time now. Like, like There's I, so oh, many little things in there that had me like, like, cause I know the story or whatever. I haven't read the mm-hmm. book, but um, I, I obviously watched the first one multiple times, like both versions, and I like it. It's got I got a soft spot for it for that for that first Dune movie. But like, there's a part where like his boots were like put on in a, in a in a particular way, and she's like, "Your boots are on desert shimmy shimmy style," and he's <laughs> like, "It just it seems the, it just seemed like the right way." And he is like, the chosen one, and then, and then she like like quotes some sort of like nonsense and he shall know the ways of your people <laughs> and he shall know how to put his boots on I, <laughs> I almost wish he'd been like can we all what <laughs> it's literally like it's she literally said like, it out loud in front of him like <laughs> that was funny like he just like put something on in a way that makes sense intrinsically and they're like how did you know? Not, did. Like you tied your, you tied your shoelaces that. with bunny ears. It would be, <laughs> that. It would be you don't like, tie your shoelaces to each like, shoe? Like, you like, double knotted? Here's the thing. <laughs> That's a I desert guarantee, trick. I guarantee it, that like one like special forces guy sees another tie his fucking shoes as strangers, and he's like, oh, I noticed you're using the, the loop-de-loop method. He, but many, even how, with you, there's blood on your hands. Even what she <laughs> described <laughs> She's like, yeah, oh, you put to, like the loop on the outside of your boot. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but from what you just said, that's exactly how I would have done it. Too. <laughs> and I'm not fucking Muadib or whatever. So <laughs> yeah. like, I'm not the Quizak Hadarak. I'm just I fucking put the loop over the shoe because that's what like anyone. That's what you do with at. shoes. I've been yeah. skiing, bro. Like I know how it works. <laughs> they did a really good job of like not being up their own ass about how cool their special effects were. Like uh, so much was obscured by smoke, oh, fog, dust, and, and and darkness. Like 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 I feel like um who's it just that guy existed. That, you never thought about it. Made uh, uh Independence Day Schumacher or like like who was it that made Independence Day? Like I can't think of that fucker's name, but but like he would never hide a fucking spaceship, but like like, like that, he's, he's, it would have to be like big and bright, and the sun would be lit on it. And and yeah, like, you never thought about the effects in that movie. Like it just the movie just existed. The, um, you never thought about it. Like it I thought there. it was all about special effects. Now we wa- someone opened my eyes. It might have been filthy to this, but I was like, there were so many slow scenes where they gradually unveiled a CGI room a CGI ship, a CGI crawler, a yeah. CGI, like, and I'm like, Oh my God, I get it. You're beating me over the head with your goddamn CGI. I took it up differently. But then filthy said, I think it was filthy. Um, what they're doing here is they're explaining the world to you without beating you over the head. Like, this is what the technology is like. All the technology isn't self-driving. It's operated by people. This is, is a family of great power and prestige. That's what you're taking away from this slow room unveiling. It is a royalty. And I was like, all right, all right. You're right. I was wrong. I saw that movie and I was like, that was great. I don't felt like, I didn't feel like I lacked anything. I saw it again. I understood it further. I was like, oh, okay. Then I went and read the Dune book because I never read it before. And I had a flight and I got on the plane and I fucking read it. And I was like, bro, I would never like this book Mm -mm. if that movie wasn't so sick. That's right. Um, This guy doesn't even describe, he doesn't even describe what people look like. You don't know what anyone looks like. He describes like Baron Harkonnen because it's like, you have to explain it. But like he doesn't, he says like, you know, like Paul Atreides is like a pointy nose. Picture whatever the fuck you want, basically. He describes like equipment here I and there. That. He'll describe a room. Mm. But you I know the worst like, part. Hey, I was you, like, if I didn't have the movie, this would be fucking yeah, you, you hard. You have no so, point of reference. Do you know what happens to Paul Atreides in the books? I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just asking if you know. Yes. But but I didn't read it. I I went to a subreddit after reading the book. But I went to a subreddit that goes to all the books. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I got like a book two or book three spoiler. And I was like, yeah. oh. And it was such a thing that I was like, what's the best Dune book? And people were like, book four. And I'm like, fuck. I got to <laughs> read two and three now to get to the good one. That's so frustrating. But yeah, I'm still uh, down because the whole world of it, like I'm I'm in on it. Like I like it. Dense. There's so much. Yeah. It, it reminds me so much of Warhammer 40k. Like like parts of it do. What's like, that? Like, I've never heard you. Is that a thing you like? Are you joking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys played Tarkov? 
<laughs> no. Hey, do you like bacon and liquor? I have. <laughs> Fuck shit. No, but I, I agree. I, I love the book, and I, I started to read it after that. I wouldn't have felt that way. And I never watched Old Dune. And people were like, it's so trippy. And I was like, why would it be trippy? Dude. And then I went and I put on the Old Dune movie. And it starts off, and I'm like, "This is so fucking trippy." With Virginia and then, Madsen with that, and, with that fucking exposition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know me, I love my expositions. But then, like, they got, they started, they did some shit, and I was like, "Who the fuck is that? Like, you're starting here. This is how there's, we do it. This is how you spell it out for like a 1980s audience." There's that part, did, and I don't know if this is in the extended edition or, or, or not. But, but like, let me lay this out for the audience. The evil character has a hairless cat that is presented, and the hairless cat has a rat that has either been tied to it or grafted surgically to it. It's hard to tell if those are bandages or just like some way to secure it. And he's informing this man that he has been poisoned, and the only cure for his poison, well, there is no cure, but there is medication for it. It is the milk of this hairless cat. And so every day he must milk the hairless cat for his antidote. <laughs> and you're like, all right, so these are the bad guys, right? <laughs> and then, and then there's the one guy who's got like the heart plug. And like, I'm sure the book explains a little bit better, but it seems to me that they like surgically implanted like a thing in his heart where like, if you want to, you can just pull it out. And it's like pulling the stopper on a bathtub. You know, like 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 the like it just unseals his heart to the world yeah. and he just bleeds out right there. And he does that to the guy, like like for no apparent reason. And he's clearly there has like this incestuous fat infatuation with his son, who is played by Sting. Sting comes out and he's like not only was Sting like clearly like one of the hottest men in like the world at that point, but like he's the hottest man on the planet Harkonnen because like everybody else there is is, is like a greasy pig of a human being, and he's like wearing that, that weird fucking like I don't know what that cod piece he's wearing with the wings and everything is. And he's just like ripped his fuck eight pack coming out. And, and his dad is like, fuck yeah. yeah. And, then, and, then, and then they cut to his brother and his brother's like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, are you guys jerking it to like, 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 like sting right now? Like, what are we supposed to take from this? It, it, yeah. They're so, I don't think, I don't think he's related to sting actually. They are. They're, 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 that's his. That's his. Um, He's the uncle of the other guy, the bigger one. I thought they were brothers. No, this guy's like a, a ward of sorts to him. Maybe cool. there is a relation. Okay. I don't think so, but maybe he's like it's a general. Still very he weird. Yeah, he's like a ward. And there's strong pedo vibes. Like he's like basically he's got. Oh, like he's got a, a boy. He's got a, a boy. boy. Yeah, he's yeah. got boys. Yeah, he's got a fem boy for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. In like the original that. movie, it's very clear that Harkonnen wants to fuck him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a horny guy, and I was watching. I was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. they leaned hard in the horniness." We didn't get much horniness in the Denisville the one. I, and I heard someone—I can't remember who I heard reviewing it—but they, they they described it this way: that in the original, they really took the most bizarre things from the book and were and like, "Look how zany this is!" Like, there's a the part where Baron Harkonnen is like floating around the room like Willy Wonka style, like he's just like, like <laughs> yeah. silly. It, it gets silly. And in the Villeneuve, whatever his fucking name, I can't do it, um, version, this new version, he just kind of floats a little. And you're like, oh, he's he's just got some sort of hover thing going on. Okay, that, that actually seems a, a marginally practical. Maybe they've got a heavy gravity on their planet or some shit. Yeah. He doesn't float away like Willy Wonka on like... He literally is like, like a balloon that you let the air out. He's in the room and he's like... It, it, it's a terrible looking effect. And, and and like all the effects in the original look. Well, bad. the shield. I saw the shields and I was like, what the fuck? They're like in rectangles. Do you know how they do that? That, that fucking uh, thing? That's I think no that's idea. called rotoscoping. Oh, yeah. Um, I know how that's done. And it involves literally drawing yeah. those by hand with a ruler and for yeah. every frame over. But you end up not being able to see shit. I love that technology and that premise because you've always got this issue. Anytime, like, like it's it's hard to have a narrative that involves guns, where your main character doesn't get shot by the fucking gun right away. Because why wouldn't he? It's mm -hmm. like, like he's without him, we'd be nowhere. Bang! You're nowhere. Like 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 that's what <laughs> would happen, right? Like like. But this has kind of solved that. Um, so because you have to use the the hand to hand weapons because the slow blade penetrates the shield. The fast blade. Well, if you right use off. and they have and they have use the laser weapon. Yeah. It, you have a like a fucking literally a nuclear explosion. Nuclear explosion. <laughs> if if you shoot any one of these guys wearing while he's wearing his shield with one of the like fancy laser guns, 
but this this country is nuked. Like, the, yeah. like, like, like all of I us didn't are know that. I, yeah, I had to read. I read that part like fifteen times. I'm like, my understanding is, I'm like, every all the shields that I saw in the so, movie. If anyone shot someone with not a projectile gun, but like a laser gun, laser. I'm like even the ones like I'm like, then everyone gets nuked. But yeah. what they don't tell you in the new movie is like that the ships that came and bombed the shit when it's it's actually so sick. The explosions that happen here, they're so sick and they look awesome. And like when the ship comes and crashes down, it just looks real. That whole scene, they don't say it in the movie, but they're using like artillery and like explosives and projectiles. And and in the book, they're like, why would you use this? This is like, like 80,000 years old. And they're like, oh, because we're just going to blow them up. They're going to have the, they're going to have shields up. We can't hit anyone with shields. And they don't talk about it. But in the book, it's like, you know, because if you hit someone with a shield with a laser gun, it's a nuclear explosion. Yeah. And I was like, sense. how does that, why would that ever make sense to give everyone little potential nuclear explosive scenarios? You know what but, I mean? Because, because it allows you to have a sci-fi narrative where you get to have sword fights. And it makes sense because even Star Wars doesn't make much sense because I guarantee I could kill a Jedi if you give me an AR-15. Hit the, hit the yeah, well, a, the Jedi's apparently Mandalorians were able to kill Jedi's like they had shotguns. That's and, what like, I, the, yeah. the lightsabers don't work well. Like you can block <laughs> a shotgun. Oh my so, like God. Mandalorian weapons. Wow, were, so that like, really made. is it's all so you obvious. need. I yeah. never thought about it. So just a, a single shot. shotgun burst. Yeah. And even Yoda. Yeah, the is Mandalorian dead. weapons were like made for Jedi specifically. That's why right. his, Star his Wars is stupid. It is now it is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're off that. We're on wheel of time now. <laughs> Dude, I, I haven't gotten on the wheel of time thing. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it keep going, and we'll see if if everybody smart keeps saying, saying hyped all, on this thing. Always a smart move, I think. Yeah. And so, so so Woody looks uh, interested. Wheel of time is apparently I'm told. Uh, I think Amazon is making it right now, and it's 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 another one of those beloved um, book series. Um, and I've seen like three seconds of it in like previews and shit, and it looked okay. But I and I and I, and I hear people hyped on it, but. It's such a is big there a potential. You know how like, I got the wheel of time bent on it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how that fits in. I, I got I got to wheel of time when I the last time I was on this podcast, you guys were reading a, a book, uh, a, a really uh, the lamp. Uh, what is it? The ones you were reading. You guys were reading the lamp light very, diaries. Yes. Yeah, so I oh, went to go look that God. up, God. and I found out like that they're still writing so i was like okay wait and then i went and i looked up another series and another series and i kept doing it and and like after we had this conversation i, I kept landing on wheel of time and everyone was like wheel of time wheel of time and it was like okay so i bought the first book because i wanted to read fantasy after talking to you guys it always led me to wheel of time anyone that read what you guys were reading read wheel of time also to an extent or something so i went and i checked it out and then i was like oh and it's going to be on amazon and I kind of like reading a book or do it, watching a movie, then reading the book and, and seeing the differences. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Um, and so I read like the first half of Wheel of Time um, and then the show came out. And it is like it's like the, the way the whole thing works. And I kind of had a hard time reading the book uh, at first uh, until I was I, I read this like uh, a, a prologue type thing. And it's just like time always repeats the wheel of time. It always happens. Like life begins again, life begins again. But the last time that there was life, it, it was broken by like the dragon, like the ultimate like person, like, you know, uh, basically ma magic got broken and any man that uses magic will go crazy. And so all the females can use magic and they go hunting down any male magic user, but the dragon's going to come back. And he's he could use mad. He'll fix the world. That's basically it. Okay. okay. Is it good? I saw the first few episodes and I watched. And I'm like, you know what? You got good actors. You're trying. You're spending money. So I it, there's nothing wrong with it yet. Potential. I am interested. Uh, but it didn't start off with a brother and sister it's fucking like Game of Thrones did. And I think that's what really set things off on in motion. In. Have you listened to Bobaverse yet? The the book series. No. I, it, every so I mentioned on the show, it's probably been two years since I've said it. It is the best book series ever written. Game of Thrones can suck a dick and it's not even finished. Lord of the Rings. I, I, I'm assuming that guy was a brand new author who hadn't written anything before. Bobaverse. Bobaverse is better than anything else. It starts in current day. You never and, told me about this. 
No. So the guy is a software looks engineer. Sick. He sells his business and he pays for that. Um, what is it called? Cryogenics or something when they mm -hmm. like freeze your brain and, and yeah. hopefully you come back in the future, like incredibly wealthy with all these like time value of money gains and, and your whatever made you die now is easily curable and stuff like that. So he wakes up in the distant future, but that is not his reality. His reality is that oh, yeah. <laughs> he comes back as kind of a computer program and they give these computer programs no respect. They're like a lesser version of life. The real people will bring them oh. back, give them shitty jobs. And if they don't like it, they'll just delete them. And that so he has to prove that he is worthy of like this shitty job. But he <laughs> loves it. The job is to like go out into space and replicate himself and form a new life and keep going and help his like little nation succeed in the universe. And I'll stop there, but he becomes like an AI. Yes. And, um, I loved it. Not only it has the right level of sci-fi for me. Mm -hmm. So, um, three body problem, for example, now I multitask when I listen to it, but there were times when I could barely understand. All right. God, a hundred percent. hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, they, they were, my, my cognitive horsepower was just at red yeah. line. They lost, me the same. <laughs> they lost me with the fucking names. I'm sorry. The names are tough because the they're name. Chinese. Thought, oh, yeah. It helps a little bit with audio yeah. because um, they have different voices and the voice actor did a great oh, yeah. job. The names did throw me off. Like, that guy's got an X in his name. I'll remember yeah, yeah. that. Oh, wait, and these Don. two guys have Xs in their <laughs> name. If they would just Americanize every fucking yeah, name, I'd go back help. to it. I own the book. So, so Bobiverse, on the other hand, does have some interesting like sci-fi puzzles that you have to get, but I could understand them all. You know, I, I was in my head. Well, that sounds place. great. I don't think you ever told me about this because I've never searched no. this up before. You told me about this uh, and it did sound really interesting. It's it's a sad idea. Um, Dude, yeah, there, are, sound, there are plot like twists it. and betrayals and like and this people is, you care about this die, is which this I is like. recent. This series, it's finished right? as well. So. They started in 2016. Okay. Um, Anyway, I have I I'm it, down. it's like um I got into audiobooks. Maybe it was Three Body Problem that kicked it off again for me. And I, I listened to a couple of them, then I found Bobaverse, and I have been chasing that high ever since. I can't. If I can tell you you like audiobooks, like it's so it's such a weird suggestion. I don't know if you guys like superheroes as much as I do, but Maybe. I was uh listening to this one podcast called uh, Wolverine the Long Night. And it's like a radio show style acted out like on Apple Podcasts. I'm on the third oh. episode and it's super great. It's like from the perspective of detectives that are on the trail of what they think is like murders that Wolverine committed. Yeah. And it's just really interesting hearing. Is it saber tooth like it always is? Oh, that's what all I'm thinking. The whole time I'm listening, they're like, it's a bear attack. I'm like, come on, saber tooth, right? <laughs> but he, they're talking about like they go to like the dock and they talk to a dock worker and he's telling this story about this fucking short, angry, ugly motherfucker. And you're kind of smiling the whole time because you're in on it. You know, Wolverine. So you're hearing him describe it. And everyone's like, that sounds fucking crazy. But you're like, oh, that's the guy. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, I don't know if you'd be into it. I listen to three episodes. I'm totally going to finish it. It's great. Uh, I, I um. I, I think I would like that because I we had him on the show a long time ago, the film comics explained guy, or maybe it, it's one of those guys who like um uh goes goes over comic books. He's got that really good voice. I may be talking about the wrong one. I like those guys. I don't know which one it is either. But he breaks yeah. comic books down and comics he has like his, he has like those hour long videos. It's comics explained. That's the guy, yeah. Um I, I liked him a lot because I I've watched so many hours of his fucking videos, like like um so much what, cheaper than buying comics. <laughs> That and like whenever the Marvel stuff was like really kicking off like five, six years ago, I uh, I, I wanted to know more about the minutia of like all that nonsense. And so I really got into his videos right now. I'm um, I'm really hyped for the new season of Ozark. The trailer came out. I refused to watch it. And because uh, like last season, if you don't remember how Ozark ended, it was a fucking madhouse. It was fucking brains getting blown uh, into the yard and like like everybody being freaked the fuck out. It was crazy. You know, um, I watched Ozark season one. I really loved it. Ozark season two came out. I like put it on and I was like, I don't remember anything. And then I was like, I'm leaving. And I we left. disagree with you very much here. We find season two to be superior to season one. No, I didn't. even. I, but I didn't remember anything. Oh. I got there and I was like, I forget everything from season one. I and have I a left. trick. What you do. Watch a YouTube a wiki video. Page. 
five yeah, minutes. That, that's a good trick. Ozark too. Ozark in five minutes. Well, I prefer it in in text format. Like I'll just sort of just in. It takes me uh, six smart minutes. Smart guy, eh? To, smart <laughs> guy over here. That doesn't make you smart. But uh, you it. know, I can just sort of fill in all. Oh, right, 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 mm-hmm. right. Now I remember, and these are the different people's names. Yeah, and then I can go and. It means a lot that you guys say right. that a season two is superior because I really enjoyed season one. And I got I, there for season we did two. Too. All I remember was all I remember was like the like the bag of money with like those like the white trash people, and it was a great scene. And I, I really did very stand out. Irritated when they use a laundry machine in money laundering, like that's not what money laundering is. We're trying to take illegally gotten gains and convince the government we got them through some valid source, so you can pay tax. That's what it has nothing to do with washers and dryers. When the, when you've got con- counterfeit money, they often will run it through um, a, a dryer to to wrinkle it. But, Perhaps but like, was this counterfeit money? I don't remember, but but like the reason that that is normally done is to like rough the money up a little so it doesn't look like those new clean uh, bills. Yeah. Like, so for people who don't know anything about money laundering, if you just show up with three million dollars and deposit it in your bank account. The government is like, where did this come from? You've done something bad. On the other hand, like Breaking Bad, you can take some shitty sort of cash business like a coin laundry, coin laundry. Thank you. And show up with some stupid amount of gains and just be like, you know what? Laundry's kicking it. We make 600 grand a year out of it and just start funneling your money uh, from each one of these things. And then it gets into the bank in a more valid way. You pay your taxes on it and no one's looking at you for jail time. But you guys have to. It is the best show. It is currently in my books. And if it continues this way, it will be the best show. It is on par with Breaking Bad and and Game of Thrones at its peak for me. I cannot recommend it enough. Succession is so fucking good. It is so good. It is literally, it's on HBO. They're on season three. It looks like it might end Mm. season four, season five. It is hands down the best show. It is so good. I don't know anyone that, that I've recommend, and I and I don't overhype shit because I'm like whatever. I don't care if you don't watch it or whatever. This I cannot recommend it enough to people listening and to yourselves. I've said it before, but Succession is so good, and it the quality of it has maintained up okay. to this point. Also, hard recommendation. And before Succession airs, there's a show called How to with John Wilson, which is really fucking weird. It's just a guy kind of mumbling into his camera while he documents bullshit around random things. I know that sounds like a terrible description. It should be a very, very, very bad show. It is also one of the funniest shows. How to, which almost was a succession. I can't, I can't recommend it enough. I really, check that out. I, I need you guys. To I'm watch a, I've heard very good things about succession. Never pulled the trigger. Though. Yeah. I'll look into it. I, uh, today I was watching that hockey show that you guys recommended oh. to me and fucking loving that shit. What's it called? It, it's called Taylor's Untold Gear. Crime and Penalties. This is the story of an actual mob boss. Oh, who, I know this. Yeah. Okay. He bought his 17 year old son a minor league hockey team, and, yeah. and 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 when and and you might think, oh, so the kid owns a hockey team, but what does that even mean? No, mm-hmm. he's like the general manager and the president. So he yeah. picks the players. He runs the fucking show. And he picked like he's 17 and he likes WWE at his birthday party when he was 12 or 13. The Rock was there. He was this footage. of Yeah. It. <laughs> did, you, did you see they had a WWE night at one point during their season and John Cena showed up to like hold his belt. John <laughs> Cena showed up like, like, like th- this is this is a show where it is it, they, they split time between the mob and the FBI and then intermixed. Is like John Cena, Triple H, The Rock, um, uh, Wayne Gretzky's under Brent Gretzky, Gretzky. little brother, <laughs> and like like all these other people palling around with mob w- w- the mob, and it's it's just like mm-hmm. ah okay, I'd love to hear The Rock tell this story, like 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 I'd love to hear his. Uh, you're you're liking it a lot so far, right? I'm digging it quite a bit. It's so um, funny. I like how violent they are. I I like how like just I hard fucking core they are. Um, like, like I like how they pay them with like envelopes and, and bags of money. And, and the players uh, knew, right? The players are like, yeah, I got a check from the hockey team. And then another one from like a waste management company and another one from the help me out, Taylor. What were the other checks? Oh, it was like, like, a, like a cleaning service, waste <laughs> management, like a bunch of like bullshit, like, and it was like not just the players on these payrolls. Their wives were getting checks for it. They're like, if they had an adult child, they also worked there. It was just money laundering <laughs> through a minor league team. And like to 
to the fighting point, I've never seen so much blood on the ice as I've the never fights seen, that they did. Well, I mean, like uh, to your point, like like it was like opening game or like 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 mm -hmm. they're, they're about to drop the puck for the first time of the year, and the fucking mob boss calls down and tells like the one of their new players, <laughs> as soon as they drop that fucking puck, you drop your glove, <laughs> you take that guy the fuck out, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, so what? Of course. You know, <laughs> I was just looking for a. Mo I, I was just looking for a motherfucker. He had just <laughs> given me a duffel bag of cash, and so I decided to do everything he says. <laughs> yeah. So, so he just beats the shit out of some rent. Like, like he. I, I guess somehow he got the guy to tell him to go fuck himself, and he's like, yeah. and then it was on. Yeah. And, and they got a video of all this shit, and he beats the fuck out of this man in front of everybody. And then as he's like skating off the ice, he like points up to the mob boss, like, "Yeah, I got him for you, boss." <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious, like, and like even the the GM slash president, like the son of the guy, like so much of the documentary is just because he was walking around with a camcorder like the yeah. entire time. Oh. And like the the there was one guy on an opposing team who pulled a real dirty bullshit move that that broke the leg of one of the uh the Danford trashers uh and this other player came back in town and like in what is like very uncouth the guy's sitting at his bench like dreading playing this game because this guy's not an enforcer he doesn't even want to be there he's playing minor league for a real team and the the president the, the GM is taking a camera right to that crack <laughs> between the glass and he's going, you got a real pretty face. It's going to be a shame. <laughs> it's going to be a shame. Come on. Give me a smile. Give me a smile with that pretty face. Come on. And, <laughs> and, and that guy's sitting there horrified knowing that the second he steps on the ice, the Nigerian nightmare is going to beat him to death. <laughs> the Nigerian nightmare. That is guy's awesome. so funny. Like, like the 17 year old mob boss's son is like, yeah, so I got all these tapes from talent and I saw this one and it said the Nigerian nightmare and that caught my attention. So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to watch this one first. And then it cuts to this guy. I was the first Nigerian to ever play in the NHL. My parents didn't want to let me play. My mom tried to get me into figure skating. <laughs> this was my calling. <laughs> and then there's this one moment where like he's talking about like after they cheap shot the guy and he's like, so, you know, then I went in and I, I did what I did. And he did. <laughs> it's great. Like, I've never seen him like, beat up multiple opponents in a hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, 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 like, the, very I didn't know the was an to beat someone up and then skate to the next closest guy and beat them up. But, like, the, the, the Nigerian nightmare as a human, <laughs> clearly, he, he clearly matured a lot throughout, like, the time since then. And so he's, like, almost, like, looking somber, like, yeah. And then I just, uh, you know, you can watch the footage. I did what I did. <laughs> I did what I did. <laughs> you know, when my actions speak happen. for themselves, <laughs> I'd rather not address it. Could, you could just roll the tape. I know you're going to. <laughs> the, the, fact, the, the fact that the one who grabbed the go for a, a second. fucking tie. You talked about the camcorder thing, and mm -hmm. that's great. Because the, the pretty face guy, he's coming back. And and he, everyone knows he's going to have to face the music for hurting this player. I'll call it a few months earlier. And... uh Everybody knows, including the broadcasting crew. So as soon as the fight begins, it cuts off. It says technical difficulties and it plays some elevator music. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, the broadcast crew cut it. So the only people that know what happened are the people that were there. And the people that saw my personal camcorder footage <laughs> of the fight. And I'm like, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Oh, you gotta tell me you gotta. And then back comes on. Just wrecking the guy. And I'm like, you got oh. the footage and you're showing it to me. It's so like, I, I, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a minor league hockey game. I, I went to an, like a, a few ECHL games, which is a minor league below this one. I went to AHL. Yeah, I, when yeah, I lived yeah, in I just, Boise. Yeah, finish. what's up? I, I oh just say, like, like, this is a big deal. This hockey team, like, like mm -hmm. it's NHL, and then this, this yeah. is like, like four steps below. I thought, I thought that's what it was when you initially described it. I thought this was like, the, like beer league type, yeah, thing. some like, bullshit like team. This is like minor league hockey. It is an embarrassment to the game, to the to like the the, <laughs> the commissioner of the league or whatever point. And he said he's like. I told him, you know, if you embarrass me or the team or the league or hockey at all in <laughs> general, I'm going to come down on you. And it's like, and then, you know, they just embarrassed me for like a year or two straight. And I didn't really do anything <laughs> about it because, you know. Oh, one, one of the, the the best 
for funniest parts is like the equipment man. The uh oh the the equipment manager <laughs> is the most T Bone. The the most mobbed up t- dude in the league. T Bone's <laughs> his name, and he <laughs> he genuinely he would go they into go other teams' locker Let rooms. Let me jump on you. Yeah. They go to the commissioner, and they're like the equipment manager. <laughs> Never in the history of the league, or any league, or the history of hockey, <laughs> have we had to suspend an equipment manager before. They find and suspended the equipment manager because, Taylor? Because he would go into opposing teams' locker rooms prior to the game starting, and he would steal the goalie equipment. <laughs> <laughs> and so then the goalie would be like... I. I don't I don't know where my stuff is. It was here. And they'd be like, well, we have a loner set of, <laughs> of horrible pads that you can wear. And he did that multiple times. He's being interviewed about it. They're like, do you know anything about, you know, goalies having their equipment stolen? He's like taking a puff on a cigar like that'd be really unprofessional, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be then, wildly then, inappropriate. Like, they, they'd re- he, in, so the other team has, I don't know, 30 players on it. How many people are on hockey team? 25 players? Yeah, 24 or so. Yeah. And uh, um, they gave them six paper-thin towels for 24 players <laughs> to share. <laughs> And this, and then this so most fightful part. And he's like, part. "That sounds bad. We don't have endless towels. That doesn't uh, that doesn't sound up to code, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be wrong. Somebody just counted. Um, the, the, like those first two things. It's like, oh, that might actually might make it difficult to to win a hockey game. Yeah. The last thing he did was just spite. He would turn off the hot water. This is the shower they're taking before they go home. The game is done." <laughs> This is spite. It's like, and, and, it's like and, letting and, the air out of their tires in the parking lot. There's no effect on the goddamn game. It's very like it's very uncouth to put threatening messages in visiting teams' walls and stuff. Mm. I think at one point, like he or someone else wrote like "Welcome to Hell" <laughs> as on like the banner of the opposing team's locker room. Like and, and what I liked is that. They weren't just a bunch of bruisers. Like the kid as a GM did a tremendous job. The team was winning. They were winning more games than they were losing. Way it is more. important to note the salary cap only the, it, salary cap affected every team but this guy. Yes. <laughs> he had <laughs> unlimited money story. to put together his all-star team. There was an NHL lockout. So yeah. <laughs> they're like, we need a goal scorer. And I remembered, I really like this guy who scored the game-winning goal for the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah. So we got him. And they just paid him with duffel bags of money. Yeah, oh, they did. It, it was a and guy they like it, it him, showed... and he's there. I love yeah. that's what I love in documentaries <laughs> and shit like this. Because it's one thing to say, and then Donald Trump walked in. If they don't if they cut then and Donald Trump is there on tape, you're like, oh shit, let's yeah. hear his. So then I walked in. Yeah. It, it, it like if it, they it do really... that with this, they're like, so, so and they show this guy's fucking hockey card. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's like What's this the name of they, it again. And then they show like ABC footage of the Mike NHL Rupp. finals and this guy winning the cup. And then they just cut to him sitting in a chair as part of this whole documentary. And he's like, I mean, they offered me so much goddamn money. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and then they show like the guy's name is Mike Rupp. He yeah. scored, I think, like the 2003 Stanley Cup winning goal for the Devils. And the guy was like, I, I liked Mike Rupp. I remember being a Devils fan. And so I thought, let's sign Mike Rupp. And <laughs> a guy who's career NHLer. And they signed this guy, and he's a he's a center. In his NHL career, he only had 99 points in 610 games. That's a fourth line guy, not that impressive, you know, a grinder probably. Then it shows highlights of a true blue NHLer in this league, and he's foo, foo, dangling. Like he looks like a fucking all star. And it's so unfair to like the fucking Manchester Monarchs or whatever the fuck other team where they're like, we can't, we couldn't afford to give Mike Rupp duffel bags of cash mm-hmm. and he's scoring three on us in a game. If I were a viewer, I'd want the name of the show in the scroll. What was it again? It is uh, Untold Crime and Penalties. The name I'll of the series what, if is If you go untold. on Netflix and you literally just search hockey, it's the first result. It, it's a really entertaining, so it. uh, it's like an hour and I'm a half. I'm not done with it. Yeah, I'm not done with it. I'm, um, I, I think like, um, one of the last things that I saw was the part where they have broken the man's leg and found out where the, the, the player lives and where his family works and shit. And, and, and they have asked the man whose leg is broken, like, Hey, how do you want us to handle this? Like they're asking if they want them to like go after this player in the real world and get him and hurt him somehow. It's crazy. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. That, 
it, I, we didn't tell us it, they're like hey you know we got uh we got his home address you need anything done you you tell us how you want to handle this and it, it's just like whoa wait wait i i understand this code yeah <laughs> he, he's offering to murder another player yeah and then it goes to the guy, and he and he and he says to the camera, and like whatever the bad guy's name is who had injured him, he's like, "You better be glad I kept it on the ice, <laughs> <laughs> you bitch." And it's like, yeah, you better because like Tony Soprano was sending some boys to your house to fucking knock you off. That's the other thing. This guy's bra- This is what this is Tony literally Tony Soprano. Oh, yeah. And then I, I I've told Kyle this, but for the audience, the ending, which I won't spoil, I'll only say they do a real nice job of sort of putting a button on it you know there's a period at the end of the sentence you find out how this happens though I'll, I'll even do this they do a um like a current sort of get the gang together mm. and talk sort of party and, yeah i recommend uh, it um i think yeah. we all do real good show um you don't need to like hockey at all to enjoy mm-hmm. it because i don't um but, uh, yeah. but i really like this i like the mob and i like ridiculous <laughs> fucking stories like it this was a bit of a national news story as far as sports stories go because mm-hmm. like, someone gave a 17 year old a fucking minor league sports team it was insane i want credit if you guys like this viewers this one was woody's find it was i i would never have found this if not for you and i absolutely loved it it was one of the nope, best nope. long things i've seen nope. just just like woody had history writ- rewritten on taylor earlier this is a kyle find <laughs> this is kyle. <laughs> no let's give it let's give this one to okay Harlow. but i get credit i get credit for Canadian. succession woody <laughs> you get credit for succession. for succession i wrote it down I, yeah. I'm, I'm interested i'm they pretty did, sure zach um, told us about this on plex <laughs> Zach and Zach did tell you shit. <laughs> that's a Zach show. That, that is uh, Zach show. The, 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 like, the, 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 the GM president, no, like 17 session. year old kid. Like he seems like a bit of a shithead through a lot of it because he's 17. Mm-hmm. The Spit and Chicklets, my favorite podcast, it's a hockey show with a couple of ex NHLers and another guy. They had this guy on a few days ago and I listened to the whole episode and he's like genuinely the most humble kindest guy now where they're like were there any concerns about you like looking like an asshole for being a kid he's like I was a kid you know kids do all sorts of silly things I watch it too and cringe a little bit but it was a great time in my life I had a wonderful time doing it I wish it lasted long and it's like ah, oh, you can't dislike this guy at all he's and he kept like referring to stories they're like what what about like the all the money under the table. He's like, a lot of things were alleged. Um, <laughs> they alleged that we bought houses for all of them on a communal property that was intentionally made to keep people from being requisitioned by authorities. Who's to say? Who's to say, <laughs> <laughs> who's to say what happened? And then he's a, it's a hilarious interview. I'll tell you who's not to say. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you Not all the to names. Ever say anything? Oh, again. <laughs> we didn't talk about this on this show, but that so they go around. He's in like second grade. This is AJ, the guy who eventually becomes president and GM, and they're talking about like value systems and stuff, things they learned over the summer. And some kids are like, "I learned to be nice. I learned not to bully yeah. other people." And he's <laughs> like, "Me, I learned. Uh, I learned never be a rat." Yeah. That's the lowest thing you could be. Never turn on <laughs> That's betraying how you do your it. friends, betraying your family, being a rat, and it's like you're nine. <laughs> you, should, you shouldn't be ratting on anyone because you shouldn't know anything to rat. Nines on. rat all the time. They're not trustworthy. <laughs> not this I, one though. Yeah, nope, yeah, he had it down. I hated those kids. The tattletales. Did you ever get tattled on in high school? Oh, or, yeah. or middle school, grade school? Oh yeah, yeah. There's always somebody to fucking rat you out and tell somebody what you were up to. What you had in your locker. I got tattled on because I put glue all over a kid named Michael's seat in kindergarten. Uh, I came in from recess early and like in my head, I thought like that bullshit stick glue glue mm-hmm. stick would be enough to like glue him to his seat. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like doing that before <laughs> everybody else comes in. <laughs> and then he there. ended up like sitting in it. And like, I kept like waiting, like he's going to stand up and it's going to bring the whole desk with him. And <laughs> no, he stood up. He just kind of peeled off of it and there was a bunch of glue on his ass. And then like some girl named Brittany was like, I came in to go to the bathroom and I saw Taylor doing it. Cunt. What? The and fuck? I was like, Brittany, you cunt. You absolute cunt. I didn't do. You can't prove this. <laughs> that was like a few days after I got in trouble on the first day of kindergarten for saying penis because apparently penis was a bad word. And like the, the teacher 
took me out in the hallway and was like, that is not the kind of language we use. And I was like, penis. My, my mom told me to say it pro- uh, penis. And she was like, don't say, don't say penis anymore. Taylor. Stop, stop, like, stop, stop looking saying. in the eyes and saying penis. <laughs> <laughs> You're nine. Maybe you need to stop six, touching yeah. my penis. Or maybe I'll have to tell someone about it. Maybe, maybe that somebody one always accused worked. My buddy, of molesting uh, me. <laughs> my buddy, my buddy was a troublemaker in, in class. And like one time the teacher got up and left and he went, and this is like the ninth grade. He went and put a thumbtack on his chair yeah and like sat back down but no one in class would say anything Mm -hmm. and he went the teacher came and sat down and like screamed so loud (laughs) who's so loud the The, the teacher the the teacher yeah my my buddy put it on the teacher so funny and he walked right over to my buddy and grabbed and goes come with me and i wasn't there for this part but he brought him to the office and apparently called the police and the police came and they were like, so what happened here? He was like, he assaulted me with a weapon. He 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 attacked me with a thumbtack. What a bitch. My buddy was <laughs> like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. He's like, yes, you did. He's like, no, I didn't. They're like, sir, what happened? They're like, he put a thumbtack on my seat and I sat on it and got hurt. And they're like, well, how do you know it's him? And he's like, because I saw him. And my buddy was like, well, if you saw me, then why did you sit on the seat? They're like, you could go. <laughs> that's a that's a tremendously quick oh, line from a young kid yeah How I'm old was dread- he? he's in the ninth grade he's still one of my good buddies he's pretty he's a pretty sharp guy in, in the bad that's way like that someone did that to me in ninth grade it, it, all it did was really You're like who was he was it him did he go to my <laughs> school <laughs> there was a girl she was pretty like i would i would have dug her but and i don't know like she used to pick at me every so often like like i don't know bother me while i was sitting and such and it, in my head i was always like is there a chance that she's giving me this attention because she likes me or is it the more likely scenario that she hates me <laughs> she's trying to <laughs> punish your ass she put a thumb check on my chair and when i got back i didn't know it was there and it just so happens i kind of like sat on my leg like you ever do that to sort of put yeah, one yeah, sideways yeah. And uh, it went into like the side of my calf, and I was, and it, I hurt, and it was it destroyed immediately. <laughs> I <laughs> I pulled it out, and I knew it was her. I forget how. Maybe her reaction to it, and uh, it was just like, oh, like that. That hurt my feelings. Hurt my I, feelings that someone picked on me. That that is that is mean. I don't like that. I I'm thinking sophomore year of high school, chemistry class. You know those big like. Uh, black mat like flat desks you you almost always get with like two people sitting there in a in a science classroom as opposed to like normal desks so i had this girl kara or some shit next to me and she would always fall asleep and her hair would get all over my side of the desk because she was falling asleep and we were in the front the very front row and mr whatever he would he really disliked her and i got i i told her multiple times like if you're gonna sleep Sleep with your head, with your face facing me so that your hair is in the other direction, like so that it's not all over my side. And after many times of this, I had a red Sharpie in my bag and I drew on her blonde hair a a ton of red Sharpie. And the teacher saw me and kept being like, and we're also learning. We're we're learning about chemical bonds. And and he saw me doing this and like (laughs) she woke up. (laughs) <laughs> and it wasn't until she woke up that I realized like how insane what I had been doing was <laughs> because she sits up and there's just streaks of red in her hair. And I was like, oh, I, I could actually probably get in trouble for this. <laughs> so I, I didn't say anything. It wasn't until like later that day, I believe, that Kylie or whoever it was came up to me and was like, Taylor, did you draw all over my hair? I was like. I don't even. Did we sit next to each other? Did you, did you <laughs> <laughs> Taylor? Was it on my side of the I desk? Because <laughs> that's my drawing property, as far as I'm concerned. I think I, think yeah. I, should I didn't have get in trouble. Here. The guy, the, he thought he was laughing his ass off. He loved because he hated Kylie. When I, when I was a teacher, I like went to the like I was like walking by the desks or whatever, and it was like the final the final class today is the first class tomorrow. And like I'm going, like putting all the chairs on the desk, and there is a huge fat swastika on the desk, <laughs> like a thick one, like a thick boy, huge, a good one, thick black, perfect, perfectly executed. 
Um, I'm like, man, it looks good. And uh, <laughs> I was like, if this were only the Hindu symbol for peace and love or whatever the fuck. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, this is a big deal, right? So anyways, the next day, I go right to that kid who sits at that desk. And I was like, why did you put this on the desk? He was like, I didn't put this here. I take his pencil case. I open it up. And the only thing in there is a Sharpie this thick. It's like the only thing is the biggest Sharpie I've ever seen in my life. It was like a fat Sharpie. And it's like I take it out and I like literally hold it up to the side. It's like the perfect width. And I'm like, okay, you got to go to the principal's office. Do you remember what happened to him? Yeah. Did he get in trouble? I don't care. Okay. I, I, I never I never saw uh, I never saw swastikas, but I would see the Superman symbol carved in desks constantly. Like that yeah, S. Yeah. yeah. You know that one uh, I can't. I don't think of that as a Superman. It's like it's an not. angular S. When I found out oh, that swastikas were hard for people They're to do, I was like, Y'all bang a swastika right here. I'm like, I'll do it. Like I, I drew swastikas. Like, yeah, I could do that. When you were a kid, like there was something good about nailing a good swastika. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, remember what, like, what remember direction the does it thing? go? The S thing, thing that it's like, yeah, the S thing. Down. Number then, two to swastikas. Do the points face to the right or to the left on the swastika? Well, I put them on the diagonal. I, I put them on the diagonal. That. Everybody like it. That that gets yeah, everybody going. When you diagonal, call a diagonal yeah. swastika, yeah. That's, like, oh shit. That's, that's a right. high okay. skill level swastika. That man, yeah. that man means it. You want people yeah. to look at it like this. Like, <laughs> yeah, he did it. God, damn. <laughs> that guy really doesn't like Jews. I mean, uh, I would imagine it has to be one of the easiest symbols to draw. No, people right? fuck that up all the time. A, st- a thing of stars. The How do you fuck up a swastika? People fuck up swastikas Dude, all the I've time. Seen so Unless you, I, I can see putting it the wrong direction. Yeah, but but no, no, it. they like they don't understand what they're doing, and like the they end up drawing like L's other. and Z's. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I've, seen, I've seen, seen it a lot. Swastikas. You see, you see a lot of fucked up swastikas. Yeah. You see, when I was a teacher, I saw more messed up swastikas than I saw legit ones. Well, that's, that's why when I saw that thick boy, I was like, my better. boy, I was like, my boy over here knows how to make a swastika. That is not his first. <laughs> when you, I, when you, you watch... know, I got like, you're coming with me. You did the swastika. You're coming with me. And I brought him to enriched art class. I'm like, we got a good one over here. <laughs> he's got to be directed in a good way, but he's got talent and talent. potential. But when I watch Top Gear episodes, the, the car show, and they're based in India for like their specials, almost huge amounts of cars have swastikas on the back because over there it's like, like a symbol of like peace and prosperity. Like that's the original symbol. And so like you see all these cars and it's like, there's a lot of knots. Oh wait, no, they, that's not fair. They were using this thousands of years before, before Hitler took it. And they don't feel like he took it though. Like here he did, but in India, they don't think of it that way. Like it's, I think they're all being, it's a billion people trying to be edgy. It'd be like if a piece of shit, like used the star, like on our flag as like his main emblem of hate, like we wouldn't see stars differently. See we what would, Kyle did? What White you power do? symbol. Oh, the okay. They prompt. They they, they co opted it. Did I use that word right. I'm taking it back. <laughs> Porch monkey too. You're bringing him all just like the guy in a. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? It's from Clerks. Uh, Clerks. Clerks. Yeah, yeah Clerks too. Well, Those are the to take only good back. movies Kevin Smith's made. I happen to like Tusk and Yoga Hosers. I, you would like Tusk. Kevin Tusk, Smith was, good Tusk was, was upsetting. I was, I, I, was, I was watching something the other night, and I was flipping through the channel, and I'm like, my oh boy Harley's in that. He's like, yeah. pretty good. Wait, are you, you're in Tusk? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm in no, Tusk and, and in Yoga Hosers and uh, a Halloween short that he did. Yeah, is Kevin but, Smith cool as hell? He's funny. Yeah, he really is. He's, he's a really cool guy. Jersey baby. He seems like a cool guy. He is. Like I, I like how when I like Red State. Fat. I remember he did Red State, and I watched that movie, and I was like, this was weird. I didn't think it was going to be like this, but I really liked it. There was one he did. I, I, I wish I could remember the name of it. They they like Eiffel Towered the girl, the main character girl in it. He was. was he was one of the sto- porn no. rats. I'm not Rack sure. And Mary? I don't think it was the wake of porno one. Basically, uh, I, two the guy and a girl are dating, and the guy finds out the girl has a sexual history that's like much more exploratory than his. And I remember they had this argument, and the dialogue was really well written, one of Kevin Smith's strengths. And she's like, I'm sorry. You know, I, I didn't come 
with a, a sexual instruction book like most people did. I'm trying to figure all this out. And um, from the guy's perspective, you know, two guys fucked her at the same time and did the high five thing. And this is someone, maybe it was chasing Amy. I think, thank you, Zach. It was chasing Amy. Mm. From his perspective, you know, she had been kind of used in a way that, you know, he cherished her and she had done this before he, she met him. And from her perspective, it's like, I was working my way through life. That had nothing to do with you. I didn't know you lived yet. And mm -hmm. it was neat to see the dialogue. They crushed it. So good Kevin Smith movie. Chasing you ever see, um, what's the one where, um, where they're uh, angels? And, dogma. Uh, dogma. Dogma's pretty good. I like that one. Okay, I'm taking good. it back. Clerks and Clerks 2 were good. Dogma was good. And Chasing uh, Amy were good. As ja was Jay good. and Silent the Bob Strike Back is very good and very ahead of the time. I it didn't talks like about, that like, It talks about like internet and shit. And you know what? You get an early Will Ferrell a little bit like before he fully popped. and He's, he's the guard. Fucking, he's the guard he, with yes, blowjobs. He is, he is 11 on 10 in that movie. And I'll tell you this right now. If you go watch Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back deleted scenes will ferrell it is some of the fucking best improv you've ever seen i don't know how he chose lines from this movie from will ferrell yeah. like it's he fucking nailed it and then in yoga hosers that guy from epic mealtime gets killed with the sausage going in his ass if you ever <laughs> have the time to watch that one i haven't watched <laughs> yoga hosers yet i'll need to check out the yoga hosers <laughs> Hopefully no big don't don't spoil it for us. <laughs> Yoga hosers. I hope you can keep getting movie parts. That would be so funny if you became like a movie star. Yeah. It's gonna get that. I died, I died by things body. going in my ass, apparently, in movies. That's what happens. I've died in like almost everything I've been in. I was in Dead Rising, you know that video game? Mm-hmm. And you died. Yeah, I was in the movie for that. You I'm made like, it through what was the high school video game TV show? Yeah, video game high school. Oh yeah, I didn't die in that. That's but the I, name I, of the movie. Video but game I'm in, high school. I'm in it was video, game, video game it's high school the... three. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I, I'm in the game and I die in the game. Spoiler alert! So I ah. kind of die there too. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he, he plays the principal and Harley steals every scene he's in. Exactly. He does the thing that Harley does so well, does. where he's like bigger than light. I I don't know how he just expands and owns a room you know and he talks a little louder and there seems to be this impenetrable self-confidence he's not thinking about what people are thinking about him delivering the lines he's mm -hmm. just being that guy and you can see it and i, I thought you did great thank That's you a good trait for an thank actor you. there was well that that what was funny about that is like i'm the principal of this high school where there's students but we're all friends like that are the same age <laughs> Except, like they're students and i'm the adult and i'm just it's just like one of those things where i'm like i do look much older than all of you i guess <laughs> and also i'm taller so people will associate that with age and authority yeah that's actually probably part of the casting wait are my, you six four what is that my right? headset six, size there for he is six six. Oh, he doesn't yeah, i'm six 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 oh you know what i actually I'll drink the water I started boxing for the last uh, month. Oh, I that's box awesome. Now. I'm a how, old boxer. Are you, how old are you now? 36. Okay, no, you still got it. You still got it. That's cool. How's I, it going? I, I feel like when I watch like these like uh these news things or whatever, or, like boxing like like reports of like sports, they're like, he's so brave, he's coming out here at 34 years old, <laughs> one last <laughs> shot at glory. And I'm like, damn, son. Yeah, I, I, I remember going pass. through that phase. Yeah, yeah like, I remember seeing LeBron and being like, I'm older than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like 37. They're like, he's a medical miracle to still be out there competing at 35. <laughs> oh Literally. God. And now I go, I go boxing and I train boxing multiple times every day. And they're like, what's it for? And I'm like, just in case a YouTuber boxing thing goes, that's where my career is at. Um, that if there's going to be yeah. a YouTuber you boxing event, I got to get, get in there. You could be on the undercard. No, there unfortunately, are hundreds of dollars to be made for <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't. High three figures. I, I, have to, <laughs> I have to fight. I have to fight someone who's like 6'5", 300 pounds. No, no, so, you don't. No, uh, it's not what you want. No, it's not. That's I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I heard Jenna Marbles talking shit about you. What'd she say? Uh, she, she said, said I could, box. Uh, she says I could beat him up in a sort of in a sanctioned boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking say that? Is that she said that. She did. Yeah. She did. And she yeah. said you're a bitch and a pussy and she doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like a natural 
little break. Going to hear from a couple of wonderful sponsors real quick. CBD isn't about what you feel. It's about what you don't feel. Stress, anxiety, pain, and feels is a way better way to feel better. Feels is a premium CBD that will help to keep your head clear and feel your best. It's hassle-free, delivered directly to your door. CBD naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. There's no hangover or addiction. Put a few drops of feels under your tongue and feel the difference between minutes. The thing to remember about CBD is that finding your right dose is important and everybody's dose is different. In fact, Feels offers a free CBD hotline to help guide your personal experience so that you can find your perfect dose. The Feels customer service team is dedicated to making you make sure you get the best use of your CBD. Joining the Feels monthly membership makes your self-care easy. You'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel at any time. Start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash PKA and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. It's a big discount. That's F-E-A-L-S, F-E-A-L-S dot com slash PKA to become a member and get 50% off, uh, taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash PKA. F-E-A-L-S dot com slash P-K-A. Get 50% off your first order. Free shipping. Huge. What? These deals, folks. You got to take you advantage know, of that. You can't beat free. You can't beat free. It's a good price. And it really does help you <clears throat> fall asleep faster. You, I don't know my correct dose. I guarantee my correct dose wasn't the enormous amount I took. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it made me sleepy as hell and it felt good. So check out Feels. Uh, this episode of PKA is brought to you by Lucy. Lucy Nicotine is a company founded by Caltech scientists and former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. Finally, tobacco alternatives that don't suck. Research and developed for three years to be made for people, not patients. Lucy has created a nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine that comes in three flavors, wintergreen, cinnamon, and pomegranate. We've said before, cinnamon is the way to go there. Lucy has a lozenge with four milligrams of nicotine and cherry ice flavor. Each and every flavor actually tastes great. And it's convenient and discreet. Their products can be enjoyed anywhere, on flights, at work, on the go, or even in the gym. It's 2021. Get rid of the cigarettes, unplug the vape, throw out the dip, and get some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. This is the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes direct to your door each month. It's so simple, and you don't have to leave your house because Lucy has delivery down. Painkiller already listeners, go to lucy.co and use promo code PKA to get 20% off all products in your first order, including gum or lozenges. That's lucy.co and use the promo code PKA at checkout. Also, we have to give this disclaimer. Warning, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. So head over to lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code PKA to get 20% off all products in your first order, including the gum or lozenges. First of all, nailing the inflection on the CO. Second, (laughs) I don't think there was a stutter in that whole thing. You read on like a high school level or better. Oh, thank you so much. I, I <laughs> pride myself great. as being a 30-year-old who can read at a 16-year-old level. <laughs> You're crushing <laughs> it, Taylor. Crushing and it. And this episode also brought to you by these wonderful sweaters we're wearing. Very high quality. They're knit. They're they're nice. They're, they're warm. Uh, if I'm being honest, they're too warm for sitting here right now, but they feel very nice. I had a very nice shirt for tonight, It was it, 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 and, and I was forced to wear this. Uh, by Taylor. He said if he was going to sweat his balls off, then so was I. And um, you are. It is it is definitely an ugly sweater. I will say this about it, like 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 no joke. Like it's super fucking warm and it actually is like a knitted sweater. So like it's, it's I, nice quality. If you need an ugly sweater, get our ugly sweater. Otherwise, maybe buy the hat. And you can check out the, <laughs> like the, the scarf. Like Kyle's not I'm as just, into it as I am. I'm teasing no. I feel lucky to own it. I have uh, mine. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the hat. I like the sweater a lot. And if you have an ugly sweater contest, the sweater makes a ton of sense. But where's like, mine, you fucking idiot? You wear this to school, they're gonna rape you in the ass. Taylor, so, like, I'm sorry, uh, Harley. If you want, I can slip you a link where you can buy one. I don't think you're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna. Before you put Zach, it in the video, Zach buying one. You're gonna hook him up like that, Woody. Is that, is that <laughs> one? I stole Are you guys Zach? If he wants one, that's how he'll get one. The, the hats are super nice. I love the hats. I can't wear it now because I have headphones on. The hats are very nice. The oh, scarf expect, is very nice. You don't give these that Christmas willy package. nilly. Let me just say this: the <laughs> DHL lady who delivered this motherfucker didn't want to give it to me. Like I was, like my sleep schedule was crazy. So at like two p.m. when the doorbell rang, I was a little groggy, and I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "I've got a package, for Mr. Myers." And I'm like, "Yeah." Are you Mr. <laughs> Myers? And I'm like, yeah. 
what is your first name? And I'm like, Alan. I, if I wasn't so curious about what was in that fucking package because I had no idea what it was, I, I would have I would have taken it to a silly place. But I told her the truth, and she gave me the fucking thing. But she still she looked back at me as she was walking away, and, and I swear to God, she didn't think she thought like I had like strangled the real Kyle so I could get my hands on one of these ugly sweaters. Apparently, I was I was surprised. When what a exists. stupid bitch! I hate her. I hate her. You know what else? I can't say that. What? You know. <laughs> you know. Oh, okay. Now I do. <laughs> it's Atlanta. But, I don't yeah, be a part check of out it. the sweaters. Check out. Anyway, the hat. anyway, the racism scarf. aside, if you need an ugly <laughs> sweater, I was right. Get yourself one of these. <laughs> Uh, uh, these load, right? that, that, we had lock and load left to go. They were hawking over here, and look. I mean, let me just say this. Damn, we've got lock. And load. I am so proud of lock and load. We we are of course there. Of course, it was mostly my doing, but Kyle's proud anyway. I'm I'm I'm, I'm very proud of Woody, and and, and <laughs> you know, we, everybody everybody's proud of Woody and Harley. Harley's to thank for creating lock and load, but Jackie's the one who really took the brunt. I mean, me and Jackie mostly. Mostly, mostly. Um, so, so thanks to her and Woody for for this amazing product. We are sold out right now, but the, the reason shots we, that hit my poor wife. I mean, it looks like we played paintball. She's bruised, <laughs> welts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's got, she's got br- broken skin from the cum yeah. jacket. Speed. Yeah, it's rough. She wears goggles now. Yeah, full face shield. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but, but yeah, it'll be back in stock very soon. Very so soon. Be, be checking that link. Uh, they put it. At the, it, mo- the top priority of production or something like that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's and you there's, know what? Got to be honest, folks. None of us anticipated needing to have no, so much. No, no. no, there no there was, ten gonna... thousand bottles. Tens was, of thousands. Tens of thousands. I was like, oh well. I mean, he's not a very good businessman because we'll never sell that many. Tell and then you, a few I, weeks later, they're gone. So this I, time it's twenty thousand. Oh, when he said the initial order number of bottles, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> this is this is what are we gonna do? Just have a warehouse, a storage container full of gum pills? <laughs> I was, but no. I was a little concerned um, that that he had purchased ten thousand bottles, but uh, but clearly that was the appropriate amount. I, clearly he didn't buy enough. Yeah, he should have bought fifteen thousand bottles at least uh, uh, initially. So what a fool Derek is, clearly as Funny Derek as idiot. Woody likes to say. Something uh, I would <laughs> something I would also <laughs> say <laughs> in, in his case. If Derek were here right now, you know what I'd say? It goes unspoken. Yeah, he I, takes I'd it say, to such a get out of when, my house. When he goes after Derek in private, he takes it to such a personal place that I'm just not <laughs> I'm just not comfortable being being in those conversations. I try to withdraw. Um, I grab the blue shirt from the closet and let him down. Let yeah. him have it. I I mean I'm not, I can't say that either. God damn, <laughs> damn you keep running. <laughs> what the walls. are you thinking? Oh, they're all slurs. I mean, it's probably, <laughs> it, it's probably funny, whatever you say. They're all slurs. <laughs> that, anyway. That's the worst when you're like, oh, this is a great joke. No, I don't want my life ruined, though. <laughs> 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 Would it be worth nah. it for the walls? <laughs> probably not. But it's not. funny. <laughs> no. I, I, I like I, this sweater. I am comfortable. I have the AC down to 64, but I'm, I'm happy right now. It is. It, it, this, this thing is toasty. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It's a warm sweater um because it's uh, actually knit it's not some bullshit printed thing it's knit yeah Icon. anyway buy our cum pills I, I meant um, to say, i'm sorry but can i derail you about the cum pills please do we have turned down a few merch ideas because we didn't want pka stamped on garbage and um when these sweaters rolled in i was like this is what i'm talking about this is this is this is where we're supposed to be we right? aspire That's- to do better yeah, but uh, but but sometimes yeah. it falls short. Sure. I think people would be surprised by the amount of stuff we've said straight up no to, where it's like, no, that's trash, that's garbage, it looks like shit, it's gonna wash out in two seconds. People aren't right. gonna like it. No, I googled the reviews on this. Here's some guy who washed his sweater, hoodie, whatever, six yeah. times, and this is what it looks like now. Mm-hmm. We're not putting our. We're, I am not gonna have fucking PKA washed off and peeling on a hoodie and have that be our. What no. we're known for. Especially now that we have this super high anchor point of, <laughs> of lock and load. So buy our cum pills, come like a man. You're gonna enjoy it. So there you go. I'm telling you, if you got the one of those dribbly ass cum shots, first of all, kill yourself. Second of all, wait, don't There's kill yourself cure. yet. Buy our pills. <laughs> don't wait, don't kill yourself yet. But yeah. I mean, even even if they have a little what dribbly I, load, you weren't I, God, it's I still going to either. erupt. Somebody, it's gonna I change the topic. Oh, uh, 
I wanted to talk about that awful oh. thing. I, I we, we had our fifty dollar hangouts the other night. Um, uh, we we got them wrapped up for the month of uh, what was it? November. Yeah. November. Yeah. yeah um, good month, November. Uh, had a great time. Had had a few extra people this month. Um, we we uh, I don't know. Those guys are always so bizarre. Woody hushed quite a few people. Uh, I always like that. Woody's getting more and more ruthless in the hangouts because you know there's it's it's the three of us plus like twenty two fans mm -hmm. and like 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 everybody wants to talk right and and some more than others and everybody does a lot of drugs in these things because they're usually like Sunday afternoon or Tuesday evening and like our fan base is like I'm Tuesday high, evening fuck. prime getting fucked up <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday evening three of them were all like manufacturing DMT to get to send smoking <laughs> it together and like it's like you guys are just fucking degenerates uh we, we but uh, I like our degenerates I love our we degenerates well you don't like them all like it, it's real funny I don't either but but <laughs> I'm not trying to be like yeah Woody hates a few of them I don't know what his problem is it's not like that there's a few of them if you don't like, get belittled by me at least a little you haven't gotten your value worth yeah okay. i'm trying to find like our, our messages from during it because like we're like <laughs> like occasionally i'll single two or three other guys out and pick on their appearance like like really ruthlessly in private i would never do that in, like, like to your face or anything but like some of y'all are fucking weird looking did y'all see that one motherfucker don't I describe i know him. exactly who you saw about. him right yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god dude All right. he had a unique look so there was a guy in the hangout <laughs> who was like a freak show and like nobody oh, addressed God. it, nobody made fun of him or anything. But but like clearly, like someone needed to put an end to him at birth. And <laughs> and like I was like I started laughing and shit, but I didn't say a word. Like you could just see me like like covering my face and like laughing for no apparent reason. And mm -hmm. one of the guys in the hangout fucking goes types to me privately. Kyle, are you laughing at da 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 da? -da? And I'm like, yes, I am <laughs> laughing at da 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 da. -da. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Do you see da 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 da? -da? And it's. It, there, there's there's one of those in every fucking hangout and woody snaps on somebody at every hangout without fail and i love it and it's don't it's, miss it sign up for the patreon <laughs> i love it I when he yelled at yourself woody, I, woody woody hushed a grown man <laughs> <laughs> i did that on the show a few weeks ago and i really regret it i i was oh <laughs> i <laughs> what happened was is I, somehow it was incredibly important to me to give this like investment advice when your kid has a christening use that money to start the college fund and i could not get the floor and i did like I, and like i didn't want the topic to just roll onto something else mm -hmm. and instead of saying like i wish i had guys guys this is important and then everyone would have let me talk mm -hmm. i said hush and uh, uh, I'm like, Woody, you're an asshole. Stop that. <laughs> that, was, that was not the move. That was not I, the move. And I apologize. Have you been, I, I fucked have up. you been hushing kids in your like real life? I, I, no. God damn it. I'm on the show. Woody, Woody. <laughs> he was giving you yes, an yes, out. I'm he sorry. Was that was a, I, I, when night, someone asks you if you're a I've guy, been lighting as you a say yes. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle serves up the ultimate out on a silver platter. I'm, I'm like, no, 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 no. Thank when you, I was Kyle. when I was streaming, people were coming into my stream. They're like, "Yo, Harley, next time you go on PK, you gotta hush Woody." <laughs> and I was like, "Why?" They're like, "You got to. That's the thing now." He oh, hush, that, he that, hush that people. It would be like, completely okay. appropriate. I deserve it. I. That was like, like the, the the time before that. They're like, "Harley, you gotta call people sons of monkeys on PK." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that why? One, like, have I ever explained, dude? I, have I talked about that on the show? The sons of monkey thing. So oh, we monkey? all no, read you loud that. and clear. <laughs> loud and clear. Like Zach said, <laughs> "I already told this story." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in fast forward, we say that in my family for like twenty years now, decades. I've heard that. I thought it was a all the way back to the eighteen hundreds. If you know what I mean, <laughs> it's like <laughs> what we would call our. It's like a curse word substitute, like when someone says fudge or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's what it is in my head, but I or their pants are nice and low, and you're just a black like... man, a son of a monkey, and then I realized what I did afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can still remember the eye contact Kyle and I made through the as soon as that happened. Like you know, the <laughs> part to me that was like shucks, like, like yeah. the most innocent, but it, it was just Harley. Nabbit. Harley, here's the yeah. problem with that, though. So first of all. He's completely innocent. This was not a racist thing. Of course. However, however. Oh, no. I know where this is headed. We we don't have a lot of black guests. We don't have a lot of female guests. Mm -hmm. As far as, By forgive design. me if I'm leaving someone out, but I off the top of my stoned head, because I just did a bunch of Delta 8 in the other room. 
Um, we've got like two black guests on rotation, and we don't see them too often. There's Adrian Foster, former NFL player, real chill guy. And there's Wolf, our, our our paintball guy. Same same thing. Interesting fella travels the the country. Yeah, I know. Him. He's a chill guy. Super chill guy. Love the dude. Mm-hmm. Me too. He was having a Woody was having a conversation with with Arian Foster, and uh, I believe the joke that Woody made, which was I so think it was fucking with Wolf. funny. Am I wrong about? That? Oh, did you double up on Wolf? No, no you're right. You doubled up on Wolf because if you'd done this to Adrian, we'd have had a meltdown. Yeah. I what he said right. to Wolf was what he, said, what he said to Wolf was Wolf. Was no, like, no. Yeah. The Wolf said. My parents ran away or something like that, or my my dad wasn't present, or I didn't know my dad, and I made (laughs) banger joke of, "Oh, that's right, I forgot you were black." That's a good line. (laughs) But but this is taken out of context. We have to have the context that Woody told me that he didn't like black people because they bullied him in college. I thought you were gonna help me. He he didn't like serving up his out. I'm like, last time I'm taking it. I don't know what he's about to say, but I'm agreeing. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you said they didn't didn't like. Like what he's always saying, they're not even people. Judging them by our (laughs) standards is fair to them. God damn it. Oh, you Christ. you people are the real racist judging these poor colors by these the poor... standards of a white man, as Woody says. <laughs> that would be a really funny woke guy to be. <laughs> the who's guy like who really real woke, racism. but he's like, you can't hold non-whites to a white standard. What are you racist? <laughs> and it's like, I think you oh God, that would be such a funny burner do, Twitter it, account it, to make. If you did it just right, you could you like could the make, woke racist. You, you were like, they expect <laughs> Let me. They expect a black man to just get an education. <laughs> Can you, they expect a black man to work a job. <laughs> For who? This is, this is, For who this do is, you want he to work? This is like, white just, supremacy. Just keep going yeah. down that line. Like, like get it. That's that, fucking this, hilarious. And your this only is, defense, like when people call you on your shit, is terrible. Like, what idea. are you? A, what are you a Nazi? Terrible idea. <laughs> this is almost as bad of an idea as my my Spider Man meets Night Tale movie that I came up with the other day. The other day when I was stoned. Yeah, I mean that was really disjointed. I like that movie idea. I I was only joking just now when I said it was bad because I thought you would back. <laughs> you would be like, no, it was great. I mean, no, I saw what you were doing. God damn it! God damn it. <laughs> no, I'm eight it wasn't pages a good in. Idea. You're eight oh. pages in. How many pages do you need for a movie script? A hundred. A hundred. Have you seen like that Simpsons where Homer writes a script and they're like, well, usually, Mister Simpson, these are a hundred to hundred and ten pages long. Yours is. Six pages long, and many of these are just coffee and donut stains. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. It's a good movie. <laughs> that's a good answer. If there is one thing that um, I would like to attempt to do, because I, I I'm, I'm so like I'm so into it, but I have no where to begin. It would be to write a screenplay. Like I think that would be a really or, or to be part of it in some. What would way. your genre be? What would you actually? I, like, God damn it! I told you my movie. I didn't. You just shit all over. Um, I don't know. I, I I like dialogue though. I would like to write dialogue or a tip. But like to write a, like a thriller, suspense, like oh, I don't know. The the, the honest answer is is lame. Apparently, a vampire it, movie. It's just people sitting. No, it, it it would probably be some it's sort of series. like series. It would probably be some sort of like gangster drama type thing. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be it'd be, which is really lame. Like a it's Scorsese a, kind of. No, it, it's exactly lame. what Christopher Moltisanti's lame ass wants to write about. Like 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 you know what I mean? Um, yeah. But but I do like I do like that. Well, anybody can do it better. He can't spell. Um, but but yeah, that that would be that does interest me a little bit. But 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 I I, I got to get my Knight's Tale meets Spider Man idea off the ground first. Like 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 that's you want to lead with your strongest idea. And yeah, that's, it. yeah. <laughs> that's gonna get a lot of interest in my brand. How about like a movie Spider Man and he's Jamaican? All right, so you don't, you don't literally, it, doesn't, it doesn't technically it doesn't technically break copyright law. <laughs> he travels by bobsled. We, 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 uh, <laughs> just stopping normal crimes. Spider Man tries to re- get rid of weed in Jamaica. One of the episodes is him valiantly fighting back against copyright infringement attorneys trying to take him down. You're making a mockery, It's a totally mockery. different character, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Jamaican and I'm shooting spider webs. But that don't mean that he's not the... Yeah, sure, I have an Aunt May and an uncle. <laughs> sure, I also fought Bone Crusher. In the-, <laughs> the more I'm talking about, yeah, I'm probably was- guilty of this. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was actually bone saw. Just, just bone saw. Still work bone saw is always ready. I got you for three minutes. And then, he, and then, you know and then like, and then, like, as it, a, a, a product of its time, Toby Maguire makes a gay insult to the macho man Randy Savage and uh, something about his husband at home or something like that. Not very woke. I would like it if when they do the multiverse, if 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 like Toby Maguire was like 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 of his time, like like he was like an early 2000s version, like Spider-Man. So he was a little racist and maybe like didn't understand trans Mm -hmm. stuff. I'd like that. He's really no one understood trans stuff back then. No, no. Least of all, it wasn't a thing. No. Um, But uh, I'm looking forward to that movie. Actually, the uh, the 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 the, the, like multiverse Spider-Man movie with all the different Spider-Men. That's interesting to me. I want to see Wait, what is this is a, this is a real movie you're talking about? Yeah. So yeah, what they've been Spider-Man. doing, what they've been doing uh, recently in like the whole like Marvel mm-hmm. multiverse thing, you know, because they got the TV shows and the movies is like um, they've kind of been teasing this thing where there is a multiverse. There are there are multiple universes where things are slightly different. And that's how you get. And that's how they're going to explain why we've had three different actors play Spider-Man since 2000. And so they're going to oh, have okay. this event. This event where the universes are merging and you've got different variants of Spider-Man all in one universe. So that allows them to take Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and uh, the current Spider-Man and bring them together into one movie fighting like bunches of villains and have like a really crazy Spider-Man movie. Yeah, Tom Holland mm-hmm. is the current one, um, which uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I really hope they don't fuck it up because it sounds like such a fucking cool idea, especially if they get like a bunch of the old villains. Like if they get Jamie Foxx to fucking come back and be the shocker. We did. Whatever. He's back. <laughs> He's I back. can tell you right now. Dude, you know, have you trailer. seen Jamie Foxx lately? Have you seen his physique? No. It's good. Is he jacked now? He's playing fucking Mike Tyson. So he's been working out for like three fucking years to play Mike mm-hmm. Tyson. He's gargantuan. He looks like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Good, good for him. Will Smith. I looked, like when uh, I see people. He did jacked. Muhammad Ali, right? And it worked out pretty well. Yeah. Will Smith posted like a dad bod picture the other day. And uh, I can't remember who I was talking about. Wait, this. pause on that. Are you sure it was the other day or was it a few months ago? I, I, I like I because he's done a pretty impressive body transformation. Will Smith. Like, like what couple... shit picture yeah. is this? In, How like, do you take this, this picture? Fall. What kind of phone is that? Aren't you a this, this, is a ver- this is a very old picture. This is from like two years ago. The one on the left is. So... Why is the phone from 20 years ago? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know that, but but um, I'm sure like on his Instagram or something, maybe like I saw a picture of him like standing like in a yard shirtless with a hat on, like the hat was like co- obscuring his face. Oh, I happen to have that picture up. I'll um, the link. That was shit. Sorry, dude looks fucking yoked. Jamie Fox is uh, one of the most talented human beings on the planet, right? Like hilarious dude. comedian, dancer, um, um, actor, musician, uh. All like anything. I, I guarantee. Talking, if, I'm sorry. I guarantee if like he wanted to also be good at video games, he just would be. Not like, better like, than like, me, bro. I, I heard him in an interview, and it was pretty cool. He was like, "If you're older, you know Michael Jordan is a very dominant basketball player. If you're younger, you know him as the crying Jordan meme. That's more present in your mind than perhaps the dominant basketball player." I don't know if he's right, but he's on to something. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about his own career where he's like, this group of people knows me as a singer. This group of people knows me as an actor. This group of people knows me as something else. And I was like, yeah, he is super talented. That's pretty neat. I knew him as a comedian first on In Living Color. And then, yeah, he's looking fucking yoked there. He's looking real, real thick in the chest, especially in up, up in the Biceps. traps. Look at his shoulders, man. Look at his like, like traps, I mean. Um, I like, always thought yeah. of him as- Pretty muscular though. He, no? he, he looks like an oh yeah, Sunday and stuff. And Django, look at him in Django. Look, yeah. he's, he's fucking ripped. Like, he has like, cranked it up though. I see what Kyle sees. Oh yeah, he's on the sauce. Yeah, he's getting big. Hmm. Um, I, I look forward to that. And then of course you got Chris Hemsworth playing Hulk Hogan. We'll see who does it better. Uh, my money is on fucking Chris Chris Hemsworth playing the fucking Hulkster because he's like three quarters of the way there, and they can saw- they can do the rest with a little CGI and lighting. I'm a little out of date because it was a couple months ago, but I saw Hemsworth on his own Instagram. I think he was pushing something heavy, doing a workout. He looked j- j- jacked. He did not look like Thor anymore. He looked like something more than the guy. <laughs> he has surpassed Thor. He, it, 
I I I look forward to seeing it because it's Instagram, right? It is the best frame of a thing. It's as you know, it's as good as he can possibly look. Films, you Even know, better. they show you a little more relaxed. I think sometimes you don't. You, you're not always as good as you are in a still shot across a film. Oh. But he's gonna be good. Uh, he's gonna be gigantic. I know for a fact that he's on the sauce. Um, I mean, as if it weren't obvious, but but like, yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah, yeah. I, oh, do you know for a fact that Chris Hemsworth is on the sauce? <laughs> like, yeah. They were talking about um, how much makeup and CGI it takes to like hide his back knee. Oh, I've never heard that. Yeah, I don't think that's something they want people to know. It's kind of a gross secret. I remember Chris Hemsworth was really jacked for Thor, and he was like on some late night show, and like, "How look at you, so great." He was like, "I was, I was having six hundred calories a day to get fit. I was like so angry, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? No one's as big and thick as you are, and consuming six hundred calories no. a day. Don't come no. up with some silly lie. Tell everyone you got juiced, so kids have realistic expectations for yep. the results." Don't come out here and talk about 600 calories. Like people are thinking they should starve themselves and they'll look like Thor. Yeah, you cannot get sense. Like, like, like there's this whole thing about calorie surplus and building muscle. That what it boils down to is you'll build a lot of muscle if you have a big calorie surplus. You'll build some if you're cutting, if you're at a calorie deficit. It won't be as good though. But if you're eating 600 fucking calories a day as a grown ass man and trying to build muscle, he, he would look I'll like a uh, shithead in the mechanic. Um, like, like, like he yeah, would look a machinist, uh, machinist, the machinist, the, the machinist. Yeah. I know yeah. what you're saying. Christian yeah. Bale, where he's all like, like, Bale. there's like nothing left. You can't eat 600 fucking calories a day as a man and do physical activity. Like, like when you're I was like gaining, at dying level, when I was actually like gaining like the most muscle, when it was like, damn, this month, like the month, my most insane month was when I was eating like 35 to 3600 calories a day and almost vomiting by my third meal. Like that was at the, the, the point in your progression that I liked the most, the physique, where like you weren't shredded or anything, but you were um, you thick. were huge, like thick, big. It, it's it's it, those pictures are silly because I I'm I'm like two, I'm like two twenty, and uh, and I'm just fucking yoked. Like like I I I just uh, everything up here is just gigantic, mm-hmm. like my shoulders and everything. It looks silly. Yeah. It looks good like that. That was That's I, what, I was more impressed I, by that physique. I think than, a like, lot of dudes. I, I think a lot of dudes like that, bullseye. like that particular physique. I know like like my cousin has told me the same thing, like because I like I'll flip through my phone, like showing like the progression because I was getting him involved in the fitness stuff. And he was like that. That's where I want to be. And I'm like, that's five months of hard work. That's nothing like, like, like the, the, mm. the hard part is like the, the, the four month, the four or five months after that. That's the, the, like this is just lifting weights. I had an epiphany. I wonder if Taylor and I have a different bullseye, right? A version of what our target is because we have a bit of a different like possibility, right? It, mm-hmm. it, I'm not going to look like Fight Club, but the perfect version of Woody isn't as big as the perfect version of Taylor or Kyle. Like, I'm, I'm going to be a little thinner. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a low body fat. I can look really good. The perfect version of me is pretty cool, I think. But when I see like the really jacked, bulked up guy, I'm like, ah, those grapes are probably sour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't. I want mean, I, I'm I'm totally the other way. Like that, like some fat on the body, but huge, jacked. I'm like, that's that's my ideal. Because what I'm I looking know there's no to. world I could get like Kyle because I just I don't know how he shut down late night eating so effectively. I can't. I can't. I, stop. Have, I haven't finished a meal in like four days. I, I used it. What Damn, works? Cut. Yeah, I normally my state is I finish a meal and then through like willpower and discipline, make it to the next meal without snacking. That's like the mm-hmm. good version of me right now. It's just like, you know, I've had enough. I don't know what's yeah, going on. I've been I've been cutting. Way, I, I've been cutting my calories way down the last couple of weeks because I know when I start this new thing, we're going to gain a lot of weight. Like, like, I think right now I'm about one ninety five. Um, so like, I'm like 10 pounds away from like being like pretty shredded. I think like, like it, like at my peak, I'm like 181.8 or something like that, like pre water cut. And then I water cut down to like 170, like pounds or something silly like that. But like, I'm going to gain 20 fucking pounds of, of just like fat. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll gain 20 pounds of fat and, and hopefully like, like 10 pounds of muscle. 
10 pounds of muscle is so fucking crazy to add that's on to what I've got. That's a huge amount. Oh, it's so much. Imagine 10 pounds of steak, like like filet mignon, like lean beef, what that looks like, tacking that onto your body. And like There's bring no along- way you can put 10 pounds more muscle on unless you went on something wild. And what time period? Eight months. I do it it's eight not, months. For sure. It's not possible. It's absolutely possible. Unless I, I you're just, like on train I, or something. There's I just no way. did it. I just did it. I got the document. Yeah, but starting, starting, and getting to that point is definitely it, different than starting where you are. There was now. there was no decline in my in my in my like gains. It was it was on a steady uh, plane before uh, until I cut the calories and then it plateaus and like does this thing like this. I, I believe you, but like the beginner gains is totally a thing. Like I will, you, well, it, 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 I, I believe you because I'll your show you. your your discipline is unmatched and stuff like this. So I, I if anyone can do it, you can. I'm going to start as soon as Derek um, gets back to me. Um, and, uh, I think with the workout program, the main changes I'm making is, uh, I'm dropping incline bench and going to flat bench to focus more on like my chip, my whole chest and my upper chest. Cause I think upper chest actually looks pretty good. Like I can, I can see where it separates mm-hmm. when I flex that I can see the separation in the upper pec and the middle pec, whatever the fuck. And, um, so that's your main point of progress is getting your chest. Bigger. Chest. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the chest. It's, it's, it, and I'm going to do that with a combination of like, um, the, the flat bench uh, on one day of the week and then on the other day of the week doing like this uh, this superset that's uh, like uh, dumbbell butterflies, like, you know, like lying, lying down and doing those, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And um, cables and then pec deck. I do this like superset of that. 15 reps, 15 reps, 15 reps, and then three minutes rest and then go again and, and go through that like circuit until I'm like crippled because I do it you, at the end of a workout. Uh, are you pretty much all on three by 15 now? I've Where's always been. I've always been three by. Um, you oh no 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 no, 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 no. Uh, the fifty the fifteen stuff is for things like. I just sort of made a mental decision that like certain muscles like, can take more punishment than others. Like I feel like if I did like fifteen reps on my squats, I'm gonna cripple myself. That would like, suck. Maybe, yeah. I, it would just suck so bad. But it, but like fifteen reps on my pecs is mm-hmm. like. I can deal with like this being sore for two for for two days if I just mm-hmm. blow it out or or like or on my biceps or something like that like 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 if I can focus on one like little or or especially like forearms like I focus so much on forearms you can blow your forearms out every day you can blow them out every fucking day I do I do so many uh, farmers carries that's why I, like I mechanics. stopped going heavy on them I stopped going heavy on the farmers carries and started going I'm a little longer. bit lighter so that I can like focus on so, like pumping so I'm mm-hmm. pumping. And I'm like, I, I refuse to like let my shoulders do this lazy shit. So I'm up here and trying to like roll them as much as I can, doing laps around the gym, <laughs> holding seventies. <laughs> and I just look like a, like a complete asshole. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just. I admire that again. actually, because it, 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 like, so I do nineties when I do yeah. farmers carries, and I'm not stronger. That just tells me that you've put your ego aside and done some mind muscle connection, getting it right. Whereas I, on the other hand, am you know maybe. i've done both i don't know that that anything's better um <laughs> that, than the other I'm, i just like doing different things because for the longest time i was just adding weight until mm-hmm. some cocksucker broke our hundred one of our hundred pound dumbbells and uh what a piece of shit <laughs> was it you <laughs> no you know, like it was you. that wouldn't happen I, in your home no and, and look there's no excuse for dropping that thing like that if if you're using Heavy. that, you shouldn't have to drop it because I did that. I tried to re- recreate this pose I saw. I think Frank Colombo do where he takes. Um, he took a big weight. I don't remember what it was. It was one of those weights that doesn't exist in normal gyms. Um, but but he's like one arming up like two fifty or something above his head, and uh, and I was like, well, all I've got's a hundred. So like I like got a hundred up and I was, I was like, Oh, mm-hmm. I can do that. But when I put it down, I was like, all right, here we go. And I brought it down and caught it with both hands and then c- came down to like a neutral position yeah, or down my legs. I'm, Some motherfucker threw a hundred pound dumbbell and broke the thing. That's incredibly. Oh, rude. well, I don't know what he did to break it. I, I had invented this scenario. That's a little more reasonable. Like if you've ever done, um, I'm sure you have, but to the listener incline dumbbell bench press, those are getting dropped dumbbells. Yeah. So I am, pretty strong in the actual dumbbell bench press motion 
but getting it there, I could be pretty weak. So mm-hmm. there's a little bit of like, use your knees, throw it into position, catch it. And uh, I can imagine a world where someone is using weight so heavy that they can do the exercise with it, but they can't get into position. I've with seen it. it done. I've seen plenty of bodybuilders who have that team of guys who put the weights there for them when they're doing like 200 pound dumbbells. Uh, um, so I can, I'm like, oh, he probably did that and dropped it. Uh, that's you know, an I exercise. Have some understanding. Yeah. So, so most of the like stuff that I say, some of the stuff I say is I'm like quoting Derek or, or, or research, and I feel mm-hmm. really, I, I can stand behind that. This is like a me thing though. Um, so if it's, if it's retarded, it's all on me, but like when I'm doing those dumbbell presses or whatever, um, I feel like my pec is so vulnerable in that position with that weight all on one hand and being in the, in, in the, in the, whatever you call the bottom position. I feel like when I'm bottomed mm-hmm. out on that, like if something were to go wrong, I could really tear myself. I'm always dropping those cause I'm going to failure. And like, like, like even when I'm doing the first set, I'm not going to like do some awkward sit up and like figure out how to put these down like like they always get dropped and i if mm. if there's too many people that's one another reason like there, there's no way you could drop that weight politely during the day there's too many how, people um how, how far are you walking when you're doing farmer's carries oh i don't measure it i do laps around the gym to failure it's so like like 100 yards 200 yards like that would surprise me that's 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 awful far i do them at the end of my workout um and i do them on pull days always on pull days i try i squeeze them in whenever i like don't feel tired on push days mm-hmm. too but they're part of pull days because i feel like that's a grippy kind of pulley exercise that's already activating the forearms because of my basement length i do like i measured it out i have like i walk down the hockey area come back walk down come back and it ends up being like 50 yards and i'm up to like 140 on those now <sighs> my thing per, is per like hand. my my thing is i'm just trying to hurt myself like, like, like when I get to the end, I'll, uh, I, I, I put them back on a bench, but I'll stand next to that bench and I'll just start pumping. And uh, until like the pain is just mm-hmm. almost overwhelming and, uh, and, and I can't, I'll end up not being able to get them back to the bench and I'll end up having to like do a squat real quick and just let go. Um, I'll blow my forearms out so bad that I can't get my gloves off um sometimes see i I can drop my shit without worrying because i have farmers carry handles and i just i put uh so i put one steel 45 a second steel 45 and then a 45 bumper and then i put like the five plate on there and that way like when you drop it there's zero percent chance of the the plates itself like coming into the concrete so here's why i don't like your thing and and I may be wrong about this, but when I do when I when I've used a similar thing, it's um the thing I used, and maybe yours is too, but it's meant for those box squats or whatever. What whatever you call the squats where you're like standing inside hex the squat. Yeah. Hex squat. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I've tried that machine. I'm getting an amber alert. Sorry. I, I do uh individual um, like mine are it's just one hand on each. Okay. Like they're, okay. they're totally different. Because I thought because when you're like this, that's a, that feels weird. That doesn't feel like you're. I hate only that. Activated. It's like you're. It, it's too. It, there's you a weird like displacement of the, the weight. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like putting pressure like up here on this joint mm-hmm. because of the the way it pulls away. I definitely want dumbbells or what you have. Like like I want yeah. I want them to be independent because I think there's some stabilization that's happening too and a bit of a rhythm that helps with stuff. But I like I, I love farmers carries. Um, Nothing makes my forearms look better after a workout than like burning out on farmers carries. I feel yeah. like I'm I'm held back on some of those things like um. Your, my, your, your pinky I, thing sometimes Ooh, actually true. that's a good point but my brachii brachialis there's a tendon mm-hmm. right here in your elbow that i have injured before and i sometimes feel like all right it's it's two out of ten injured well look it's time here's, to be smart here's the thing you're you're 48 yes yeah it's, it's different almost, it's almost time for trt right Unless you're a genetic, yes. fe- unless you're a, <laughs> unless, genetic like, freak, yeah. unless you're a genetic freak, like your testosterone levels have to at some point be you petering think. down to those yeah. of a normal man. I think if my T was like genuinely very high, I wouldn't have good hair. It's like that's my. I think it's low. It's Maybe. a genetic thing. So it's a genetic thing that's exacerbated by the DHT. Um, is my understanding of it. Um, you know, that DHT I, being the free testosterone, right? Dehydro- <laughs> acronyms don't don't fit well for <laughs> me. Um, it's I know that it's like a byproduct uh, of doing like lo- the extra T, like like the more testosterone I'm injecting, the more DHT is is going to my follicles. That's why I use that like DHT blocking shampoo that I leave in for an <laughs> hour every day. 
Uh, and, uh, and, you know, I take my one uh, milligram of finasteride or whatever it is every fucking day. Um, that way I don't have to worry about that. And I tell everybody that I like get on the sauce as well. I, like uh, my cousin is on the TRT um, and a couple other people. I won't blow their spot, but like um, well, Gator. I, I immediately put him on. Yeah, Gator's been on the team. He's like, sure, no, told me last time, bro. That's scary, How's he look right now? Dude. I know he looks I good. I actually haven't ago. seen him in the last three months. Okay. Um, I'm hoping he's been sticking with it. I want it to be a surprise when I see him next because I'm gonna I'm gonna travel up. You, there. you sent some photos. He's he was looking good. He's looking like 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 real strong and like country boy thick. Um, he he's a hardworking guy. So like like he already had like some muscle under there, but he had gotten fluffy. And uh, but but I got him on the the Derek's like the 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 diet, the workout plan, and the fucking uh, medicine. And uh, and and uh, he's doing well. Uh, I, I saw his I, I saw his blood work. They fixed his uh, cholesterol. His cholesterol was dangerous, and Derek fixed his cholesterol in three months. Derek's a he's a wizard. Uh, he's him. got he's got good people working for him, and like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And he himself is a smart guy. I would yeah. I, th- this like actually came up in my head when I was like trying to fall asleep a couple months ago. I was like, what age do you start to go bald? If you're gonna go bald, usually like late twenties, early thirties. Okay, Woody's through that hoop. He's never going bald. Kyle seems to be mostly through it. And I remember laying there thinking, like, I pray I'm not the first one to go bald. Well, you know, you guys show. talk about like, it. You guys are at, you're at the exact age, though, where no one gives a shit. Are you? And insane? I'm already no, married, so I've, I've no, already I, I, Exactly. I, I, nobody cares. Any girl that's going to fuck you, Kyle, doesn't care what your hair looks like now that you have an A-pack. None of it matters. And, and, and Woody, like, even if you, did, if you did lose your hair, your hair is great. I do think it's great hair. Eight pack is better than that hair. It only Sorry. You matters take, for Kyle. You got to take the CRT. You got to do it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I would do it. I have a fucking bald ring at the top here, but this long hair on the sides, I don't care, bro. Are you, are you costanza slowly? No, no, he's getting, he's getting Maybe. these. Uh, yeah, I get, I get oh, a receding hairline, but it's kind of, speak. it's kind of, it's kind of stayed there. It's kind of been here forever. Yeah. Like it's oh, always been here. Taylor, why don't you do the finasteride thing? It's cheap. Uh, I don't know. It, I, I can is, send you is a, that the one that like we decided not to do a few no. years ago? Because like there's some like so liver that, and heart stuff. Richard Ryan was taking um, a version of it years ago, and he had a couple of issues. Look, I've been taking it for two years almost now, and like I haven't had a single issue with it, other mm-hmm. than my testosterone is slightly lower, higher. It raises your testosterone, and oh. uh, it keeps your fucking hair from falling out. And there are s- potential side effects. There are one of them, and that it's one everyone points out is impotency. But I, it goes away if you stop taking it. And uh, if you're taking your Cialis, then you you counteract it. Um, my, I, I, the joke I always make is like I, w- I would have no idea if my dick is, has been broken if, for a year. If, if I'm gonna go bald, I'm just gonna go bald. Really? Just take like, the pill. It's cheap. If you're gonna go bald, you should I can try send you a link. See if you like it, I don't think I, I'm going to. If you're I, gonna go bald, just big your head. I think it's fucking cool. I make a look, I mean, it would be the ultimate bald, motivation. Fucking cool. Like if you're I'm gonna be Derek. bald, you gotta be jacked. And Derek would, would tell you, like, look, just shave it, bro. Fine. If that's your thing, it can be your thing. But come on, it's not really your first choice, right? You know, your no, first I don't choice is lose a good my head of hair. hair. No, he likes yeah. to optimize. He's talking it, about pure, pure optimization. It's like me saying, like, yeah, those guys with really big muscles, who <laughs> even wants that? <laughs> All right, just <laughs> Taylor, you oh, idiot, bro. <laughs> yeah. Taylor, I feel like you have you have two options that mm-hmm. make sense to me because this is how my personality works. I don't understand. I, I, I'm like, why isn't he doing either A or B? Because it's clearly just it's a binary decision. Either mm-hmm. you start doing like heavy steroids, like like like, like the yes, scary stuff. Yes. Because like 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 the main thing that scares me away from that is the hair loss. Like some of that stuff will nuke your fucking hair. I don't want my heart to blow up. I'll fuck your heart. But so, yeah, so you, but, but if you don't care about the heart, good years till forty nine. <laughs> yeah, but if, but if you just don't care about the hair, you can go the hard. Until like I'm I'm being I'm being a total problem. paranoid lunatic with this because my dad has all his hair, my grandpa has all his hair, and so like. I don't think I'm gonna go bald. Yeah, but are they gonna look ripped in a calendar? Resistant. I'm 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 a bitch. Steroid resistant. (laughs) Yeah, you could. Your dad, your grandpa have all their hair. Well, to be honest, you did always have that thickness on your own already. There. (laughs) Do more before you get into that. I feel like you could do more. No. Yeah. 
Like I've seen you, I've seen you on this podcast looking straight up like a fucking wrestler before. Like <laughs> one of the first times I came on here. He's huge right now. It's yeah, he is sweater. huge. He's, no, he is still very thick. He's he's I, I look. Right I get my sweater. I, I, Do I look like, buff in this? Is it? This oh, doesn't everybody? <laughs> everybody looks I buff in like, our sweater. I, boy. Like, I feel I'm like looking at my own deltoids, like jacked. Okay, I want a sweater, guys. It's fine. So like, I feel like Taylor. I feel like Taylor's like could 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 optimize himself even further and then just like blast it hard one time like double xp weekend <laughs> and just, uh, blow everyone out of the water take a photo shoot for the just get huge that would year. be awesome that would be the if i were going to do steroids i would set my only goal to be bigger. way bigger than Carl. <laughs> I would, that, that would be the only and like genetically goal. genetically i think i have kyle edged out because i'm naturally a hyper responder to weight yeah. training and stuff mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. i yeah you i think your bones are just bigger in diameter i don't everywhere. swim well i bet not <laughs> no, like, like like i i told you this this whole way that i've been doing this thing it's like dude if you you've already you're like 85 percent of your genetic potential right now or something mm -hmm. like that you're close like, like, like you, if you spent five more years like grinding natural, you're only going to get a little bit better. Yeah, diminishing but returns. It, but if you went on just like a replacement dose of testosterone, like 150 milligrams a week, like that's literally what like that is the legitimate pretty replacement low, dose. Right? It's very low. But but there are advantages to it because you're getting this perfectly steady state of mm -hmm. testosterone throughout the day. Whereas your body normally does these like weird spurts because it's a biological entity that's it's not a machine, but we're injecting with a fucking syringe, yeah. so we get this steady stream of like perfect testosterone all day. You would get enormous. You would blow would up. Be fun. Like, like like in five months, you would you would you would literally gain pounds of of like lean muscle and like get much stronger but then like, think, like, is, there, is there a way to do it those muscles wise? would burn calories those calories would make him skinny it's a whole thing kyle there's no way i'm gonna be skinny ever they're 50 i have, it's, I have a, a damaging relationship with food and it's not gonna change <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i i think i think the idea that i ate calories... half of that cheese advent calendar the other night <laughs> 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 that was it that was all i had nothing else i don't know what happened to me but i loved it i can't finish a meal <laughs> I, I'm with you. That's I had such a nice um, problem. No, I had the same thing going. Honestly, everybody was like, I bet you're going to have a hard time with your diet when you start smoking weed again. And it's like, when I get good and high, I'm like, I just want a little snack. I just want to like, like I had like pork tenderloin. What? Um, with, you just uh, want a little treat when you're high? Like, like yeah, I, I want like, you know, everybody says like they're going to eat one cookie and they eat a sleeve of fucking cookies. Yeah. I literally like had one cookie the other day and I was like, that was a good cookie. And then I didn't eat anything for like eight hours. And then like tonight for dinner, I had this pork tenderloin with um, like, like Thanksgiving dressing, mm -hmm. the last of the Thanksgiving dressing. I ate like half of that thing. I bet I only ate like 500 calories. When I get stoned, like I am instantly famished. It does not matter if I just ate a huge meal. Like if I'm high, I just want to eat and eat and eat and eat. I So, when you're a more occasional smoker or when you're a new smoker, it, it, mm -hmm. has, it seems to have that effect. But like, you know, I, I've been smoking Delta eight every fucking day. Like, and, and I've been smoking the wax too. Like I've got Delta eight wax and, uh, and, and the vape pens. And then I keep going to like all the variants, right? The THCP, the HHP or whatever the fuck. I don't even know what I'm smoking anymore, but it gets me high. You and said all of those were terrible so far, right? No, the THP is one of the strongest things I've had. I don't, a THCP. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I have no idea what it is. They didn't explain it to me, but they charged the fuck out of me an embarrassing amount. I order my shit offline now, and it's I, you can get like an ounce offline? online. Pardon me. You can <laughs> get an, like, is, is that the is that the post office? No, God, no, uh, <laughs> no. You wouldn't believe how many people have offered to mail me shit. Like, like, hey, oh gosh, uh, like, 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 so many people. Are like, hey, man, I'll just send you drugs, you know. Anytime. No, and I'm just like, <laughs> send them to Woody. He'll send them to me. <laughs> So oh, yeah, and then to Woody, plan. he'll shoot. Woody's over the there burning bags of <laughs> Woody's there the burning whole trash. High. He's out there fucking. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I had a thing. Oh, oh, I also thought that um, pot or Delta, we'll call it the same thing, might impact your appetite and make it hard to be disciplined there. Yeah, but I've seen studies that said you know pot smokers are thinner. Now I wonder if they. 
like sort of leveled out for other factors because pot smokers are younger oftentimes. Yeah, that true. makes a lot of sense too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it To me, it doesn't kill my appetite, but it sort of makes me feel like I, it does kill my appetite. It sort of makes me disinterested in food. That's um, so weird. Like, like, like food isn't very satisfying. Like what I really want is like a hot bath. Or like, uh, like a like to cuddle up in a fucking blanket on the couch and watch a good movie by the fireplace. Like, like I want something like that. That would satisfy me right now. Or a blowjob, <laughs> not um, not uh, you know, like say eating. no more. Fam. No, I, I just like I, all, when, I, when I'm I when I'm stoned out of my mind. <laughs> I, I love just I love mindless eating when I'm stoned to shit. It doesn't matter really. I what used it to. Is. It could be I used to carbs, make it. It could be. When I, when I, I, I um, love it, it feels so good to eat that much. And like the next morning you feel so bad and terrible. Cause you realize like you go back out in the living room and you see just the damage you did. Like you yeah. see the 11 wrappers of cheese sticks um, and, and you know that you fucked up. So like when I was smoking a lot and I was like filming a lot, I, I would stay, I, I would stay, I would stay high all day, but um, I, I would be, I'd be, I'd be moving around burning a lot of calories, but I would also only eat one meal a day. So like even mm -hmm. on film days, I would never eat like like I'd show up at like 7 a.m. into the field or wherever, like starving already. And uh, and I would work all day just on like like tons of caffeine and weed. Well, not on film days because then somebody gets blown up and that high guy blew me yeah. up. Mostly caffeine and cigarettes would just keep me grinding through that day. And by the time it was over, I was so fucking hungry. And I would get high as shit then at the end of the day. And for some reason, like maybe it's because I was so hungry and because I was tired and exhausted, the weed was like overpoweringly strong at the end of the day. So there were so mm -hmm. many days where like we'd be at the Mexican restaurant after filming a video and I would just be sitting there like, fuck yeah, man. Just fucking <laughs> like one of my dad's friends walks by, like, <laughs> you juices, boy. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's me. Can you still operate that shotgun, young man? Said, yes, sir, I can. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. so fucking high i don't even remember Dude, which there, one it was. there are times like i remember being like caffeine that's a that that's an appetite suppressant i'm gonna get high as shit i'm gonna drink <laughs> a big 20 ounce red bull all it does is make me eat faster <laughs> uh, now it's i'm just fucking... for the hot dog competition <laughs> <laughs> that's how i'm doing it and it's like god damn i i feel like some people just have different appetites and no, like, I, like, you, like you can't get around that. Like I, I love overeating. I, I, I love it too. I like the feeling. Like, like, like there's something about the whatever your whatever chemical your body is releasing when you are like when you've overeaten and you have that too full feeling. Yeah, you get that, that dopamine is, high. Yeah, that is a really good feeling. Your body, it's like your body is like, you did love that good. feeling. You did good. <laughs> You, you are a great hunter of gatherers. You brought me all I. It, it's like a woman laying in bed, like like she's still smoking, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like 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 she's just like you did so well, like like you gave me everything I wanted, and you gave me stuff I didn't even think I needed. And that's what your mm -hmm. stomach's saying. You gave me so much that I didn't even know I could take so much inside me at once. Yeah, like, and then like, <laughs> and I'm gonna treat a stomach. I'm gonna treat you to some more. <laughs> just, just, yeah and, and you, your body fucking Round loves two it. so i do <laughs> see, so yeah that's a, that's the problem because like um when i do eat i do want to overeat i want to eat a bunch of something um but but not recently on the because i've been so fucking stoned all the time when i'm sober i, I am like like um or if i drink alcohol like if i were uh if i were drinking alcohol every day or just getting drunk at night or whatever the fuck uh i'd be well, a that that's a shit ton of calories just getting drunk. Yeah, a bottle of vodka is like two thousand calories or something. It's got to be something insane like that. Like, if, if anything, like if I'm drinking, I like it fills up my stomach, and I don't want to overeat until like late at night, like hours after I'm done drinking, and then all the See, hunger. I'm the opposite me. again. But if if I'm high, there's nothing stopping me. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a monster. Whenever um um I remember like. We were we'd go out to Chicago and we'd hang out with the Dagninos, um, you know the guys who own the paintball field. They took me out to dinner one night, and uh, and I got drunk with Paul because Paul likes his alcohol. And then like it made me so hungry that I ate all of my food and then all of someone else's food. <laughs> like, like I was like, can I uh, order something else? And somebody was like, you can have mine. And like <laughs> sober me would be like, no, of course I won't take it. But, but I was just like, yeah, give it, slide it over. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I, like, the, the, else's veal. 
the the drunchies are definitely powerful like but the way like the the drunchies work for me is like it's always a few hours like late at night you've been drinking all day or whatever at a picnic or wherever you are it's like you stop drinking at like seven at night and then by 10 like i'm still like obviously the alcohol is still in my system yeah i'm still drunk but I, i'm famished but like that like two seconds after i'm drinking a beer like I, i'm really not interested in food i've got see i've got to be careful with substance uh substances anyway because i i clearly have like an addictive personality um mm-hmm. i mean i i people have praised me for like sticking to that workout program i think i'm just kind of addicted to doing it and not doing it would hurt a little bit the same way mm-hmm. not flicking the light switch on three times for some uh, a different kind of person might um, yeah. w- once i'm in a groove i kind of have to stay in that groove or it's upsetting to me <laughs> so like oh, i lost my train of thought what was the what was the thing talking about the the munchies and the drunchies Mm-mm. and how you uh you're you're not eating very much when you're high but when you're drunk you it's gone a now. lot it's gone and now. it's it's in the ether in now, the ether. folks yeah, that's it's what i was gone. thinking yeah it's gone. that's like that's like the highest thing to do is like when you're like you're stoned right now but like you you think of something very funny and then you can almost feel it leave your mind it. it's as gone. it's leaving where you're like no dude you but i remember the first word no i don't remember any words come back it, it's like come that, back. It's some harry potter shit it got pulled the fuck out um yeah. I, i'll so but forget did you guys, <laughs> um, did you guys did you guys see the police shooting where um those arizona uh police officers gunned down that wheelchair bound shoplifter what I, no i haven't seen this video what happened i have i, I have the video but it is far too brutal to show put it put it um, uh link it so i can see it i will but and then and, and maybe i could describe what i've seen it a few times and in case i miss something or don't understand something um it looks like these officers respond to a call that this person has been shoplifting they're in one of those motorized wheelchairs links incoming and um I don't know. The person just kind of tries to wheel away from the officers and then the cop shoots the person maybe 10, 12 times in the back and then they die. <laughs> did you, <laughs> did you mean to so time stamp it? Justified. Is where it's time stamped. The good oh, part. you didn't say it was an electric mobility. Sc- <gasps> Holy shit. What the fuck are they doing to this guy? They just they're tased this guy. joke about this. They're going to kill this man. What? What do you do? He didn't do anything. Fuck cops, man. Oh, this is an even better one. They tased this poor crippled man near the entrance of a Home Depot garden center, it looks like. He falls out of the chair, still convulsing. What, where are you seeing tasers? These are gunshots. Are they yeah. blasting? Oh, I, I have it on mute. The, I, I thought. Oh, you tased. poor man. Those are gunshots. He's dead. Oh, my Taylor, God. They murdered him. Holy. Yeah, they. You can see him so like breathing. Just shot this guy in his wheelchair. And, and like, oh, and like oh, one, I like thought you saw point. a different vid. I was like, Taylor's watching a much kinder video. I I thought they tased him and he fell out. No, they they fucking murdered this guy. He's yeah. bleeding out. You can see it like 150, 145. Yeah, him like breathing his last breaths. I hope they all spend the rest of their lives in prison. Fuck cops. Really? Like, look like only one shot. Sometimes, oftentimes, when you see a shooting. There is like an 80-20 responsibility. Like, like, all right, this guy was 80% wrong, but this guy was 20% wrong. You know, he didn't comply as much as he could have. He yeah. didn't do this. Or or even there was one I thought was 100% cop mistake. But here, they told a guy to get his license. He jumps back in his truck, like, enthusiastically, energetically to get his license, and they murdered him. You know what he was getting in his truck? His license. That's it. There was no gun there. They didn't see a gun. There was no gun. They just didn't like the pace at which he sort of went to retrieve his license mm-hmm. and shot him. Part 90% of me is like, clearly bad shooting. Clearly, clearly bad. They didn't see a gun. Another part of me is like, you know, I bet they wish they could do that one over. These guys, this was a slowly unfolding situation. Mm-hmm. With I think man- only one shot. Okay. I, th- I, I think the Maybe officer right. who was like on camera and and like I don't know how many shots he fired out of count, but he 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 goes bump 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 and and like that pause between the last shot <laughs> is mm-hmm. 
it, no it's witnesses. Insane. You can't have a witness <laughs> just in case the first five shots. It's all on up. camera from two different fucking <laughs> angles. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. I, I, this, this, is, this is absurd. This is I, the most absurd fucking... I mean, if he was black, it would have made national news, but it's just some... I, I was thinking that, too. I bet if he was black that um people would see it more racially. Shit, they'd have it. parades. Yeah, but um, Protest. this is such a clearly bad parades. shooting. It is, to me, parallel <laughs> to, like, the ISIS beheadings. <laughs> what were the floats look saw. like? The ISIS beheadings? There was no two sides of that story. This, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, very <laughs> true. Yeah, they, they certainly wouldn't. They wouldn't. They would have a protest, not a parade. <laughs> they, they wouldn't have a float of <laughs> a guy in a George, wheelchair. <laughs> welcome to the George Floyd anniversary parade. <laughs> and just following the Snoopy float, we have the crippled man who was shot at the Home Depot Garden Center entrance. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Zach, <laughs> Look, we talked about that one last week, right? Zach, Which put a link one? in. I, I'd never seen that. The video. custody one. Oh, um, oh, custody. I don't one? know if we spoke about it on this show, but but you're referring to the Texas video where the man was going to the household where his son was because he has visitation and it's his day for the kid. Kid isn't there inexplicably, and he gets an altercation with the stepfather who produces a, a weapon. Long story short, he wow. kills the other man, um, and uh, that that one's interesting because by the letter of the law, like the guy didn't the guy was kind of justified to shoot the other man because the other man says, he says, I'm going to take your gun away and, and kill you. And then he grabs at the man's it's a gun. a terrible thing to say. And, and, and the man is like, oh, you said the magic words, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's, you said the magic words and he, and he shoots him twice. He said everything, uh, but I am an immediate threat to your well-being. <laughs> Yours <laughs> and your family, <laughs> as well as your property. I am going to serious, call seriously bottle harm, murder, or rape. For the future well. jury, I am willfully <laughs> attempting to harm this man. <laughs> he just said the dumbest thing you can say when you're in an altercation like that. And he tried to wrestle the gun away from the man. The man gave him a warning shot, and then he shot him in the face. And uh, it's on camera from two different points of view. And uh, now you've got like a dead father, and uh, and he's in Texas. No oh, angle, Kyle, where perhaps the guy who got shot was trying to undo a kidnapping no okay no that's not it, a possible angle was the guy who got shot engaged in a, a current kidnapping no he just didn't produce but because because like our cop friend was telling us like like just because the court says he has visitation that's between him them and that like probate court or whatever or like like whatever that's called it like, makes that, sense that, like all right you're supposed to give me it's my time 3 p.m. You hand the kid over to me. It's a rule. It's not a 301. Wow. Murder in time. <laughs> Suddenly it's kidnapping. Suddenly it's, you know, I can break it at her in your house. Like, yeah, yeah why do you go outside right. with a gun? Uh, the guy's on his property and won't leave. And, uh, and it, right. look, 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 I'm not justifying what he says. I'm just telling you, like, like what occurred that made him do that thing. Um, him producing a gun was very foolish. He should have gone inside the house, closed the door. Yeah, he like come. walked out with a gun. It's always so crazy. It's like you it, take it to such a whole other level. Yeah, um, you know, I think, I think, I think that he's. If you think about the whole situation, right? If you add all the the pieces up, you know, he's the new husband of this lady. They've already got that beef between them, and like this other dude is like bigger physically, and he's like in this guy's face, like kind of pushing him around on his own front porch in front of his family. We can't let that fly. I mean, uh, you can kind of start understanding what's going through this guy's head to be like, you know what? You're not going to come to my house on my porch in front of my family and push me around. Like I've already got a deal with like you used to be with my wife. Like, you know what? How about I grab my fucking carbine and we see if you still want to be a bully today. And so that's one way to like look at it. I suppose another is that they tricked this guy into showing up, getting mad and then murdered him, which is the point of view that a lot of people have. But, uh, uh, cause, uh, uh I, th I guess he's very well connected in the community. The one who did the shooting, I think maybe, uh, his ex-wife or his wife or something is a judge. Um, I don't know all the nitty gritty details, but, uh, I, I just thought it was a cool gun. He shot the other guy with mostly. Oh, that gun was crazy. Yeah. What was it? It's a nine millimeter carbine of some kind that I'm not very familiar with. You know, it's like a, a right. It, it looks kind of like an AR type type thing, uh, or like uh -huh. a big. It really looked like a Ruger 10-22 type thing. It's something I'm not very familiar with. Someone was explaining it to me, I but I saw the magazine and I knew it was nine millimeter 
or a carbine. Some people argue that a nine mil doesn't have the stopping power. Would you say that argument becomes wildly untrue in a rifle form? No, no. The velocity is mildly higher, I'm sure. I don't know what it would be. There's less waste coming out of the barrel. Most of that power goes into the bullet is the thought process I had. Yeah, it's it's acting on the bullet for a longer period of time. It's able to... um, apply more force it does have a higher velocity with a longer barrel to you know there's and um but that higher velocity isn't high it's in the enough same that, class pistol rifle if it's the same bullet i don't know specifically exactly what it would be but i would imagine it's like a couple hundred feet per second faster it's not like it doubles in speed and suddenly becomes a killing machine nine millimeters fine anyway like like especially if you're using hollow point ammunition which is what a civilian's using it's when, when those cops are shooting those guys 15 times you know they're shooting full metal jacket ammo that's just kind of going in and coming out the other side it's not really doing all that disgusting stuff that hollow point ammo does i thought the cops carried hollow point no you no. probably have a lot more dead people if they i hope they yeah. don't i hope i'm not wrong about this i know military doesn't i guess i just assume yes. that cops as Geneva well convention. would not carry hollow points i hope cops don't carry hollow points cops could do whatever they want like they'll they'll get away unless they're like one of the few cops I, who I like just, shoots an unarmed black guy. No one's gonna care. They can get away with murder. They can I just literally like get I, away with murder. Is there any truth to the idea that Hollow Point excuse oh. me? Um would not do as well on say a leather jacket or a couple of layers. No, no. The hollow point no. would not give a damn about that. You yeah, think? Uh, hollow point would give a fuck about clothes. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> if anything, it's gonna be worse. It's gonna it's gonna be opened up when it hits you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that too. Okay. Yeah, it's it's gonna be worse. It'll drag yeah. pieces of your north face into your heart. Um, that's a that that's how a lot of people die. That's what actually kills a lot of people mm-hmm. from gunshot wounds historically, um, because those those old like muskets and stuff like you're lobbing this like 50 60 70 caliber round piece of lead at somebody it would go in that deep if it was a long range it just kind of go in an inch or two they could pull it right out but the problem was it would push your filthy rags that you were wearing on that revolutionary war battlefield Mm -hmm. into the wound and they didn't know what the fuck they were doing they'd stitch you right back up and then you'd just get gangrenous and rot from the inside get go septic and fucking die a horrific death. Speaking of, of shootings, did oh, you see uh, Alec Baldwin came out today and said, I didn't even pull the trigger on that gun. Yeah, it just I didn't. fired. And it's like, dude, everyone understands this to be an accident. And we know how guns work. Maybe your Hollywood friends don't, but you pulled the trigger. Like, yep. just say you did it. And it was it would you were joking. You were doing a jokey. Trigger I've never pull. like I've never heard of a gun quote unquote just going off it doesn't happen what about on drops have you ever heard i've of it? heard of it mostly in the case of single action revolvers that are older and already um, cocked yes yes this was not one of those he didn't drop the gun is is the real thing like like yeah. like like, true, like true. I, i've just never heard of one that's like in a hand or on a table just going bang like i i I'm, I'm sure it's happened. Like, it just seems wrong. like a like a stupid yeah, lie to tell. Like it seems like my, maybe I'm disconnected, but it seems like most people are like, "Yeah, this was a tragic accident. Like you obviously didn't mean to murder someone. Like, yeah, it was an accidental killing. Just say you pulled the trigger in a joke. Yeah, the, the lie like, is silly for him to tell because right? because now now I'm sitting here like, did what he the pull fuck? The trigger on purpose? Like, like, not, why is he telling I'm me? Why sure is he lying is about true. what happened? I thought for some reason, I thought the original story was. He was doing a cross draw that he wasn't familiar with. Like, like, like he's done this before, but he's never done this. Yeah. And he wanted to practice. And I, dude, you pulled the trigger. That's why guns go off. Yeah. Yes. Guns, you know, that 100% of the time. If he had just off. said, look, I was practicing my cross draw. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not like, I thought the gun was safe. It was supposed I've heard to. of a gun going yeah. off by itself. Oh. Here's the scenario, though. It, it, it's a stupid scenario that that, that that doesn't happen. My dad had had his trigger uh, modified by someone who didn't know what they were doing, and they made it mm. too sensitive. It was so sensitive that, in fact, when the rifle was hammer back, it's a bolt-action rifle, so mm-hmm. that just means you just close the bolt. That's what pulls the hammer back. Um, if he closed the bolt outside of the truck in the cold of the, of, of the morning and then got, he got back into the truck... He sat the rifle across his lap, barrel pointed toward the door, mm-hmm. chambered safety off because 
he's still overlooking the field. That's legal to do as long as you're parked in the field. Yeah. And uh, and he's just warming up. The the truck heater warms the rifles internals enough that the 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 internals expand as steel does as everything does when it when it's heated, mm-hmm. and it goes the fuck off in the truck. Go, because he has his window down smoking a cigarette, it shoots into the truck door, shatters the window, glass shoots up out of the crack, and he's just sitting there like, the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, that that is due to an insanely incompetent gunsmith. Yeah. And I've like, never heard of that happening ever. Never, never. Like, the I, only I, time that people drop I'm a gun and it goes my brain, off like, like, have I ever heard of movies. a gun going off? That's the one time. Because in it, movies, like someone will drop a Glock 19 and it'll it'll <laughs> fire. And it's like, uh, well, that Sopranos. doesn't make any mechanical sense. It happens in Sopranos uh, when when they're robbing the uh, the truck. Uh, one of the guys drops his uh, his pistol and takes out the friendly guy. Yeah, it's a whole thing. No, they don't do that. Um, to to my knowledge, like I'm sure. Look, maybe maybe it's happened. I'm just saying I've never seen it and I've never heard anyone um, talk about it ever happening. Yeah. So but yeah, it's Al- 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 he, he, Alex killed that guy, but it was an accident. He shouldn't be liable or culpable or anything. Um, no, I don't, the, the I don't gunsmith like or whatever that's called, the the person in charge of that should get in trouble, not the actor who was yeah that, live that round that that chunky blonde lady who clearly didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Um, we've got a guy in our fifty dollar um, patron hangout thing, mm-hmm. Bob, who like does this for movies. I won't go too into too much detail about where he lives or which movies but Mm -hmm. um he's a real cool (laughs) he's a real cool guy and uh he's worked on like bigger stuff and he was like yeah she she wasn't supposed to be doing this she wasn't supposed to be doing that this was wrong that was wrong like she's the one and and he was like and she makes us all look bad like 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 Mm -hmm. i I, that was impression uh impressionable on me he was like clearly he was kind of like and she makes us all look bad because like yeah, he was annoyed by, and he clearly is a consummate expert who knows exactly what he's doing. And he would have never done that. He even said that he was like, "I can't imagine someone in that position, anyone not knowing enough about guns to be put in that position. And if someone is, they immediately should say they're not qualified." And the woman did say, "I'm not qualified for this," yeah. and they kept her on. It's basic bitch shit to like not have that li- live ammunition anywhere near the the set. Who um, keeps live ammo near a Hollywood set? Like what what? What's what's the gain? They had been target shooting um, like like on time off, like like right off, like the beaten path there, like shooting cans and shit, and then going back to filming with the same fucking gun, but with blanks and stuff in it, and then somebody got killed. Like like it's absurd that that any of that was happening. That it, there was any ammo anywhere near any of the guns they were using. Like you would never see mm-hmm. that in like something that it, that I was doing. Like 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 if we're gonna be yeah. like. If we were, do- if I was doing a thing like where we were mixing, um, like like airsofts with like fake muzzle blast with real guns, like 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 we're we're doing sort of like a fiction nonfiction thing where some of it was real guns mm-hmm. and some of it was like actors and zombies or something, there would be such a separation between those two like for sure things like like oh Jesus Christ they, they like, shouldn't like, have even had Alec Baldwin out there plinking with it with. First of all, the same gun. Really? Yeah. Second I, I, of all, what's he plinking for? He's in a movie. <laughs> like it, it doesn't fucking matter. No one on earth thinks that Alec Baldwin is a, a sharpshooter. <laughs> I think maybe he's playing one. Well, he's not anymore, is he? Um, no, I, he's playing a real shooter. I tell you, I tell you what, I'm starting to believe Alex Bald- Alec Baldwin might be a sharpshooter. I mean, he's one for one. How funny would it be if the the clip came out and it's him going like? <laughs> Like just, <laughs> just, just, pop, 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 just firing. It's like, yeah, they we didn't let crazy, it out until they have now. A crazy angle of that. That's what's she, messed up. She was hit. <laughs> imagine the story if it was you like know, I gotta say, a, a tragic like, accident. She was hit six times, middle mass. Is it on video? Do they have the video? I don't think they, so. I feel like dude, it would have went that, viral if they did. If they had that video, like, what if he did like a quick, like a sick quick draw? And like smoked her, and then like stuck. You know how they'll like like spin it and like stick it back into the holster real quick. Like like what if what if he thought that like when she fell, she or, or him, I don't even know who he killed anymore. But but lady, he thought that yeah. they were like playing along for like the guy. He, he was just like bang, and he like spun the gun, threw it back in the holster, and had like a fucking catchphrase. He said, and all that shit was on film. <laughs> like <laughs> his catchphrase is, "I fucking hate you, and I'm glad you're dead." <laughs> Susan Miller or whatever the fuck her name was. I meant it. <laughs> I meant it, Pilgrim. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I um I, I I don't really like that guy at all. He's he's pretty annoying. But um, Alec Baldwin. He, he's, yeah. Uh, wait, no, I don't need anything am, wrong. Am though. I getting him confused? He's in some good movies, right? Yeah, my favorite uh, might be The Edge. I watched I rewatched that the other day. I watch it all the time. It's got a great uh, moment in it where uh, Anthony Hopkins and Alec Bal- Alec Baldwin have that talk where uh, he tells him that what one man can do, another can do, because they're trying to like hype themselves up enough to do the shit that's in this like survival handbook and fight a grizzly bear. And, and they're just repeating over over and over, what one man can do, another can do. What one man can do, another can do. It's fucking great. The <laughs> Edge. The Edge. It's a great movie. It's got Mackay Pfeiffer, Anthony Hopkins, and Alec Baldwin. That's and, not the uh, one with wolves in it, is it? No, that's the gray, the and that's gray. a bullshit fucking movie. And and, and Liam, Liam Neeson owes me thirty two fucking dollars for for that travesty of a film that that came out. And like, Did you make your candy bad too? How would you spend thirty two dollars? Fucking, on it? I, I we thought it'd be cool to watch the gray in IMAX, and then you buy a Coke or two. Dude, and- Liam Neeson is too busy pissing himself with his big dick to care. Fuck him. First of all, Liam Neeson, you're a drunk Irishman. You, you, I, I can't, I can, I can't, I can think of a few other star stereotypes as fucking humiliating. You piss yourself. Second of all, he pisses himself all the time. Non-memorable, unpronounceable name, Leon Nelson. Remember, remember when he went? Remember when he went full Woody and said that he wanted to go out on the streets beating up black people? <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, a that friend clip? of mine was. Did he say yeah. that? Yeah, he did. He was like, feather. I wanted to just go out and just beat up black people on the streets. Yeah, now, he did. And I remember watching this. I was like, bro, is this PKA I'm listening to? <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally did that. He was interviewed, and they're like, so a friend of yours was assaulted. And he's like, some black bastard assaulted. <laughs> oh, no. And so I went out there just looking for any black bastard I could find. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> you said I, so. I, I'm, I, I, I guarantee I'm goosing it up, but that's definitely <laughs> like, Not that much, <laughs> though. You're really not goosing it up that much. You're really not at all. I mean, he... I, he, he, I mean, and then he just pisses his pants. All, <laughs> look up Liam Neeson pants. He pisses himself all the time. All the time. And he doesn't even care. He's a guy standing there knowing there's piss in his pants. And oh, he doesn't rape. Mind. His friend was raped. That's an alpha move, actually. I, that, you it's know what, cool. Kyle? You can be Zippo guy. He's an animal. Taylor, you can be Ballast Song Knife guy. I'm going to be Piss Your Pants guy. I'm going to be Piss Your Pants and Hold Your Chin Up Tall guy. I've said me, many times thing. I'm I'm corner of the room, toothpick in mouth, flipping a coin guy. And <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy. Okay, okay. I am. <laughs> All right. Well, it's hard to beat piss your pants guy. That guy has self-confidence. That guy doesn't give a fuck what you think. Piss your pants to save your daughter. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna. Be- That's so easy to Photoshop, though. It, it I have can't a very be true, right? Particular set of skills, including <laughs> pissing my pants. And I've seen uh, <laughs> Trump with peed pants and diapers and stuff like that. That doesn't mean it happened. You know, people Photoshop. I, Trump I, does never wore diapers. He just has a donk, Le- just a you, huge ass. You, you would have to use Photoshop to find a picture of Liam Neeson where he hasn't pissed his pants. <laughs> like, 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 you have to dry that shit up. He has always pissed himself. I, I listened to him talking about wanting to beat up the black people. Taylor has goosed it up considerably, and I, <laughs> um, um, and and uh, but I do prefer Taylor's version. It is funny. I, I looked <laughs> up. Uh, I looked up Liam Neeson clean pants. And it's all it's all piss. <laughs> it's all piss. There, are, there are seven did different you, Google independent like, photos. Of Google him is like, pissing did you pants. mean Go- Liam Neeson with only a little piss in his pants? <laughs> did you mean Liam Neeson? There was a little piss pants? picture. There was a little piss one. Yeah. I mean, he's just he's just trying to draw attention. He's got the biggest dick in Hollywood. He's peacocking. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, bazinga! <laughs> That's what I. Have. I <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> Dude, this room is cold. I, I left the room for a second. I came back. This room is like 15 degrees colder than the rest of the house. Maybe 20. My feet I am, are cold. I am warm as hell in this yeah, sweater. I'm, a, I'm, okay. I'm cold. But I, you got to get a mini split. This is one of the best house upgrades I've had. Whatever, you know, like a car, like a car. You can go in your car and wear a winter coat in the summer. Because your car's air conditioning is OP. Mm. Or in the winter, if you want to wear shorts and no shirt in your car in the winter, you can. Why? Because the heat, is, it works. It does its mm-hmm. job. This room is like that. I got a remote control, baby. Any temperature I want. Think of a temperature. 
Uh, I could do uh, it. 40. 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. I could do it. I did any temperature. I want to see frost on that, that stand <laughs> behind you. <laughs> well, it it turns out to, to 30. <laughs> Would you ever do uh, like that polar bear thing, like jump into the, the frozen hole in the ice or whatever? Who that sounds really, me? really any unpleasant. Of you. Any of you. I'm sorry. Uh, that, I think I would. I think, especially if it was like a supervised group thing. If it was just me giving it a go, like a, a, as a fuck about I, that. I, I would I really know. like to do it. Um, Are you uh, naked I, when you do it? I, I, mean, I, I am. You do I, you. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was about to say. Um, I, I'm going to wear some shorts. Uh, I think, as George Casanza would say, there will be significant shrinkage uh, when I come out of the uh, the frozen lake. Um, I'm gonna be peacocking. People do that in Vancouver on testicles. January first. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna alpha everyone there by coming out of it totally erect. <laughs> so on January on January first, if you so like I don't know how cold will go running into the ocean, and it's like a polar bear swim. Is that a New York thing? Uh, it was happen? in Vancouver. It was in Vancouver. I've been That's in cold legit. water twice. I've I've been in water that had ice frozen over it. I fell through the ice before and got completely Ooh, soaked. That sucks. I've done that. I've done that. Uh, it's not as like bad as it sounds, I was in like a frozen swamp. So like falling through the ice just meant that you like got soaked in water. There was like no, you weren't gonna drown or anything. You were probably up to like thigh level, like not full. But body, I. Right? But the problem is like I was flat on my stomach trying to like not oh. go through the ice. <laughs> so I just went. So so it like broke. Like and the part where my feet had gone through was lower. And this big sheet of ice did this, and I slid like slowly. And the and the water was also the water's like coming up as the whole thing slinks down, and mm -hmm. I'm just like slowly realizing that I might as well start crawling through the water because we are soaked. And it's like two miles back to my friend's house. My dick disappeared. <laughs> Dude, I have a similar. Thing. <laughs> so I'm in middle school, and there's a pond that's frozen over. It's a small pond that doesn't get deep enough to drown, and it's frozen over. Which in New Jersey is not an all the time thing. It's like a it happens, but it's it's nice. So we start playing on it. And we realized that it's thick enough to walk on kind of carefully most mm -hmm. of the time, but not so thick that you can be careless. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I've always been stupid. So we like play with the edges of how strong it is, how much you can jump, put a hole in it here and see what happens when you start walking near the hole until eventually, of course, we fall in, mm -hmm. fall in this frozen pond. And then we realize, you know what? This isn't that bad. So we start like now there's like big shelves of ice and we're standing on them and they're all tippy and slippery and shit. We're falling in this frozen pond repeatedly. We do this for like two hours just <laughs> fucking around with the frozen pond. And we're Jared about a, died. <laughs> we're about a mile from home. So we walk home cold and wet. And I had a middle school dance that night. I had lost my voice by the time the dance was that I showed up with like laryngitis, just like horsing at girls asking, can you dance with me? No. <laughs> Are you dance with me? Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was fucking around a frozen lake. And then <laughs> yeah, that began a long string of uh, romantic failures. The other time, <laughs> the other time I went into cold water was when we were filming that stupid uh, video for, um, Act of Valor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So we filmed that in January. So I don't know how cold it was that day, but I would guess it was in the high 40s, low 50s. I don't know how cold the water was, but God damn, it was cold. God damn, it was cold. And I had to go under that fucking water. And I just I, I got in and Scott's standing there with that fucking camera and I'm, I'm, I'm hyperventilating in the water and i'm looking up at him i'm like i, I only want to i only want i only want to do this shit fucking once so fuck this up start recording now i don't want you to have to hit that button i want you forgetting all right i'm gonna go under the fucking water when i come up you you pan and you pan and zoom all right pan and, zoom. and just stay on me until i say all right don't fuck this up and like I have to I go into that fucking water, and then I, I have to now I have to go into like I'm not cold pretend mode. <laughs> <laughs> I say my nonsense, and then like I ha I needed help getting out of my clothes because they were like suctioned to me and soaking wet, and I had on all this tactical bullshit. And so like I'm I'm laying on the ground, and there's a man on each of my pants legs, and my pants are going <laughs> as they're pulling them off of me. I'd have fucking died if they'd left me in that field on my own. Like like. If so they weren't cold. that cold in the movie, that wasn't part of it. It was just they, cold. 
they were in a fucking jungle. They were in a swamp yeah, or something. Like Vietnam or something. But I needed a body of water to like like rise up up ninja right. style. I saw and, the video. Yeah. Well, fucking, I'm sorry. This conversation is not just for me. Kyle, that's, I that's already fair. know. It's just oh. us talking. <laughs> that's right. I've told you this all before. <laughs> um yeah that that was awful i don't like being in the cold water but i would do the polar bear thing because that's like i feel like there's like warmth immediately you know afterwards and you're good to go what do you gain by do you just jump in i think it's just a shock i think it's just fun out? yeah yeah, yeah sound i think fun. some people feel like uh it wakes them up in an interesting way yeah it's exhilarating i mean i don't those even want to take cold showers cold showers are too those are for psychotics they are they're for insane people if you take a cold shower you're an absolute psychopath Really? You don't do it now and then? Never. No, I, I, I love I love piping hot shower. I like it just to the point that I can barely stand it. That's here's where what I like my shower. Here's what I do. My wife this, this is another one of my stupid things I do. Um at the end and because I heard that uh hot water makes your pores open. And so if you take a hot shower and you come out like I, th- I feel like that makes you more acne prone. I feel like your pores are open and then they're more likely to get clogged. Uh. Um, oh, you don't so think I, open allows them to unclog? I don't think that ever happens. And I, I, I think those commercials are bullshit. When like the, the Biori like goes down in and gets a bunch of go- and that that never happened once. The uh, the but <laughs> I don't get acne. I've got that Accutane shield. Yeah, I know you do. everybody else has gets acne though. So like I, at the end of my shower, what I do is I slowly go a little cold, more and more and more. And if you do it really slowly like that, and you rotate so that every part of your body is getting accustomed, mm. you can slowly get to an almost frigid shower and not even mind too much. But but you have to go slow. And so I do that at the end of my showers, like like because I, I, what I do is I take I take a bath and then a shower every day, at least once a day, usually twice a day, because I got to soak my hair for an hour and then you know, I take a shower after the soak. You got to soak that hair for an hour. Yeah, I soak the hair for an hour, and I need the Epsom salt bath too. I I, I like to be in there, um, you know, getting all salty. No, when I'm taking a shower, like my body is like visibly more red when I get out. Yeah, because I it's it's borderline boiling. It's almost steam coming all out right. of the shower. You want head. the temperature right below flesh damage. Yes, and sometimes sometimes right at flesh damage because <laughs> <laughs> that that gives a nice. I want to burn. Harley, are you a hot shower man? Very hot. I time. am. I am a very hot. Like I'm like damage my hair and skin type hot. Jeez. Same. Yeah. Like I come out and like I fucking accidentally dry my face with the jizz towel and get four pimples. Those open <laughs> pores. Those hot water open pores just. I thought that ready the, for a pimple. I thought the uh, the testosterone. I was worried about the acne. That was like 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 going into it like. It was it was hair loss number one was my concern and then uh, followed by acne and uh, I did get acne on my shoulders like 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 up here on the back mm-hmm. part and um, and a, and like on my back a little bit occasionally and then and then like on my delts later on a little bit but like nothing crazy and but and and I as I do, I would just need to like really stick to my regimen of like exfoliating and fucking using my creams. And and like making sure I don't ever like miss a you, shower. You missed the I, boat on the Accutane thing, man. Like you you could have got shout out to my mom for putting me on Accutane. I remember <laughs> I remember the doctor's appointment. I was I had like acne on my upper lip and a little bit on my chin. Oh. And we went in. Oh, you had like, like upper, a pimple. Uh, you had upper, upper, I, I, two pimples. Uh, well, <laughs> yes. it was uh, uh, like down here, like under the pimple goatee. Oh, pimple but yeah, a little, a little a little pimple neck beard. And I remember going into the the doctor's office and my mom being like. Taylor is so embarrassed by his acne, which is true, and yep. he doesn't want to deal with this. And the doctor, I, I remember it explicitly. I could close my eyes and see the scene. He was like, see, the thing with that is, is that your son's acne, Taylor's acne, it's like a convenience store robbery. And Accutane would be like dropping a nuclear warhead. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, yeah, that's what we want. And so that I took it. I got chronic nosebleeds for many years. I had dry ass, chronically dry skin for many years. For like, years. oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Okay. It was, it was. Probably I missed the boat, early, though. It, it was early twenties <laughs> that, like, during winter, I would stop getting like regular nosebleeds because it would Jesus. just happen. From because, the time you were twelve. Yeah, I, I was say? twelve. I took it until I was like thirteen. <laughs> so and a for half. like ten years. And, you yeah, and, and it, it just dries like, your skin out to no to the dry skin just, would just would like levels really bother me, but like. It would be nice not to ever have acne. Like, like I got a pimple like 
three days ago, like right here. And it just hurts so goddamn much, and I can't pop it. I was literally driving, and I popped it while I was driving. And like, 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 I, like, <laughs> I, like I, I was like, I could, I, because like, like, it, it was so like big and swollen that like sitting in my car seat well, hurt. Been there, you're and like I was, I was a mask. You're like, I was like, a you know what, mask to like zap it. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, you motherfucker, you're going down right here. I, I was in Tennessee, and I, I pop, I, I heard was it, it easy. Or was no, it, I was it I, took... my, my my hand was shaking. I was squeezing so hard. <laughs> Dude, sometimes they go super easy. Sometimes yeah. it's like, oh my god, this thing's a oh, it, it's All like you need boom. Was a coax, right? Or not? Yeah, even, boom sounds like a lot. It's it just like just you know, oh. whatever. A little pressure, get the top. If, off. if I see the beginning of a zit, it goes away like immediately. I have you. I bet used... I've had four pimples in the last sixteen years. I was about <laughs> to ask Taylor if he'd ever used one of those blackhead removal tools, but but of course not. I've got I, I one never of those had like, to. Yeah, it's got like the loop on it, like the hook, mm. and, and I use those on like stubborn like back pimples because like instead of like squeezing something and it, it like, forever and ever, you can you can just put this ring around it and push, and it's like yeah, I know about this. It's like fucking, and it like it like pimple. cores it out, and you can yeah, pull away the, the pus. And... I was like my girlfriend. It, it, it just like, like pushes a pin. down around like a it, pin, like a pin to puncture. Yeah, mm-hmm. pin to puncture, and then this like loop thing that pushed down on it, and it's basically like like a, just a ring around it, like, like a yeah. needle's eye but bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. The, the acne that I get is almost always like there's like a hard nugget, like 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 in there. Ooh, like, that like, sucks. Like, like it's not like liquid pus most of the time or, or or anything like that. It's like there's like a fucking nugget of hardened, like a little kernel of corn that's like in my fucking pimp, um, pore that needs to be like squeezed out or like scratched out. And once it's out, it's over. But like it's sometimes it's so far in that I got to use that goddamn tool and I'm just like, ah, ah! I feel like one of those fucking guys in the Saw movie trying to get a microchip out of the back of my <laughs> neck or something. Just trying to get the, the key. I'm yeah. the opposite. If I get acne, it, it can be on my back. And the cause is always my hygiene wasn't what it was supposed to be that day. Like yeah. maybe I showered at night and then at night again or like like it just I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not nailing it. But in some way, my showers were like 40 hours spaced. Yeah, yeah and, I feel you. And uh, especially if I'm like a bum and I spend time like laying down that day a lot, I'll just like my back or something will have not like Kyle's big ones, many tiny ones. And I just have to be like perfect hygiene for five days or so. And it'll go. Yeah. Away. Dude, yeah I, I'm I get, I get girls. Five big ones. I get girls who are like friends of my wife and other ones. And it's happened for years where like I'll meet them and they're like, your skin is perfect <laughs> what did you do to get skin like that and it's like well my mom inappropriately put on me on a high dose of accutane <laughs> at, at 12 and they're that's like a good well, line, actually. okay well it's it's looking good like <laughs> I, I never have skin problems ever it, it's well thank you very much awesome. by the way do you know anyone who has a liver to spare <laughs> you know anybody who has kidneys that aren't absolutely ruined by Accutane? Because <laughs> it wasn't That's... until years after I was put on it that they're like, "This shit's actually horrible for your." I think it was kidneys and liver. Kidneys that and it's liver. Very bad for. That's what a lot of stuff is bad for. There's a lot of stuff yeah. that, like, like anything that you're taking things to another extreme with your body. It's your kidneys and liver are the things that have to process that nonsense yeah. out, and they take the brunt of it. That makes the most sense. Like, oh, oh, that wild chemical you took. Turns out it hurts the parts of your body that are dealing with wild chemicals. It, like <laughs> filter badness out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and and just like any other filter, it doesn't like it kind of keeps it. So I, like it doesn't have an easy time. The filters get clogged and filled. No, yeah. it's like an air filter. The more yeah. fucked up your liver is, the more it's picking up. <laughs> the liver is an awesome organ, though. That thing like regenerates. It regenerates. Itself. Yeah, it's yeah. Too, it's I always mix really up cool. liver and kidney. Why can't more things be like the fucking liver? He's a goddamn go getter. All right, I need my fingers yeah. to be like that. They I need think, to regenerate. Uh, if I break a finger and it like doesn't straighten, the doc should be like, "All right, we're just gonna chop this low nine months I want, now. It'll grow like, back." Yeah. <laughs> why can't skin grow you get back? Get a the baby way it's, binky first. I don't know why. Skin, <laughs> I don't know why why skin can't grow back like the way it's supposed to. Like, it forgot how to make skin right. Mm. No, yeah. you're totally right. Yeah, I understand. Why is it like smart? I understand if like you lose a finger and you and and like this part of your finger doesn't know how to grow that part of your finger, but like. How does the skin get burnt? And it's like, oh, I forgot how to make skin again. It's like you just you made, made it in skin. the first place, Kyle. You made it in utero. Just where'd all the skin come from, cocksucker? If you didn't do it, you don't have to make a little more. Like, like right. uh, no, you're you're so right. Like the the <laughs> winner organ asshole. is if, the if he's liver. Real, he's such a piece of shit for that that little thing right there alone. 
when they <laughs> burn, they'll look like they got all melty. Oh, I, I hate them because I'm not taller. <laughs> I'd love two. to be. I'd love to be like six eleven. I want to be like <laughs> so tall. It's frightening. Like biblically tall. Like I drove on. I want to terrify everyone. Bro, Shunikes would have never spoke shit about you guys if you were all six eleven. Oh, they, nobody said shit. <laughs> Shunice would have still done it because he's a fucking loser. That guy <laughs> he makes fun of anyone to when get he another two seconds of attention. Book club. Lesbian book club. That was outstanding. Was. Okay, that actually, that it actually was. was a funny burn. I like for that. a mentally <laughs> ill for a mentally ill man to come up with such a such a joke like that, such a riff <laughs> on the spot with like a little stupid brain that he has. Nailed this. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, I was true. shocked. We even talked about getting books. getting owned by a guy who just ate twelve ounces of cock. <laughs> he ate a bowl of his own shit. His brain is squeezing the brain is filled with mouth. shit. Bugs. His brain is filled with shit. Also, bugs. you guys, are but he right. fucking clapped out that bad boy on that you guys. Guy. <laughs> that guy, uh, that guy is one of the most. Is, is he dead yet? No, he's killing soon, it right soon. now. Um, he's not killing it. He's killing it. He's uh. Where was he? Where was he at on TikTok or something? He he went somewhere else and like his streams or his little clips or whatever were getting like millions of hits. How does uh, TikTok monetize? Well, Depends you know, in the long the run, no idea. in the long run, what do you build a following? And they, you, they, I have no idea. No, they yeah. have a partner program if you're in the U.S. and under certain circumstances. But I don't think they just give that out to everyone. You oh, well, that, you, gotta, you don't want to talk. Too nice, though. You can't just be like <laughs> some fucking knucklehead dumbass eating bowls of your own shit and expect to get their great deal. Zach, of, like, Zach every that, week. Kyle, go ahead. You. Zach says that every week Shunice claims that the reason he can't come on here is because of Harley. <laughs> yeah, that's so. And, 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 and let me he say, uncover the who truth. Violated the circle of trust. Let me just say, that's exactly the sort of thing I would think that a man who eats paint for a living might might say. Um, it's it's retarded. And uh, the reason he's not on the show <laughs> is because he's a mentally ill man who eats dog shit for a living. And we have standards Those here. Are reasons to be on the show. Ooh. I get this. I get this. I get this from Shoe Nice quite well sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'll get a feel like, hey, sauce boss, the views aren't <laughs> so good anymore. Seems like people don't care about you and Muscles Glasses. Well, maybe we work together on something. He <laughs> <laughs> sounds <laughs> just a little. Yeah, bit I remember like that back in the day because the retarded like, Joker. <laughs> sounds, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this entire See, container of cock. There is and you a can't crossover. Stop. Wanna know how I ate nice. these scars? Well, there was the discussion. <laughs> there was a discussion way back in the day about like that could potentially be a crossover with Harley and, and Shoe Nice. But then when like Harley got in contact with Shoe Nice and realized that he was an actual crazy person. <laughs> Well, I, called him. Everyone I called had him. Ice I got his phones, phone number and I called him. Elmer's glue or something. I really wanted to have a normal conversation. I called him and it was like so fucking you, weird. I don't know, guys. Check out the PKA clip from 11 years ago. <laughs> I <I'm laughs> already know. Sure sure. But yeah. Dude, it, one of his most recent videos so, is him was, eating catfish stink bait. And I know everybody oh. here hasn't. No, no, not everyone here has fish for catfish Woo! or listeners certainly haven't it. Catfish stink bait is the most rancid, disgusting thing, and he's eating a twelve ounce tub of it. <laughs> you get them at Walmart. They look, they look like they're uh, vile. They look like you know what's crazy. Nuggets. You got to get that guy. You got to get that guy TRT with a brain like that, bro. Look at you <laughs> run for your money. Oh, we skipped over that. No, what I was like, like way back when. Woody's on the cusp of like. If he's gonna continue being an optimized male, he, he's gonna need a little TRT. But Taylor, you could start now. You could start now. I could just get my <laughs> tea to absurd levels right now. Look, just go ahead and look. You freeze your sperm. So you yep. just got that. You got Big that on hand. And, and and then you can just, you know, enjoy your life. I mean, the more you talk about it, the He's more making convincing a lot it of is. Sense. It yep. would be awesome to just be enormous just fuck it huge because I, I lift all the time. And so that wouldn't be a problem. I would just lift more. I wouldn't have to deal with soreness. Mm -hmm. you, you you still get a little sore, not just just not a tenth as be much. Better you, by tomorrow. Yeah, you're better by tomorrow. Um, 
you would be at so big so fast. It would be shocking. You, it would be one of those like Barry Bonds type scenarios where you just suddenly. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, like, like that shit, that's what I was, want. I, I want those Mark McGuire forearms. You can have them. I'm not even kidding. Like, like it, it, they cost like nine dollars a month or something like that. This restaurant <laughs> is so I, fucking cheap. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I w- it was probably like I guess 1999 when McGuire was hitting all those homers and like going for the record. I remember like watching him play and seeing his forearms, yes, like flexing on the bat. And in my head, I, I was eating ribs as I was watching it. And I remember in my head, for some reason, thinking like, "You have to eat enough ribs to be like Mark McGuire," <laughs> <laughs> because he's clearly eating tons of like tough meats, like ribs. And so I just remember sitting there watching like '99 World Series, just or whatever it was. <laughs> I was eating so many ribs, Taylor, just Taylor, like I'm gonna be just this. like Mark McGuire. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor, remember, remember how those ribs made you feel at, because you thought that they were they were gonna turn you into Mark McGuire when. You, when you come to your senses late at night <laughs> and you're in front of the refrigerator with with a turkey leg in one hand and a block of cheese in the other, are you having those same feelings? Like, 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 I do. You, I'm like, I'm. Is it I'm 1999 gonna, all over again? And you're flexing I, your forearms. It is. I'm, I'm looking at my forearms. I'm Almost. Like, I, I swear to God, I'm the first person to ever black out on cheese. <laughs> where you eat so much cheese you forget and you don't remember and the next morning you wake up and you see half of the fucking holiday calendar your wife bought you gone <laughs> did you really you ate, eat half the advent dude, calendar i ate the a fact, good bit of them the yeah fact, the fact that you ate that advent calendar that's not how advent hilarious. calendars work you i opened have- i i didn't even go in order i was like <laughs> so, <laughs> i just kept eating the cheese and it was it was you it was picked so by good. type. You're like Swiss. <laughs> no, but they're I'm all surprises, the right? <laughs> they're all supposed to be surprises. Oh, you just went was, left or right or something. It, it was like, like eating those chocolates. <laughs> where like I would open, I opened day fourteen. And I'm like <gasps> Havarti. <laughs> like I love Havarti. And then oh, you open other hilarious. ones and sw- a block of Swiss. What she you needs retarded? to get you another cheese advent calendar to give you a second chance. Yeah, I she already needs told to her. get you a fucking block of cheese. <laughs> you told her to do that. Yeah, I said I want another advent calendar of cheese. Yeah, something <laughs> happened to this one. <laughs> something, uh, I think someone broke in and ate half of our advent it's calendar. It's called a and... smorgasbord, and it's classy. <laughs> I have a question for Harley. Harley, years ago, you were on the show, and you had a, a your girlfriend at the time with you, and you told us about your death grip masturbation style. Do you remember this? Uh, I don't remember this specifically, but yeah, I've hurt myself many times. Is that what we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, <laughs> you brought her in as a character witness to prove that you sometimes wound your dick because yeah, yeah, I hurt the my dick. yeah. Did that ever have tough. downstream issues? Like like you know, no pussy's as tight as your grip. Well, like uh, my dick skin is hard now. Hmm. It's like the it's like the heel pad of like someone who walks outside with no shoes their entire life. Like a Kenyan runner. Like Kenyan people runner. say that that jerk off like masturbate with sandpaper. I'm like, I could take a crack at it. I'm sure I could last five seconds before I feel something. <laughs> Damn, that might you have un- a very calloused penis. I got mad. No, to be honest, I'm better now. I was getting mad at my dick for a couple years though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't have a good release. These were my workout days, though, so I don't know. Like, Kyle, you're not going off on your dick more now than you ever did before? Oh, I, well, I mean, the testosterone makes my sex drive, like, super high. So like, I kind of feel like I'm, like, fucking 17 years old all the time. Yeah. So, so I'm real horny all the fucking time. You never make your dick bleed in front of the mirror? Uh, it hasn't bled in a long, long time. <laughs> I, I, I came. I came a drop of blood one time, though. No. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. How did that happen? Like, 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 like when I was like, I don't know, twelve or whatever, and I just had figured out masturbation. I jerked off like fifteen times in one day, <laughs> <laughs> and like, and like every load was like, like, like the first load wasn't that big because I'm like twelve or whatever, but like each load was like smaller and smaller uh, until, until like, it was just blood until, like, cranked out that <laughs> final one and and like I, i've never told this story because even I, like i'm cringing right now like, it not is from embarrassing. Embarrassing. No, I think it's I, no no story, i'm not man. embarrassed at all I, i'm not embarrassed a bit it's it, it just grosses <laughs> me out like, like 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 thinking about like i clearly had torn my urethra and, 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 like, <laughs> like, like 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 from masturbation like, I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm wiggling around in my chair right now because it's making me uncomfortable because this is true i did it 
and like a drop of blood came out when I came. I'm, all right, I got to walk away. It's, that's that's terrifying. Out. I have it, a related story. A drop I, of blood. I was about the same age, maybe 15 or so, 16. We went to Las Vegas and somehow I had in my head like Las Vegas is an outstanding place to masturbate. I have to make this happen. Like it's Sin City, right? I, my dumbass doesn't know up from down. I don't know. So uh, it, it, I had a lot of like um, freedom to roam that like other kids didn't even at like six and shit. I think I could mm-hmm. go anywhere. And um, as long as I came down when the, I came home when the sun went down. So I'm 15 all by myself in Las Vegas, just like wandering bad neighborhoods looking for masturbation opportunities. I don't know exactly what I'm targeting or whatever. And I find some kind of jack shack. It's like a <laughs> it's like a shed shack. or something with pornos that you can play for a quarter. This isn't like a whole Ooh. building or anything. They're like, a, I don't know, like a public latrine almost that plays porno. And I had enough quarters, so I gave it a go. But it wasn't like my, it wasn't in an environment where I was good at masturbating, right? I, I didn't have anything to. That pillow, you yeah. fuck or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I didn't have Charlene. <laughs> that like so, blanket you smell or whatever <laughs> weird thing you did when you were a kid. All I can do. And, and by the way, I don't usually masturbate standing up. So this is like a new thing for me. Too. That was very <laughs> hard for me to get into anyways. Yeah, continue. Yeah. So I'm at the Jack Shack, <laughs> popping in quarter after quarter. And, you know, I'm not a man who just quits at things. I'm, when I Certainly set not. my mind to something, there is a level of determination yeah. that just keeps You're gonna going. You're going to bust. I am going to jack that, off. That's that autism dollop we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollops over here. But, so so I have I set my mind to this. It's going to happen. And I'm, I'm working it and I'm working it and I'm working it. And at some point, like, I don't know where the shaft meets the head or something. I have run out of skin. I have, I've run out of skin and now we're pretty much raw bleeding skin. Fuck. But you're not talking to a quitter, right? You know, no, you're not you talking beat to off sort of... through the pain. <laughs> and, and honestly, the pain made the uh, climax even harder to get there. But, uh, but I'm a man of willpower and I made it happen. Your penis bled and you kept beating off. Yeah. Which which part of it was bleeding under the head? I uh, say the uh, the, the first widest part of the head. The widest part of the head. It like was like the base of the head. I'm sure the widest part of my head. head is different from the widest part of your head. Ah, uh, the Jewish thing. I hey. don't know, not Jewish thing. I just got like more mm-hmm. of a rocket ship thing going on, and I don't know if you got like a mushroom. More you mushroom. I mean? yeah. You got more you of a mushroom? rocket ship. So so yours is it, it's tapering towards the end. Yeah, like my guys like got thick neck. Thick head, little hat on top. Okay. Well, I feel like Woody's is like, uh, like you know, know. Like I've always got like a bigger was, helmet. What I've always thought about? mine was like everybody else's. Like I've never felt like uh, it, it wasn't right. Well, you I know, didn't think everybody was right. I didn't think mine wasn't right until you I said it. I don't think like I've that noticed the now. variety. Of them. Like <laughs> everybody like in porn is like roughly mine, the same. I, I feel like mine stays the same length, like girth throughout. Yeah, mine goes. Mine's pretty similar. To that that like that. But I just thought that like. I've seen some people pop off on the top. Like I've seen some people on the top where I'm like, bro, that's a fucking mushroom straight out of like the mushroom kingdom. Well, every like, once in a while you see those where like the guy, he, he's got no girth game on the shaft of his dick. And mm-hmm. then the top is like a, like a Smurf house. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I, that's what I, that's what's up. Yeah. I, uh, I have uh, like, it goes straight up. And then the helmet, the the top, the head goes to like a point, not a like a triangle, but like it just points enough that I'm like, all right, it's like a, a rocket ship. Okay. Like if you wanted to, if you wanted to fuck a girl in the ass, this is a good penis to have because the I, entry point is is. From what you're saying, it seems like a prime yeah, anal. Penis. Yeah, it's like a you get in there. You know what I'm saying? You get in there um, early, and then by the time she realizes it, we get in there early. We by the time she realizes there. it's it's too much, you're. No, I always consent and make sure she's comfortable 100. percent I, I never do. Well, you're married. You could break all kinds of rules. Yeah, I mean, technically, she's my property. Is my marital <laughs> rape was <laughs> marital rape was legal until not very long ago. I feel like it you still is if you slide. consent, right? Like. She is just always consent. Yeah. 
You feel that way. I yet... verbally given my wife to fuck me while I'm sleeping or blow me or whatever. Hey, if that is how you want to wake me, you have standing consent. I don't know if verbal agreements usually stand up in the court of law. Oh, they certainly don't. Well, you know, I had witnesses <laughs> when I said it there. So I was going the there. The kids was... are there too. <laughs> <laughs> Ask anybody that was there. Mo or Joe or Tim or Bob. Ask, <laughs> Ask Hope. She's like, I just, I Ask don't know why he, I don't know, there. I don't know why he demanded I stand in there while, <laughs> while I, while he requisitioned my mom for him. <laughs> Ask George Foreman. <laughs> there's two of them now. Ooh, there's oh, two. Of, are, are you taking, or are, are both of them in your house pretty often? Soon. Uh, right now, mom is on uh, maternity leave, but soon she'll Ooh. go back to work and we'll watch them. I don't believe in that. Maternity leave? Maternity yeah. leave? I'm a huge fan of maternity and paternity leave. It hurts uh, women. They need to match. Right? Yeah. It, if I'm looking at like a 23-year-old woman, I'm like, this woman is going to take so much time off over the next three years. You're but a dude... Right. You take it away from her. That's why you hire her. men. But if the man gets just as much time off, or like Kyle's suggesting, neither of them get time off. There you go. Then you don't have to discriminate in your hiring practices. That shit sucks. Like maternity leave and paternity leave. Like you look at like the allotted amount of time in European countries, even Russia. Russia blows our pants off when it comes to understanding women having birth. They're like, yes, you take a year and a half off. You raise child. You know, future of Russia, very important. You know, you, you focus on child. We're like, yeah, two weeks, idiot. Two weeks and then get back to fucking punching in meaningless numbers. And to that be you clear, don't have any 10 work profit. days. <laughs> yeah, 10, 10 work days. If oh, you're smart, you schedule the birth over Christmas or Thanksgiving. <laughs> Stretch that shit. That, is that shit another is so reason, fucked folks, up. We don't do take not care of go parents forth and, and multiply. Do not be fruitful. Save your fucking money. Invest it wisely. Just do, do a real. I don't know what it is right now. It's 2021. Google how much a fucking kid costs to raise to, 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 to just to 18 and forget college. Pretend like your kid and forget be smart. about all the inflation. Pretend going on right your now. kid's gonna be smart if you get a scholarship real quick and you're not gonna pay for, pay for yeah. School. I don't know. I think I, I think any of you guys would kill a family vlog if any of you did it. If you committed to it, you two Woody, you guys commit to family vlog. People would love it. Dude, what, if, what if I, your if audience I, is growing up, they're making babies now. If I your if audience I was kids, fat fucking idiots, now they're all gonna have six packs, so they're gonna get wives, then they're gonna want kids. They're following you guys every step of the way. They're growing up. This makes sense. It, We're turning them into jizz machines with six packs. If, yeah, if like, I <laughs> if if <laughs> ever like me. I, if ever I start a family vlogging channel, I want someone <laughs> to kill me. I, I want I, so, I want someone to send Taylor, an assassin and just end it in the night. From your words to my ears, done. <laughs> from, <laughs> from I honestly think God's you have a family words. <laughs> you got to get that family TikTok set up, Taylor. Don't I, fuck around, bro. It's did, not did, all about did, you. You got futures out here to think about. Did, I can't believe you're not into that, Taylor. That would be so fun. Like especially if someone else handled production, the the, the hassle would be the production. Like when I think about doing something like that, it isn't like oh that'd be so intrusive. It'd be no fun. <laughs> it's like. Fuck all of that production, all of those GoPros yeah. and and all those cams and all those mics and all that audio, and you know one day all the audio is gonna be bad, and then like like, like, <laughs> I, like I, you I know that day's coming. Anybody I, I who's ever like my children on camera. That's another thing. On camera. I wouldn't want my wife. I did on a camera. I did a video I, for the fucking like, history we're, channel. We're all I, used to getting fucked with all the time, all the time. But they're not, and like I don't want to include them because it's a pretty brutal thing. You guys I know, have I, I know, kids out joking. on. Don't make a vlog chat. You guys have kids <laughs> out on play dates, and there's like grown men like rape squad killers <laughs> to like <laughs> your children. <laughs> Who was I thinking about recently that had a thing? We're rape squad killers. <laughs> I couldn't get it off my head. It'll come to me. I'm sorry. Right, Remind right, me of what we were talking about a second ago because I had a thing too that I also forgot. We were talking someone about family that, vlogging channels. Someone Before, said that to me at a Star Wars thing. Oh. They were like, Rape Squad Killer. And I was like, Oh, oh shit. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. This boys. Was, we're the real this sweet was years kids. Ago. This real was sweet kids. What I was thinking about. So, Scum, right? Scum, friend of the show, friend of ours. I, I really mm -hmm. like Scum. He's a good guy. Yeah. It took me a little while to get past his name. Like, I mm. made certain assumptions about what he would be like. Because you know his, his real name, name is, right? Yes. Um, but uh, uh, his online name that he chose 
maybe when he was 11. I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't know. It kind of stuck with me for a while. I was like, oh, this is scum. Probably keep my distance. We call it scum <laughs> for short. It's actually scamillionaire. I, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. All it I doesn't have mean anything to me either. Which yeah, is why we call it scum. Yeah. But he's, um, he's, I, he's, I really, really like him. I think he's I've a known good guy. Him. Yeah, I think I've known him four or five years or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, like Sounds been, a good guy. Like whenever I started like getting into games like PUBG, um, and I started like, like, like always on the show, I'd be like, "Fucking add me on Steam. I need players." Like, I think maybe he he came from that group. I, okay. I could be wrong, but uh, I've been playing with guys like him and Mitty and uh, and those fellows for but, and just where I was headed. In my time. opinion, Scum's branding is right there with Rape Squad Killers. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> he hey he he has it on every platform too. Like like his Twitch. <laughs> Hey, Twitch slash Chameleonaire, folks. Go check him out. He's, he's not <laughs> streaming. <laughs> he streams less than me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been playing some some uh, some poker. I, I kind of want to stream some more poker because I've been having a good time recently. Do you lose more while you stream? You're, you should, bro. I was yeah. My viewership was up when you were streaming. <laughs> I... I <laughs> I, uh, I I think I do. I, I'm not as good at anything when I'm streaming because, mm-hmm. you know, so there's a little bit of your thing that's with them. <clears throat> and uh, and I just don't perform as well at anything. I'm not I can't be focused. I can I can feel that my brain is like half over there and half over here. Tarkov um, is like you can't read chat and talk to chat and play Tarkov as well as you can. No, the game. no, I don't know how Landmark is so incredibly slick with it. He doesn't talk with chat like. A it's lot. Probably how he's so slick, but 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 I mean he does. I mean he talks. He, he talks, talks enough. He talks enough that it's challenging what he's doing because he's at such a high level game gameplay wise. I uh, I would argue he doesn't miss much because I don't know. I'm trying not to be an asshole as I say this, but because I know Landmark, he pays more attention to me than perhaps an average viewer. He never misses this anything I write. Oh uh, yeah, he's a good guy. I like Landmark. Yeah. Um, but the uh, fuck. I keep, fucking stoned over landmark here. uh <laughs> streaming poker oh yeah, yeah i don't know i've been having a good time in the poker um i i definitely don't win as much when i stream which is annoying because like it'll it'll go in this pattern where like i'll play privately and like have a great night it's like well, i win six hundred dollars or something and i'll be like man i wish i'd straight stream this like like this that, that would be cool to show people so i'll stream the next night and and it would be like lose four hundred dollars <laughs> and i'd be like <laughs> Well, this doesn't hurt too bad, guys, because I won six hundred last night. And they're like, "Sure, you did." And I'm like, "So the next night, I'm like, that was bullshit. They were mean to me. I'm going to just play by myself." And I went seven hundred dollars. I'm like, "God damn it! Should I turn the stream on now?" And I like <laughs> it just just up and down. Um, I, I I rarely. I think I've won on stream once or twice. Um, but when I play by myself, I you do I played this. I played this morning. Um, I went up six hundred dollars and then back down. Um maybe 430 loss um i don't know if that makes sense i went i went up a lot and then i lost most of my gains for the day is what happened today um but like the day before yesterday i won 1100 uh roughly something like that i've been playing um one dollar two dollar which is probably a little higher stakes than i should be playing um but it's uh it's a lot of fun and it's kind of scary but uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to a new video game or an old video Good. Halo's game. Halo's free. That's a new game and an old game in one, and it's free. Uh, How do you like it? I fucking love it. I'll tell you yeah. why I love it. It's like It feels like the old days. It feels like, like Halo 3 in the best way or whatever your best. Like, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I remember something how it is. And you're like, oh, that's not how I remembered it. I remembered it different from how it really was. This plays like how you remembered Halo being. It's obviously optimized in some ways, and they wanted to release it last year, and they didn't. It came up this year, so it's super polished. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Battlefield's out. I'm not here talking about Battlefield because I've heard bad things, expensive, <clears throat> and not yeah, not all good things. Um, but I'm telling you, Call of uh, No uh, Halo, Halo is so good. I really think it's awesome. I I've seen some footage, guys. No, I've seen some footage. It looks fun. I I definitely want to play. The campaign. Does it matter that I haven't played like the last couple of Halos as far as the campaign goes? You think? It's no. Halo three, right? No. Cool. Yeah. Who yeah. Who cares? I, um, I, I, I'm kind of annoyed that they kept kept going with the story anyway because it really just wrapped a bow on itself in Halo Three. With what? But, uh, 
the story, like Master Chief's story. I felt like it was ended in Halo 3. Oh, yeah, 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 me too. And then in Halo 4, they did a thing with Cortana that I was like, oh, okay, that's a good way to end it. Then Halo 5, I was like, don't do this. But now where they go with this one, like I always liked the enemy in this one. It's the Banished. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. I, I hate these. I hate, I hate fucking shooting robots in video games. I Same. can't describe it. I just need to feel like this game. I'm taking a soul from something. It needs to. I don't want to break something. Yeah, I don't want to break something. I want to kill, wanna kill something. Yeah, yeah. And, and I want it to hurt. Oh, and not to knock on Battlefield because it's not all bad. Like if you look at this link I just sent you right now, this is from the new Battlefield. Tell me this isn't fucking awesome. Tell me this isn't awesome. This is yeah, from I'm the new it. Battlefield. Is this and single player or multiplayer? Includes modes from Battlefield Three and from Bad Company. Single. This is this is single so player. So you've right? probably played this like yeah. 11, 12 years ago. But it just what I like about this is like it reminds me of like when you used to play with like on the US, like on the Americans, yeah. like mm-hmm. their fucking lines. They were like, "I'm getting fucked in the ass over here, <laughs> Mama, What the fuck?" <laughs> and it was like so good. And now you play Battlefield, and they're like, ha, bet you can't hit me, ha, ha, or like <laughs> some shit. And I, I can't, I don't really, I can't stand it. I don't really like everything, the decisions they made. Yeah. And then I look at this Battlefield 3 clip, which is in Battlefield 2042, but I'm, and I look at this, I'm like, you fucking idiots. This looks All great. we wanted was some shit like this. You already had things that were fixed years ago, but you want to be like Valorant and Overwatch and Call of Duty. You want to make all the money like Halo. I get it. People complain about the, the progression and unlocking shit. The game's free. So shut the fuck up. It's free. Be a mm. default badass. I think it's pretty cool when people have the default skin and kill it in the game. It's a statement in itself. Mm-hmm. But like Battlefield, you don't get to charge people 125 bucks for the fucking game. And the best part of the, about the game is playing the mode where the game is just 12 years old. <laughs> and I look at it, I'm like, this is awesome. This looks great. I love how this plays. But they just made decisions, man. Big, big money decisions. I always thought of Battlefield as like <clears throat> the more adult of the shooters. Like, like, like it, like, like Call of Duty mm-hmm. seemed like it was for like. 13 or 14 or 15 year olds but battlefield seemed like it was more for like young adults like like i don't know 18 20 year olds or something like that call Roughly. of duty booted up you're gonna get a kill you will get a kill in call of yeah duty. i don't think even halo like a lucky grenade maybe or something for uh, sure but like battlefield was just like bro shooting these guns are gonna suck like you have to you know what else was really win. hard gears i was so shitty at gears that i had to stop playing it was like this this isn't fun ever like 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 even if like I bet if I went and played COD now, like it'd be a little rough, but eventually we get in the swing of it. We'd win some games. I've never been any good at gears. I was always mm-hmm. so awful at gears that it was embarrassing. I think whenever... Gold Glove was a gear specialist. Like those guys who could pop heads. Who could, yeah, like, use that people did the sniper nose. rifle. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. You like roll at them and they shoot your head off. You're like, what the fuck? And Man, they would know. time the shot. It was like you were upside down when you pulled yeah. the trigger. Like, like, getting like, killed, getting two pieced or headshot in gears was just very embarrassing as well. Like, I don't get hurt in games. Like, I get it. People are good. You have your game sometimes, you know, but gears, it was like pop and like blood everywhere. And your stupid character stomp. models the there. Stomps they added, they added in like maybe gears three, like they had the finishing moves where you'd like flip the guy over and fucking stomp his face and in. keep or keep punching his head over and over again for like a it minute. was brutal as fuck and yeah, like yeah. i i love the like gears again the trilogy of the story like like the single player thing but god damn i was i was pitiful at that but didn't i play the portal shooting halo portal shooting game with you guys didn't we play yeah, that yeah 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 you guys but taylor fucking ripped that up that's why taylor you have to install halo you have to you need to play free. Halo. You played the you played the portal shooting game one. I remember you were doing so well. I was like, this fucking idiot's a fucking liar, bro. He's out here gaming. You were like I'm, fifteen and I'm, two or something. I'm a played. natural. I'm a natural. <laughs> at that, one. that that what one game was is funny. This? We were, we were playing. Uh, it's like a uh, Halo split, portal game. Oh, split gate. Called, split gate. Split gate. We were playing split oh. gate, and like Kyle and a couple other people were like, "We're pretty good at this." And I joined. And I swear to God, I had the best kill death over four games. It was I was I was dominating, and all it was was that like I was hyper conservative, and I would kind of guard the base, and and that was it. 
Like you see mm. somebody pop down, just and he was doing it, bro. That's why you gotta get Halo. I was so fucking it. bad. Like, like, like we had practiced the day before, like me and Finn. Yeah, but and, also and everyone was harassing you about your six pack and stuff. You had a lot of you were answering a <laughs> lot of questions then. No matter how uh, bad it, you are at Splitgate, you're still jacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you instantly were like, I got a six pack now, you fucking nerds. <laughs> I did not say gamer that. bitches. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> literally what he said. Uh, Harley's right. <laughs> yeah. I threatened, to, I threatened own... to beat up a guy too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh. find you and I'm gonna kill you. No, but I was I was legitimately awful at it when we were actually streaming. It was embarrassing. But like the day before, like I'll say this. I had played well enough the day before that I felt comfortable streaming the game. And then I played poorly enough when we streamed the game that I've never played the game again. But 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 the day before it was like, okay, like I break even most of the time. I go negative occasionally. And sometimes I do really well. This'll work. And it didn't go like that when I was streaming at all. It was real bad. It was real bad. It's a good game though. It's an interesting concept. I like the portal shit with the uh with the with the portals and everything. Um I liked but, playing Portal 2 with you on our stream. I I didn't really like that. I we started off very slow, but we started getting the groove. Yeah. Um, I think I was fucked up when we were doing that. I might have been drunk or something. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I was I was just, I hated that. I, think I didn't hate like it as much as when we played. in the afternoon. Well, you know, if I'm streaming, I, you know, but what, <laughs> what, time, what is the clock? Does it tell me when and what to do? That's true. That was like your 10 p.m. He's got his version of what 3 p.m. is, and I got mine. And he's a fucking <laughs> his versions. Yeah, I'm gonna. He doesn't know what time zone I'm mentally in. <laughs> yeah, he's mentally it's Japanese. Fucking, it's fucking Margaritaville <laughs> over here. I, I, I do what I want. Uh, but but yeah, I, I I didn't like that. But I despised Borderlands. Uh, Borderlands was so. I bad. was blown away at how oh, much you dislike Borderlands. I, I love fucking Borderlands. hated it. People are like, "When are you gonna stream with the PK?" I'm like, "Whenever they ask me, if it's not fucking Borderlands, bro." It, don't worry, it won't be. I'll, I'll tell <laughs> you when. Like, it was just the not, worst Borderlands. The netcode was know. so weird, though. It was like lagging. It was weird. Here's it's what we uh, can do, though. Like, um, and this is this is an invitation to all of you or any of you, but um. <laughs> That new uh, Vermintide game, the um, that that's name I keep forgetting over and over, the 40k Warhammer? Vermintide game, mm -hmm. okay, um, that's coming Rising out Rising Tide or something, v Black Tide, something Tide, Dark Tide, Dark Side, Dark Tide, Dark, dark Tide, Man. it's Dark Tide, not Dark Men. That's a different game. Um, dark Tide, Warhammer, Liam 40, Neeson, Dark Tide, Liam Neeson. So I got delayed to the spring. Liam Neeson's Dark Man. So, but what I'm definitely going to do, like leading up to its release, is like for a solid like couple of weeks at least, like get back into Vermintide and like, uh, like, like get my skills polished up. And so that would be a good time for anybody else who is going to also want to play that game to, to, to goof around with me a little bit because I'm, I'm going to play the fuck out of that game. It looks, I really hope it's not a letdown. Um, if they just made it as addictive as their previous game as Vermintide is, then I'm so sold. Because like I played the shit out of Vermintide. I I thought about playing it the other day, I, but I didn't have it installed. That's a great it is going to be a disappointment. A game. That's how the gaming industry works now. Be prepared for a disappointment, and you'll be really happy when you get like not such a bad disappointment. Yeah. I don't know. They did a really good job with the first game, and they're still releasing content for the first game, like good content and patches and and, and DLC and stuff. Um, Along those lines, if they release a bad game, there's a good chance they make it good. Bad, I believe. That's what they do. That's how yeah. they do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but no, but but no, Fat no, Shark in particular. Keep it bad. <laughs> yeah, some people don't give a shit. Fat Shark has like they're just always adding new stuff. They they seem to genuinely care about their little community, and it is a small community. Like more people need to get into Vermintide. Like that game is so fucking good. Vermintide is awesome. I love it. I love killing those yeah. fucking rats. It's better than Left 4 Dead, and I really like Left 4 Dead. It just uh, Left 4 Dead's simpler, and Vermintide has uh, there's just more to it in the way that you can dodge and play, and it, there's a higher skill ceiling. There's a higher skill ceiling, and it allows you so so like in Left 4 Dead, no matter how good you are, you can't play solo. You can't leave the group because one of those like special Smoker, characters is yeah. going to get you. Like, like, they, had, they had a whole AI designed about that to like the AI focused on a person who was either the weakest or the lowest ammo or the furthest from the group and they always did that and they prioritized furthest from the group. Yeah, yeah. there's a mode in... Mm -hmm. There's a mode in, on the Xbox version anyway where you could listen to the developers talk about 
why the game is the way it is. And they really wanted to enforce teamwork. Yeah. Whereas in Vermintide, teamwork is usually a re- more of a good idea. A good idea. However, like an elite player is totally capable of leaving the group behind and soloing anything and everything the game can throw at them. An elite player, not me. Uh, but I've seen it done, uh, like videos of it. There, there's guys who play it. They've modded the game to create much, much more difficult uh, levels. We cannot consistently beat it on the standard difficult level, which is called Cataclysm, I think. We can't beat that consistently, like me and my best group. But they've made like a level that's like eight times harder or some shit. It's like, it's like, Fuck so, that. so we thought we've already got this impossible mode. So maybe we'd double it and then, d- and then just triple that and see what people <laughs> thought. And, 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 and it's like, what do they think? They thought yawn because these guys are like fucking kung fu masters playing the fucking game. Like, like everything's coming at them like Neo in the Matrix and they're just fucking blocking it while killing everything. It's fun to watch those guys play at that. Speaking of that, I'm fucking hyped for the new Matrix movie. I'm going to do a rewatch of like the whole trilogy this week. I'm watching you can read Matrix. the script online. Apparently, I don't want to know. I have avoided. I watched like eight seconds of a teaser that came out today. And it was really fucking good. They were using flash. They were using clips from the old movie and like intersplicing like that with or juxtaposing it rather with with like the new movie uh, in the trailer. And it was like the the whole deja vu clip. He's like, he sees the cat and he's like, ah, oh, I just saw saw the same cat. They're like deja vu is when they change something in the Matrix. And then they show a clip of him like in the new movie, like having a similar similar thing going on. It mm-hmm. was it was a really good clip. Uh, him coming out of the goo bath uh, in the first movie and in the current movie. I'm hyped for this thing. I really hope he did a good job. I saw so, popular it, opinion. Keanu Moves doesn't have any more good movies in him. That, did I say Keanu Reeves properly? Anyway, Keanu yeah, Reeves, he's, yeah, he's done with good movies. Like John Wick, the last, the first one was good. It was really good. I liked it. I think the John Wicks have fallen off, and from now going forward, it's just going to be disappointing Matrix, disappointing Bill and Ted, disappointing something else. Yeah. I, I I disagree. You uh, wouldn't I, even I, say that to his face. Uh-uh. I totally you wouldn't would. Even, no, you wouldn't even do oh, that. Oh, dude, Keanu I Reeves. would. And you know what? If you did, he'd be like, hey, man, that's cool. You're entitled to your I would opinion. take correct Keanu your Reeves form. and a bear at the same time. He would. He would. Keanu Reeves. You'd only beat Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves would destroy you. <laughs> would the the bear would fuck you up. After Taylor, I... <laughs> Taylor, who do you think would win in a fight, Keanu Reeves or Woody? Uh, Given Woody's grappling, I'm going to say Woody. I don't know if he Keanu has Reeves has too. any grappling or is. MMA training. I, and I'm all not, it really takes is someone like understanding wrestling a little I'm bit. I'm going to go on to a limb fuck up here. someone way bigger I, I'm, than that. I'm, I'm going to make the controversial call. I think Keanu Reeves can beat up Woody. He, I don't know how big he is. Well, what are you guys talking about? Is this serious, bro? Keanu I would, I would beat the shit Woody up. Sign bro. the contract, Keanu. Bro, he, Sign he, the contract, he, bro. bro. Keanu Reeves, I, I would dominate him. Bro, I box now. Match. I'll beat up Woody. Speaking of cowards, what, what's he gonna do? What about Diego is he the gonna, Nightmare Sanchez it, it, and his latest lie to escape fighting me? He's <laughs> pre- he's in a hospital bed with makeup on, mm-hmm. pretending like he has COVID pneumonia. And pneumonia, so he doesn't have to like live up to his end of the contract. That suit, he's got like this That's respirator so thing, but if you look closely, it's like ear pods with, with yeah. the wire coming. It, it, yeah. it's, it's so <laughs> he's lame. lying, and you would fuck him up. And I think we all say, shame on you for faking an illness like pneumonia. Let, everyone needs to go and shame Diego Sanchez for faking this in this this illness because he's bringing shame and disgrace on every person out there who has had to face this, and everyone who's had a loved one that they've lost. <laughs> he's to this, bringing to this shame on his entire family. There are people out there. Who are legitimately suffer? It's like all right, hang on a minute. He valor. might die. He might die, and this is all gonna look bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, is he actually like really sick? Yes. Oh, yeah, he is in sometimes a I actively, sometimes I actively, COVID. sometimes I actively blank face in case in case this ends up being a clip years later. <laughs> that's gonna the be problem bad. that Diego's gonna face <laughs> is COVID is rough on people with obesity problems, and he's not where he used to be. You call him Diego the Nightmare Sanchez fat. Yeah, I, only I because mean, I've seen his pictures, though. Pe- people with COVID pneumonia, they turn to be a bit of a trunker. Mm. Well, know? all I know is that 
he stood no chance before he had COVID pneumonia. So at this point, I think it's very clear who I, I'm thinking about showing up at the hospital and like roughing him up a little. He has I pneumonia. Like, pneumonia is like fucking yeah. serious. I'd wear a mask. I got one of those uh, like like Walter White deals. But like just go in there with that or pretend like I'm like a, a hospital employee. But I like I rough him up a little, you know, like nothing serious, like a noogie. Yeah. Like, 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 no, just, no, no, no. You got to get good enough. Good old fashioned fun. The referee declares you winner by something. Can I, I bring my own referee though? Like, like, like mm-hmm. I, I, I show up with like, like, like wearing, wearing the stripes like the, and the yeah, thing. yeah. Can I? Should I bring an announcer like a like a Bruce Buffer type guy? To yes, like, yes. It's ta <laughs> for Kyle, someone without pneumonia to fight <laughs> with, <laughs> with pneumonia in the like, world. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? And I'm on him. <laughs> it's time for the homosexual fighting championships between got- Kyle Myers <laughs> and this homo <laughs> That's what I got. I'm, I'm choking him with a fucking IV. Oh, Here's no. the homosexual well, fighting championships. Like, oh, Shoe Knights is rushing the ring. We got <laughs> Shoe Knights rushing the ring. He's got a bowl of shit. No, he's sitting down in, and in the it. He's in the homosexual fighting it. league. Anytime there's blood, they're like, stop it, stop the match, stop the match. <laughs> we we got to Oh Jesus, up. this is an HIV joke. <laughs> yeah, it's an AIDS joke. <laughs> well, uh, exactly what decide. I was talking about, by the way. All <laughs> this decide, is one though. of those moments. All jokes aside, though, um, you know, D- Diego is in the hospital though. So that so you know we're all over. Here well, you know, uh, and we're hoping uh, we're that... we're the first ones to say R.I.P. <laughs> I, mean, I I hope that's, that's, where... that's exactly where I was heading. Uh, I was just gonna say <laughs> that, that we're all just hoping you die. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, we Rivers. need someone to be threatening you for not your... really though. No. I really I guess I don't. Have, do I actually don't have anything against him? Do I? This is just a bit from the start, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I always care. enjoyed yeah. watching him fight, and then I, I, he, he got a little silly yeah. with Diego me. Sanchez. I, guess I, I hope you don't die. I hope it all pulls through for you. Yeah, so. but don't tell him that I'm not serious, though. It's it's a lot funnier if, if he keeps being fucking weird and thinking I'm for real about all this. It's hilarious. Show him like like clip it in a way that it's it's, it's weird. All right, I'm overdue for overeating. You guys want to call the show? PKA five. Oh, oh, t- Harley, you got anything with him? Oh, go to twitch.tv slash Harley plays. Sometimes I talk about the PKA guys. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like I like when I get your notifications. It's like, like whenever you go live, I get I get your notifications. So follow Harley. He has funny notifications and he has great follow streams. Follow him on Twitch. Yeah, PKA yeah. five seven eight 